Hi everyone. We're back. <laughs> this is it. This is the most important this game. This is it. This is it. This time win. I know it's the real thing. Uh, can I just say before we go any further, I'm not winking at you. I've just got a bit of a dry eye. Just to clarify that before you think I'm flirting, because I'm not. Right, let's have a little, quick look at what uh, Eugene McGeever says. Happy Star Wars Day, Lee and Jane, and may the fourth be with you. Yes. Happy Star Wars Day to you too. Star Wars Day it's, to it's you my too. son's birthday, the 4th of May, so it's also happy birthday to Alex as well. And I've also figured out that they are actually filming Star Wars in Cleveland, which I just thought, just I didn't get all the references. I know somebody told me in the stream the other day, but it's actually a thing, so wow. there you go. In, in Star you? Wars in Cleveland, we're going to have to yeah. go and have a look at that. Um, Eugene McGee so thinks Blackpool will beat Doncaster Rovers 4-1 at home tonight. Mm -hmm. Hi, and Jane from Reese Jefferson. Hope your day's been great. 2-0 to the pool. Thank you, it has. Kieran, right. Kieran Baines is here. He's extra early this time. Good luck for tonight. Thank you, Kieran. Really appreciate it. Our favourite fan from that team down in Suffolk. Mm -hmm. Eugene McGee, happy... Oh, yes, we've done that. Happy Star Wars Day. Oh, and I've got my lucky shirt on. Oh, the lucky shirt's on and I've got... The lucky fritted sclada. We've beat Sunderland twice in this, so I'm, I'm wearing it again tonight. Uh, Reese Jefferson said, uh, starting lineup for the night is poor... Oh, yes, of course. We're going to read that out to you. So we've got all that down. We will do that yes. in a minute. Or Jane will do that. Right. Just go crack on with some... Uh, oh, and I've got a fun fact about a Donny player as well. You'll John like Hasm says we're not there yet. We know we're not, John. We're not there yet. We need one more point, but we're getting there. It's up a draw. No, we've got to win. We've got to keep this momentum going. And we need revenge for the 2-0, don't we? The 2-0 winning at halftime and oh, Donny to lose 3-2. Yeah. We, we need to get oh, that. That seems like system. a long time ago, it does seem it? a long time ago, doesn't it? Giles Morgan's here. Hallie and Jane, 4 nils to the pool. Yates hat trick, new micro bar, 30 a. Thirsty, yes. Oh, 30 That's on a. Church Street, isn't it? Yeah, I was reading about that today. That's quite exciting, isn't it? It's it's um it's got like three rooms, hasn't it? It's got um you 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 might like this. Go on. Uh it's got a Hacienda themed room. Ooh. Ooh. Um and oh. it's got I can't remember what the other ones are. Um, oh, like yeah, but that'd, um that'd but yeah, that. it sounds sounds really good. That six ale sounds sounds brilliant as well. And it's handy for the, the number three, isn't and the um yeah. the, the other one. What's the other what's the other pub? We mentioned another pub, didn't it? Um, There's another pub around there somewhere anyway. So yes, exciting times. I should be getting down there. I understand the shipwreck in Cleveland is open as well. I didn't realise they had an outdoor city bit, so I'll get down there in the next couple of weeks too. Stephen Roberts is saying a nice and easy 4 0 win. Let's get that third place and keep it on Sunday. Wouldn't that be good, wouldn't yeah. it? Because Lincoln and Charlton are playing tonight, aren't they? So if Ooh, that yeah. was a draw, that'd be handy, wouldn't it? Mm. It'd be a draw. It, would, it, it would knock knock Charlton out and knock Lincoln back. That would be good. We'd settle for that. Um, Stephen Roberts says, and, and, and come on, Charlton, you shouldn't. Yes. I don't know. Do, do we just want a draw there, really? Do we do we want Charlton in the playoffs or we would better with Portsmouth? Um, let's have a little look at, at how things stand. Because Charlton Barnes, might not make it anyway. Ian Barron's here. Uh, good Hello, evening, Ian. Janio. Everyone watching, hope you're well. Have a good day. Darlington has to boost. The budget scheme is now at 50k. Plus our target is 120k plus for the end of the month. Wow. Amazing work by Darlington fans down there. What are they at now? Uh, 50k. Wow. Uh, yeah, well, Charlton, it doesn't really matter, does it? Because a draw is not... Not a massive amount of use to them. That they're, they're going to be wanting to win. Um, I, I don't know. I kind of might like to finish third if we can. Do mm. that. So if Lincoln drew, they'd have seventy-seven. Oh, we'd be level, wouldn't we? We'd be level with a win. Mm. We need to lose them, don't yeah. we? In that case. Right. Okay. Okay. Who have Lincoln got the last game of the season? I can't. Oh, remember. you're asking too many questions. I've told you I've got a bad eye. Shazza Harvey is a little nervous in Dorset. Stephen oh, Holtz. there's nothing to be nervous about. Stephen Holtz has come on the pool. K Sarah Sarah. Afro Man is here. I want sweet revenge for giving up our 2 0 lead at their place. So do Ooh. I, Afro Man. I'm rare said. serious post from Afro Man. It is a rare series. Well, it's obviously very angry about that. We're obviously still feeling the pain from that. Aren't yeah. we? Uh, Kenneth Ward is a good evening, guys. Yo, Hope you good and well. Three points to guarantee playoff. Cheryl is confident as well. Uh, come on, the mighty pills. Are we supposed to say Cheryl? No, no. Oh, he's, the, he's not. He's not asking us. Oh, there's no shout he's out. He's not asking us to shout no, out. No, even a Cheryl whisper to Cheryl. Is, uh, 
We got, she got a mention anyway. Yeah, she did. Uh, Tangerine Tom uh, is here. Tur Turton is back in midfield. Mm, yes. Okay. Yeah, That's, we like uh, Gabriel's back in, isn't he? That Maybe Ollie will get a, a, a goal. Oh, oh let, that'd be let, nice, let, wouldn't let's it? Let's all do the Charleston in reference to our to our uh, intro some interesting news tonight as well um don't don't leave at the end because we're doing our after match review but we've got keegan parker is uh Ooh, he's coming we? into the uh to the um review after the have show have you sent in the link i've sent in the link mm. and he's got his pass and everything he said oh he's, bless he sent his little picture to say he's got his oh. match pass so he's a uh, He's oh, a new friend so he's of the show. Watching. He's going to be watching. So we've got Keegan Parker in. Great. So we're going to have a proper footy pundit in with us as well. So uh, I'll stuff. let him do all the talking. I won't say very much. And then I'll, I'll, I'll just agree with him on everything. <laughs> That's the best way, isn't it? No, not necessarily. You know, I feel like a bit of a bit of seaside aggro, don't we, occasionally? I'm, so. sure, I, I'm sure it'll be great tonight. I'm, I'll be looking forward to it. Of course, we've got a fill as well from the Yorkshire Seasiders. Yorkshire uh, Seasiders. Yorkshire. Uh, Ryan Dumas is moderator extraordinary is here. Hi, guys and dolls. Yeah, just to fit in with the intro music. How are we yeah. all? Okay. We're all right. Oh, right. Bit, bit, say a bit of a gammy eye. But bit, yeah, for the bit there today but hopefully they'll uh, pick me up joshua james is just saying lee i don't know what that means does that mean do i have to, I'm supposed to answer that <laughs> lee, she, she shout out no, it's not a question what? it's just lee it's lee lee, <laughs> lee. lee jefferson is wishing alexander a happy birthday thank you yeah i think that's a great day uh Got got him some of the pro airpods as well, which are which are really good. They're noise cancel and everything. I wouldn't oh, be able, wouldn't be able to hear cool. anything that people say. Can I get some? Can I get one for like the second half? <laughs> <laughs> well, you can have the other. Uh, Paul Hinton says, "Here we go again. Strap yourselves in. Yeah. Yes, come on. It's going to be tough. I know. Uh, hopefully, we've got eighteen Dapper coming in as well. He's, he's, he should be joining the stream sometime before we go. Everybody's live. here. Everybody wants part of it now, don't they? Uh, now we're in the playoffs. So he's the Doncaster Rovers or vlogger. Um, Mark, not Aaron, but uh, it, oh, 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 hang on, we've got Keegan Parker's suddenly appeared. We'll have to, is he suddenly appeared? I can't, I can't, there's no picture, but he's there. Um, he's testing your link. Oh, you, Sal's here. <laughs> Joshua Jay says, Let's win tonight. Uh, yes, let's win Joseph tonight. Billing, says, uh, 2 1 Doncaster. Ooh. I'd rather win on Sat Sunday though. To get the, uh, you know, just I'd really like to win heavily on Sunday, just to go into the playoffs with a, you know. Chris Graves says, "C C C Sanders, come on, you pool. Well, this could be the night. We are back. Well, it could be the the start of the we are back. We're not even even tonight. We're not back. Are we? We're not back yet. There's we a long way back, to we go. We might yet. be back for the playoffs. We might actually be there." Who knows? Yeah, we'll be in the post. Mike, Mike Peake says, uh, "Evening, uh, evening, Lee and J Jane and Lee. We need to sign. We need to win so we can end up with a home advantage for second leg in the playoffs. It wouldn't it be great?" Uh, Eighteen Dapper have sent the link through. Oh no, he's not got it. It's uh, see if I can uh, find out why he's not got that link. He should have the link. If you just want to just read the comments or something, I just sort oh, out. Keegan's popped up as well. So it's, it's just a lot. Oh no, he's gone. He's gone. There's a lot going on. A lot going on here, isn't there? Um, uh, let me. Um, uh, I can run through the team with you. So the Blackpool uh, lineup for tonight, if you haven't seen, or even if you have, you gain it again. Uh, we've got Chris Maxwell in goal. Uh, Jordan Gabriel, Jordan Thornley, Dan Ballard, James Husband, Luke Garbutt, U Kenny Dougal, Ollie Turton, Elliot Embleton, Ellis Sims, and Jerry Yates. Sun on the bench uh, for the Mighty Tangerine Wizards. We've got Stuart Moore, Marvin Ekpiteta. Uh, who we saw had a little cameo, didn't he, on Saturday? He did, he Dimitri did. Mitchell, Nathan Shaw, Kevin Stewart, and Keshi Anderson, and Brad Holmes. So that is a a stronger bench, isn't it? But no Kai Kai again um, after he pulled up injured on Saturday, and also no the other one, Ethan. Ethan Robson. Ethan Robson, who went off injured on Saturday, didn't he? No sign of him. Ta Daniel, da, uh, if you're listening, I've sent it through on WhatsApp as well as on your Twitter. I have sent it to your Twitter and I've sent it to WhatsApp. So you should have the link. I don't have any, any other ways of contacting you other than that. So hopefully you've got that, uh, Dan. Uh, but in the meantime, we have got Keegan Parker. Should we have a little chat with him because he's here? Well, he's here. We, we might, might as well. Say hello to him, we? That's, that's, hmm. This could be good fun. Let's just put that in there. Let's go to uh, Keegan. Let's, uh, he's, he's faffing around with him. Hello. Good evening. How are we doing? All right. We're all right, Keegan. How are you? Are you all excited That's, about tonight? This uh, technology caper is not my, uh, my criteria. 
<laughs> well, I, now, yeah. I think you'll make a great pundit. And, and I've got the game great. here as well. So Fantastic. Yeah. Well, nice to see you again, Keegan. Excellent. Welcome oh, back. Yeah. So we're a bit got... nervous about tonight's game. We are a little bit, I must admit. De definitely we are a little bit nervous. Um, I'm, I'm going to say something that's going to give us a good talking point to start then. Yes. If you could pick a team at the 24 teams in the league, if you could pick two or three teams then to be playing just tonight, I'd say Doncaster would be one of them because they're bang in the middle of the league with nothing to play for. So, yes. Uh, yes. An early, a, an early goal and the heads will go down and it'll be a case of how many, I think. Yeah, and they've been they've been having a bit of trouble, haven't they, lately uh, as well? Yeah. Well, they lost the manager, didn't they? And yes, they did. They lost had, Darren. So they've had some more nightmares been, after that, haven't they? As well? Which we're going to find out uh, all about because I've got actually eighteen dapper. So we might as well bring him in. I don't know if you want to stay in, Keegan, or, or just come back later. It's entirely up to you. But I'll, I'll this, stay in if you want, unless I'm in right. from. Okay, we're just going to go uh, to to. Uh, Good evening, Dan. Uh, Dan Good evening. is uh, eighteen oh, dapper. He's Doncaster Rovers. Now, is is this the streaker? It is uh, <laughs> fully clothed tonight, Jay. <laughs> For those of you that don't know in the stream, um, Dan, Dan, you, you you did say that if Doncaster, do you say if Doncaster score, I'll I'll run round the pitch naked or something? You were so angry with him or something, weren't you? Yeah. You did, so was, is, is, is that the way it went? What, yeah, what, it was what, back happened? in November. Um, we were Sunderland at home. Um, and we were playing that kind of football where if we were playing now and it, the game had to finish 1-0, you'd say we could still be playing now and we wouldn't score. Yeah. So I was that confident. So I tweeted out, if if we get an equaliser out of this, I'll run around the, the keep moat naked. And then 90, 93rd minute, Brad Halliday and Okinabiri bundled the ball into the back at net. He tried to miss. Um, and <laughs> I, was, I was true to my word, raised... About four or five hundred quid for for charity, uh, playing oh, wow. in a okay. East Trust charity game, uh, Doncaster Rovers versus Chef Wednesday at the end of the month, where there's ten fundraisers per team. Um, ex pros are playing, so Chris Waddle's playing for Chef Wednesday. Um, he's probably the biggest name so far. Uh, oh, but yeah, yeah, looking forward to that. But wow. yeah, true true to my word. <laughs> you did very, yeah. You did very well. You're very brave, and you did do. <laughs> you did run around the pitch naked. We um, left it late, I and it was snowing as well. <laughs> oh no <laughs> I knew you've been out jogging for about six months <laughs> you've been out jogging just about every day and you're getting yourself into shape as best you could for it as well so. yeah I still look like a potato though uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I, think, um, I think Keegan hit the nail on the head uh, about Donny being smack bang in the middle of the table and I think he probably it is at, at the right time um, Taylor two halves for our season fantastic first half yeah. Tailed off in the second, had an absolute shocker. And for me, we, we're there for the taking for you guys tonight. Oh, that's putting us under pressure, isn't it? Yeah, it's putting us a little oh, bit under pressure. Me. But uh, it, well, this is a nothing game for you now, isn't it? I mean, that's it. You can't fin you know, you can't get in the playoffs. It's quite unbelievable. I, I was talking to Aaron last night, you know, uh, he. Uh, Keegan won't know, but he's another Doncaster Rovers uh, vlogger who was very confident that, that that you were going up and you were going up automatic. And he 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 said a few things back in the day because this is a rearranged game from earlier on in the season, isn't it? And it, it got called off at the last minute. We had Aaron in and he was uh, talking about we'd have to forfeit the game and give the three points to Doncaster and all this sort of stuff. And of course, it's all come back to sort of haunting, really. So I, I gave him a bit of sit last night. I'd, I'd actually recorded the little bits he'd said and we put them on in front of him, but he took it all in good spirit, which was quite which was quite good. So what can we expect tonight, Daniel, from from Doncaster? Do you think who's the danger people, you know, the danger men and what what formation do you think you're gonna to play tonight? Have you any idea? Uh the team's been put out, we're playing four four two, which is it, it's positive for me that I think over the season we've played four at the back, five in the middle, one up top. Uh, I do like to see two strikers. I think we've got a bit more of a, an, an attacking threat. Um, right. In terms of play, I'm hoping that we, we're going to be playing for some sort of pride because, as I say, second half of the season has just not been good enough compared to the first half. Yeah. Um, so I'm hoping that we spoil Peterborough's party. A couple of, week, uh, a couple of Tuesdays back, we sent Rochdale down at the weekend. So I'm hoping that we're playing for pride and we spoil your party today, but I think you'll See, you'll make you'll make playoffs. No you're going for the mean bagging hat trick then. <laughs> yeah, I'm just hoping that we spoil parties because then we've got Peterborough on Sunday. Uh, they're obviously promoted, but it'd be nice to send them up on a defeat as well and just end our season 
on a positive. This isn't very sporty. It's a bit of a backhanded compliment we got at least there. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to be kind of level. Beat, we're going to beat you, but we're going to let you go. We're going to go up anyway. <laughs> uh, will we see Coppinger tonight? Do you think is he going to get a chance to play? Do you think we'll we'll see him tonight? Is he on the bench? He's on, he's on the bench. Um, I think he'll probably come on for for 15, 20 minutes at the end. I think he'll get ninety minutes on Sunday uh, for his final game in seventeen years at the club. But yeah, I'm just hoping record. that he does a U turn and. Even if it's a six-month contract next season, where fans can actually be in the ground and give him a send-off that he truly deserves, but it's it's entirely up to him. I mean, he's forty years old. Will he want to do another pre-season? I'm thirty-two, and I won't want to do a pre-season, so I can't fault him. <laughs> Would you fancy another pre-season, Keegan? Well, I'm contemplating. Well, probably going to be doing one soon because I've uh, just took on a coach and stroke playing role and uh, a team up here, and I've got a few games down in Blackpool coming up. Uh, actually, against Blackpool in the uh, pre-season, which coming up with Squares Gate, so I've no, I've no uh, excuse. Oh. I need to try and get fit and lose a few of these uh, curries I've had over lockdown. <laughs> <laughs> Your, your macro's a little bit quiet, King. I don't know if you can turn your volume up a little bit there. I don't know if it does turn up, but uh, the light it may, might just turn up a little bit so we can hear you a bit better. Try that now. Is that any better now? Oh, oh yeah, much better. better. Yeah, you sounded way, way, way. So that, that's great. Um, yeah, so um, who's the danger man then in your team? Just looking at your team there. Uh, Lakilo's picked up a bit of form over the last couple of games, but for the rest of the season, he's been kind of blowing it on cold. Uh, right. But the last two games, he's, he's, he's looked like he's starting to get to that that level of ability that we thought that he that he did have. So I'm looking forward to the battle between him and your left back. His name escapes me. Uh, that'll be, uh, is it husband or Garber that's in? Garber. Garber's in left. Yeah. Garber. I think that'll be a, a decent little battle to keep an eye on tonight. Right. Um, John Jules, good little striker on loan from Arsenal. Um, and Ock and Abiri can put put the ball away um, when you're not really expecting it as well. So, yeah, those three would be the ones to watch for me. Now, he's the player I've got my fun fact about, Tyrese John Ooh. Jules. He has a famous uncle. Are you aware of this? No. Uh, well, I looked up his name. I thought, John Jules? Hmm, I've heard of a John Jules. His uncle is uh, Danny John Jules, who played Cat in, um, what's it called? Cold oh, outside, there's oh, no yeah, kind yeah. of atmosphere, all alone, or <laughs> Red Dwarf. Red Dwarf. Oh, all right. <laughs> yeah, so his uncle was in Red Dwarf. Oh, and he was no cat. Way. Yeah, he was oh, cat. Wow. There you are, fun fact for you there. <laughs> you never knew that, Daffer. Fun fact with a song. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks for coming in and... Uh, I know it's been a bit of a disappointment for you this season. And I know you've lost Darren Moore and I know you didn't get uh, Rafa as... Uh, <laughs> 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 As Aaron had promised you were going to get Rafa Benitez. Bless uh, him. So, but it does sound like there's a... Good to be young and hopeful. I think uh, Richie Wellens may be a uh, front runner, is he, for the oh. Doncaster job? Yeah, it's, it's looking that way. Um, I was talking to Aaron earlier, and for me, it, do you go for a, for an up-and-coming manager where we're potentially going to get the same thing this season as, as what we had this season, where we, we yeah. have a good start to it, and then the championship team comes in for them? I can't fault anybody for moving on and progressing the career and, and playing the trade at a higher level. You can't you can't fault it. But it, it is frustrating as a fan, kind of feeling like a stepping stone of a club. Um, so I'd like to see somebody come in who's showed a bit of loyalty in previous jobs and they're actually here for, for a bit of a long haul. Because I think as a, as a club, we have got potential to, to be a championship club yeah. consistently. Yeah. Maybe not, but I think we have got the... Well, you've got the facilities stadium, yeah, you know, I mean, yeah. You've got the facilities to be championship. Definitely, it's a very nice stadium. We like it. Yeah, yeah, we? I think, yeah we do. I think we've got a fan base to get there as well. We've we've seen it before when when the when the performances and the results are coming in, people yeah. from Doncaster go and watch the team. Um, but yeah, it's just it's getting bums on seats and and getting that sustainability and yeah. kind of what about. Just, what about Paul Heckingbottom? Do you think he'd be a good fit for your job there? He's been at a lot of club clubs round about that. Neck of the woods. Do you think that would be a, quite a good option if he's leaving Sheffield United? I think so because he's he's been he's been dealt a bit of a, a rough hand at Sheffield United this season, has he? I think he's he's taken he's, he's taken it up when when they're already pretty much relegated, and he's, he's he's tried to implement stuff. But I think given given a project, somebody like that would be would be ideal for it. But I think they're on about announcing it the week commencing the 10th. 
So, yeah, last game's on the ninth. The week after, we should know yeah. who's in charge. And then I think we'll start to see the club come together. There's still out of player contracts, uh, players out of contract that are kind of weighing up the futures and stuff. So, it's going to be a big, interesting summer. Um, and the target's always top six. I can't see that target changing. Hopefully, we get somebody in who can achieve it next season. Because I think we were in a, in a position when Aaron were, were saying with confidence yeah, we're going up. We're in a fantastic position. Mm. Games in yeah. hand. If we'd have won, then games in hand, we were top. And then the wheels fell off. Yeah. <laughs> There's no two ways about it. They did. It's a shame. It's well, a maybe, shame. Maybe, but, maybe, uh, maybe that down the league below, like for a you know a, a manager doing well down there, you know, like a Michael Flynn at Newport, who I played with, he might be a good option as well. You know, yeah, pretty, young, yeah, young manager, but good experience and certainly very good in the cup runs he's had as well. Yeah, and it's it's kind of doing what championship teams are, are doing to us, looking at looking at people who are performing in the league below, and it's it's just getting people climbing the ladder, isn't it? Sure. Yeah. I love the way that Keegan can actually genuinely drop names in, unlike Aaron, who drops names in all the time. But uh, Keegan can drop these names in. Today. I'm, I'm on a I'm on a percentage if I can get somebody a move. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> on commission. <laughs> <laughs> well thanks very much for coming on dan and uh you know maybe we'll see you next season we don't we don't know yet we, obviously you know blackpool fans need a point tonight you know that to get to secure yeah. the playoff with you know we're wanting a win because we're wanting to try and get into third so we're going to try and beat you tonight there's no doubt about it so if, if we well, don't beat you we'll be disappointed but best yeah, of luck I've... anyway on on uh, Sunday and Peter, but just make sure you beat them because we should have got automatic. It was we, we, yeah. we blew it. We we blew it ourselves. So uh, but I've, anyway. I've gone with a two-one defeat tonight. I think you guys will be up for it. As as you've said on the stream, we've not really got anything to play for other than spoiling parties. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I've gone with a two-one defeat. Unfortunately, but it'd be oh. nice to spoil another party. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for coming on. We're, we're getting oh, close yeah. to kickoff, so I'm gonna have yeah, to yeah, nice you to see you again for the playoffs. Just, um, <laughs> and if we don't see you next season, good luck in the championship. If yeah, you make well, we'll keep in touch anyway, Thank Dan. You. It's, it's yeah. been a pleasure having you on my show and everything before. So, cheers. Thanks. Thanks. Thank Dan. you very much. Take care. Right, bye bye. bye. Right, uh, that's it, Keegan. I'll, I'll, I'll let you go as well now. Until yeah. do, 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 do you want to come back in at half time? Maybe we'll have a little chat at half time, and then we'll do. Yeah, it I've got, got to have a few notes for you anyway on this game. Anyway, it's, uh, see what's planning out. Hopefully, it'll be a, a two 0 at half time. That's my prediction. All right. Okay. All <laughs> right. See you soon. See you, you half time. Bye bye bye. Oh, oh how exciting! Well, it's all very busy, isn't it? We're going to rattle through these comments then. Now we, really are. Um, we, need to, we are running out of time. Yeah. Uh, let's just go. So, through. if we run into talking about tea during the first half, it's just you know, it's yeah. just we're going to have to be. Uh, Sean oh, we've got, we've got Daniel from Russia. Oh, have we? Daniel Ford. I am new. I live in Russia. Oh, hi, Daniel. Ford. Hello, Daniel. Hello, uh, Strasvucci. How... <laughs> oh. Uh, <laughs> Sean P says, uh, Evenly and Jane, hope you're both well. My prediction is 3 0 for the pool. I'll take that. I'll take that. Uh, Peter Donnelly, come on, you mighty tangerine wizards. Martin Armstrong, Evenly and Jane, Blackpool 2 0 uh, over Dancaster. Come on, the pool. Brian Thompson is in. Evenly Jane, good luck, everyone, tonight. Just changing the automatic air freshness pre match. Just took a blast no. of cotton fresh in the face. Oh, no, you don't oh, need no. that. They're quite evil. Like they? We've got, we've got, well, I had a replacement. I ordered mine from, um, the supermarket and, and it came with a flavor that I, I don't like it at all but it works so and they, they break quite easily don't they I do a uh, closer chow aaron is actually here in the chat there he is people saying Yo. get aaron but he was in last night oh, he's you can, here all along you can listen to the you, you can go and watch what we said it was it, um Aaron was in last night. So uh, Joseph Billingsley says apparently third place is the worst in the playoffs. No, not for us. Not for us. We've gone up from third in third place. There's, it doesn't matter where we finish. No. Six or third. As long as we finish at Wembley with the trophy. <laughs> it's all that matters. <laughs> Paul Maynard says, uh, hi, guys. A Blackpool win tonight. Yes. Come on. Brian, More positive, aren't Brian we? Brian Armand says, hi, guys. Hope you're both well. 3-0 3-0 tonight. will do. Uh, oops, the chat just jumped a mile there. I don't know why. It? Okay, right, okay. Uh, Giles Morgan uh, says... Uh, 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 oh, yes, yeah, Scandinavian Beer Keller. Yes, that's the other, other room Keller, Second room in Church Street, Blackpool. Yeah, that yes. sounds really quite cool. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to that. Joshua Billings says, who do you think will win the playoffs? Blackpool, of course. Why are you asking? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> do you know where you are? <laughs> What's the point of it? even asking that? Gotta have hope at the start you know of the playoffs. Everything. You've got to believe. Uh, Steve Willis says, Hi, Lee and Jane. Just like to say fair play to Aaron for coming on your show last night to get some stick. Also, do not underestimate Doncaster. No, no we uh, you never know what watched. happened at their place? We, we love do. Doncaster. We do, no, we 
you do know very well. Uh, Peter Hawley, sticking with us with the uh, Star Wars theme, and may the fourth be with you, and may the fourth yes. be with you too, Peter. Um, uh, Avril and Scarecrow says it's hard to be serious, Jane, when you're you you're not all there. So well, that's uh, that's that's why we know that. Don't but we? sometimes he does have <laughs> flashes of seriousness. Stevie Nye is here. Good evening, Lee and Jane. Could you join me in raising a glass to Anne, my beautiful wife? I have not got a glass. We can raise. It says raise our glass, not two raise glasses. Our, raise our glass. There we are. To our beautiful wife. We celebrated our pearl wedding anniversary yesterday. Oh. Three nil. So congratulations. congratulations. How many is pearl? Pearl is that twenty. 30 pill 30. I, I was thinking more five. I'm, I'm, I don't know. I don't know. We'll, we'll find out. Somebody will, somebody will fill us in on that. I don't, uh, Chris Chris Gray says uh, we need Lincoln to lose. Okay, so we need Lincoln to lose. But obviously that, that keeps Charlton in the race if we Go don't on, rattle, lose. rattle, rattle. Uh, rattle Michael Stuart Hague says, highly Charles the TV we trust in the box of toys we trust. Yes, put you on times two speed. Uh, Mobaka says, evening guys, two on. <laughs> <laughs> Shazza Harry says, uh, scoreboard. <laughs> Scoreboard. Uh, okay, I'm going, to, I'm, going to, I'm going to get faster. We'll, we'll get faster. Uh, I'm on the Oreo puff bench. Just saying, let's get to. Uh, oh, well, I'll read you the teams while he's hurrying up. Um, so the uh, who we're playing, Donny, the Donny team. Uh, Louis Jones, uh, Reese James, Tom Anderson, Captain Joe Wright, Vajiri Akinabiri, Jason Lakilo, Matt Smith, Taylor Richards, Tyrese John Jules with the famous uncle. Andy Butler and Brandon Horton. And on the bench, Ben Bottomley, Omar Bogle. This is a test on the eye. This I feel like I'm at the opticians. John Bostock, Danny Amos, Josh Sims, James Coppinger and AJ Greaves. Yes, very good. Quickly, uh, Stephen, Stephen Robertson, second champ, booked in for Monday. Papa has had shirts on and just found out I've already paid for this game. Bonus. Uh, Stephen Crabbe says, my friends are cheering the pool off from here in Yorkshire, putting a shilling on the Blackpool to win. Mark Bowman <laughs> is here. Stephen Wood is... Sounds like John McCrerick, doesn't Stephen, it? Stephen Wood, uh, West Midlands Seaside is up the mighty pool. Chris Graves, hope uh, we can party tonight. So do I, so do I. So. Uh, Jay Tong is here. Uh, we're having third. Uh, we're not... He's fighting. He's fighting for it. He's a Lincoln fan. Jake Tong is here. He's just got a new... Uh, good, Media job as well. Well, oh yes, yeah, he has. Jake. Congratulations on your well new done. job, Jake. Kaiser sixty nine says eating Kendall Mink cake on the north face of the Iger. Great, That's exactly what you is should it, be Is it chocolate coated Kendall Mink cake? That's my favourite. We favorite. need to know. Uh, Reese Jeff Jefferson says we will win about four 0 on Sunday because Bristol Rovers are last. Uh, Reese Jefferson says, "Will well, that doesn't mean anything. Ooh, ooh, what, what, ooh, wait, that ooh, doesn't mean anything. Oh, their keepers in a very striking pink." Uh, somebody said, "Heinz said we should have asked Keegan if he had chips for tea. We'll ask him at half time." Yeah, uh, I did uh, think my, it. Mike Peake says you have done a sterling job over the season. There are there, these are your final these are your final games. As yes, you will they are. Soon. These we are our final. Be, hopefully, our final the, live streams. Edward Cooper says, "Do you think we'll win?" Yes. Um, Although we will miss Stephen you Holt guys. says, uh, some of my work colleagues uh, have booked hotels in London. That's confidence for oh, you. No. Oh, I don't like that. Don't like that. that. Remember, no. Brad Remember Bradford? Not a good thing to do. Um, Sean P says, it's great to see Keegan Parker back on the stream. Top man. Yeah, yes. And a, and a pundit as well. Just absolutely fantastic. Shazza said hi to Keegan. We'll all get a chance to talk to him at half time. And at full time, if you stay around, because we're going to be doing the match review with Keegan Parker. <laughs> uh, Stephen Roberts says, uh, stand aside. Doncaster, the pool are coming through. Absolutely. Uh, Tandre Tom said hello to Keegan. Rodney Bint said, uh, good afternoon, uh, good evening, Lee. I think Sims will score and win it for us tonight. Yes. MG Whitard is here. Evening both, only with you hello. for a few until the match starts. I can't multitask on the technology. Well, oh, Keegan no. can. Keegan can. If Keegan can, anybody can. Uh, Tony Tangerine says, great for the value of the piddle, hoping for it to be a raging torrent while quiet flows the dawn by the end of the night. Let's I've got to give you the Blackpool team now because we're about to kick off. So the mighty right Tangerine up. Wizards this evening Let's against Doncaster Rovers. Quick, quick, quick. Ah, oh, number one, Chris Maxwell. Yes. Number two, Jordan Gabriel. Yay. Number four, Jordan Thornley. Yay. 26, Dan Ballard. Yes. Number three, James Husband. Yes. Fun, boy. Fun boy. 29, Luke Garbert. Yes. 12, who can he do go? 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 20, Ollie Turton. Yay. 32, Embo, Embo, it's Embo, 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 it's Embo, 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 it's Embo, and he's the lord of the ball. <laughs> <laughs> number 19, Ellis Sims. Yes. And number nine is Yatesy, Yatesy, Jerry, 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 Yatesy. It's Jerry, Jerry, Yatesy. It's Jerry, Yatesy. We've kicked off your We're subs as Stuart Moore, <laughs> Marvin Epiteta, Dimitri Mitchell, Nathan Shaw, Kevin Stewart, Keshi Anderson, and Brad Holmes, the property developer. Right. Anybody uh, else? Any more comments? Doncaster well, in a, a, a dark, the, the dark away kit. And they're on the, oh, they're in the box. No, it's sort of, I don't know what they're color it is. We'll get it away. This is a dark grey. I'm talking as fast as I was doing the thing. It's all right, so stop. Can, stop you can, 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 oh, no. Do, 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 it's going to have to try to... Stop. Oh, 
Oh, Dunk has to pick it up from a bit of sloppy work from. Oh, and we've given away a free kick, I think, there. It is. Oh, dangerous. It was a little bit. Oh, God, you're hyper now, aren't I you? I am. I can't stop talking oh, fast now. No. Oh, no. Uh, oh, this is, this is a disaster. No, Grant Ward, no, no, Medine says Giles Morgan. Hopefully, see him for Blackpool. We, uh, Duncan's got a free keep. I'm going to yes, 12 o'clock right, kickoff again. on Congrats Sunday. Players. I did say you would get playoffs when you played crew. Hi, Rad. Uh, Michael Stewart Haig says, what about that? you mean the happy clappers? I don't, I don't know. I've forgotten what. Uh, Right, so it's a free kick to Dong. In a, in a, so not, not in a, in a, a semi dangerous position. Oh, oh, oh that's a yes. One that, was a that was a very sort good of free kick. Sort of curled this in front of everybody. Everyone and uh, Blackpool. Oh, yeah, that was a good free kick, oh, wasn't it? Stephen Goodness nice me. Says, uh, Stephen Dobby might have played his last game for a Queen of the South. On oh, so yes, did see well. that. He sent them a thank you, didn't he? Very, very nice of him. Good lad. How old is he now, Stephen Dobby? Primary said it'd be nice to go to bed happy, but Doncaster got a corner, taking it short. Ooh, little step overs. Mm. Ooh. 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 Oh, gets the ball in. Ooh, hey, oh, hey, they're up for this, just... Donny. Tell you. That was a good chance, a good cross in. Mm. Uh, found the Donny player on the near post and he just put it wide. Of no the pressure, you see. No pressure. Yeah, they're relaxing, right. they're showboating. Exactly. Got to watch this. Uh, Nigel S says that every team between third and six could put up an argument that they blew it as well. Yes, absolutely they could. Yes. We blew it from a, from a, t we got ourselves right there and then went and blew it with some silly. Silly losses against Rochdale and Shrewsbury. Right, so Chris Maxwell here with the uh, with the goal kick. He's in minty green, Blackpool, of course, in their traditional tangerine shirts, Studio white 18. shorts, tangerine shorts. And our opponents, I can't quite figure out what that colour oh, is. Just bounced over Ellis Sims. Oh, Blackpool on the attack yes. here. Jerry Ace has been brought down. It's a free kick to Blackpool. Kick. Eight, that Stevie is a dangerous position. Eight, good evening, Lynn Jane from Glasgow. Good evening. Ben Akel Marks is saying it's going to be 4 1 to Blackpool. Shazza Harvey is going for a two-all draw. Uh, H not gaming says, "Come on the pool." It's an H from Line of Duty. Not that we're talking about. Oh gosh, Charles Morgan's is still on on the tee. We didn't done it. Uh, Gamma steak, smoke egg, pineapple rings, dirty fries, baked beans, pudding, chocolate mousse. Sounds great. You, Stuart Ward is it saying evening from Edinburgh? Nice. Right, it's a free kick to Blackpool. Just let's pause the chat while we just see how we take who's. Garbutt's taking it. Garbutt's taking it, yes. We've got they, a young got goalkeeper in called Lewis Jones. Right, it's hit. Oh, oh he's carried it great away. Save. And he's pushed it all the way out for a throw. That, that was a good uh, free kick and, and a, a good save a good, there. Yes, it uh, was. Ollie's it, throwing it back in on the far side. Grantee saying oh, no, good luck not. on sealing the playoffs from a posh fan in Texas. We haven't done oh, yet. Posh fan in Texas. He's, he's, he's giving the oh, ball to Gabriel, who's through. going for a long, right, a long throw, throw on, the Gabriel on the far side. side level Jordan, the Gabriel. <laughs> right. Oh, it's a good it? one. It's, oh, it's headed away by Donny Doncaster, Ed. though. Oh, Another Donny Ed. Of, jostling with... Blackpool Ed. And no. a Donny. Oh no, that's a bit of a oh, Gabriel, non as he wrestled his way, that. and we've got another throw in. It's going to be another yes. long throw in. As you were. And Mike Enright says, "Good luck tonight uh, for hat trick for posh fan in Texas." For Super Jerry Eights, ex Swindon legend. Thank you, Mike. We have a Texan in our living room. Early nice, thirty years. We? Yes, I would see. Yes. Oh, well, very Even good. Five. Trip Tucker. He's our favourite Texan, isn't he? Yeah, trip, trip off, uh, yeah, Starship and, and Sheldon. Yes. And um, uh, what's he called? <sighs> Luke Bryan. Is he from Texas as well? Um. Door, door on tours here. Hello, door. He says, hey. do you want Lewis Graben and we'll take Jerry Yates? Um. Mm, no. 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 If you're giving him away. <laughs> Well, actually, probably if you, you can play have, for Blackpool, it'd be brilliant. You can have Joe Nussle. Every player that goes to Nottingham Forest is brilliant when they play for everybody else, but not for Forest. So maybe, all right, Blackpool on the attack here. This oh, Embo, Embo, it's Embo, 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 it's Embo, 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 it's Embo. And he's they not, not but, very no, Lord, Lord of the Ball either. It's a good idea. Right, Black, can Blackpool get to that? Yes, they yes, can. Yes, Kenny Dougal, that's what we like to see. Blackpool win it. Oh, he's Oh, he's giving a free kick again. Paul Heaton says, guess who I bumped into at the opticians today? Everyone. <laughs> <laughs> We're liking that. Right. Oh, oh yes. Here we thing. go. Picked up. It's, um, oh, a nice ball inside the box. Garbutt for, to Embo. Embo with Embo. Back out to Garbutt, who's going to put a ball across. Nice ball across. Oh, just cleared off. Cleared away from the in, in the six-yard 
box and uh, Blackpool put it out for a throw into Donny on the near side, just midway in their half. Nigel S says that Lincoln are the best football inside currently in the playoffs. I would say they are favourites, followed by Sunderland and Blackpool. Damn, probably. Oh, this is controversial, Nigel. We don't know whether they are. We are Look, best we are football inside doesn't necessarily win the playoffs. No. Unless we outfootballed them at Lincoln, didn't we? We just we, we just did. fell asleep for ten minutes, and we didn't. We should have had about six we'll or seven. And so their shirt's a bit stripy it. there, a bit hoopy. Kieran Baines has actually been here since the start of the season. Such good content, thank you very oh. much. That's from, from a team in Suffolk. And can we zoom in, please? I follow. Paul Marks is here. Lancaster evening, Lee and Jane. Thank, good evening, Paul. Hello. Um, yes, now Damon Orme is pointing Ooh, out to Nigel. Mm, Jane, that makes me sound away. African. Yes, absolutely right, Nigel S. We, we did beat Sunderland home and away, so why, why are they above us? And I was wearing this shirt when we did it as Just well. because they're big. I think they're big. They've got big pressure. Right, we seem <laughs> to be winning the midfield Steve, battle here Stephen tonight. Stephen Crumb says, uh, tune for Blackpool, he looks like a video printer on Grandstand. <laughs> <laughs> it's John Stevens here. Hi, guys. Come on, the pool. Good evening, John. We're still getting through them. There's a lot here. Lewis Judas says, what is our predictions? We just don't do predictions. We don't do them. Um, I'm predicting 7-0 for Saturday, Sunday. Does, does um, BFC, what he's wanting to sweep stake for the first. It's a goal! <laughs> Comment from Lee. <laughs> Moses, Jane, take his batteries out, please. <laughs> <laughs> Duracell bunny. Oh, I'm trying to catch up with all these bunnies. <laughs> Oh gosh, Aid Whitaker. Hi. Aide. Oh, She's... nicely. Uh... My, oh, my, Ollie. My living lodger just walked into the room and asked, "Who are who are those Manhattan practice people you're watching? <laughs> you were singing at the time." <laughs> oh God, yes. It, it yeah. Must be a, must be a culture shock to anybody who doesn't know what the hell we're going on about. Uh, Stevie, uh, eighteen eighty eight. I evening. think that's I think that's a pinker pink than Maxie's pink. That, Paul um... Crisp. Hello, Paul. He's saying I'm sat outside Hello. a pub watching you with a pint of doom. Oh. Dubai watching you too. Who knows what will happen? Oh, <laughs> thank you that's very great. much. Very jealous that you're at the pub. Yeah, we are. Evening all from Chili Durham, Durham says Chili Giles Durham. Chalinor. Um, Gary Hutchinson's going for 2 1 to Blackpool for a change. Yes. Uh, Peter Donnelly says this referee seems to give set pieces a lot he so does, far. He does, yes. Bit with slappy, isn't he? Peter Donnelly says we'll take Gabriel Door. That's oh, him says. there. He's got hair like the, 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 you know, the one out of um, that police thing that we liked with um, Any news on the Gene Genie. <laughs> He's going to Forest um, with uh, Joe Nottle. <laughs> They're after our players. Can I have him? Right, Blackpool knock a long ball forward down the right wing. It's headed away by Doncaster, though. Out for a throw into Blackpool, about 10 yards inside the Donny Hall. Ashes to Ashes, the young copper with the floppy hair. Did we see Lincoln got robbed? Are you listening? What? Ashes to Ashes. With yes. the Jean Genie, the, the young one with the floppy hair. Oh, yes. He, he's got hair like him. Ah, yes. Yeah, uh, yes, I know which one you mean. Oh, Blackpool yeah. pick up a ball, a loose ball on the, on the the by the D. Right, uh, Garbutt. Embleton's puts it out to Garbutt, who's... Embleton. Oh, but it was oh, a nice... Yeah. Embleton put a ball across. Oh, oh, that was a nice God, ball. Cleared at the near post by Doncaster. Tell you what, Embo's getting it's, good. Oh, it's back in the box again. Oh. And it's just not too far for Sims, and it's into the arms of the goalkeeper safely. But this is looking exciting. The goalkeeper's got uh, he's looking very, very striking. It's um it's a pinker pink than Maxi's pink, but he's got black gloves on as well. It's it's an interesting look. Scott Will like Hi it. Adam Room. Shocking pink. Hi, Adam Room. Hi, Adam. Yeah, we're both okay, Adam. Thank you very much. Mm. We are, we're all right. Uh Steve uh, Stephen Highway. Remember that, Stephen. I always uh, nice to catch a fresh YouTube talk about Blackpool. Stay safe, guys. Thank you very much, Dave. I hope you enjoy it tonight. Right, um, right, Donny, I've got a free kick just just inside. Well, just slightly outside the centre circle, just inside our half. Launch long forward. Ooh, that looked like a foul. On the, anyway, the referee ignores that Sorry. one. It was a push in the back. Uh, but Doncaster send the ball too far. It's gone out for a throw into Blackpool, almost at our corner flag. I like that Keegan's done his prep. That's great, isn't it's it? Brilliant, yeah. We don't prep. He's professional. <laughs> Let's just come on and wing it. He's pro. Think of a toilet. Think of a song on yeah, the toilet yeah. half time. And, and... Oh, God. Embarrass us tonight, isn't he? <laughs> Keegan, what are you doing? Uh, turn to us football. Evening, Lane Jane. How are we? Good evening, Turton. Make yeah, sure you right. subscribe to his YouTube channel. He's an up and coming young YouTuber, Luke Turton, called Turton Talks Football. And he's always talking about. Well, everything about football, really. He, he gets guests in and all sorts. It's fabulous. And he's a bit of a 
a push though if you can give him a yes there's definitely the hoops yeah. this 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 donny um oh embo just threw, threw the ball at um their, their players back it almost looks like you know like see-through <laughs> you know like ladies wear like lacy tops with like a black bra on underneath that's what their shirt looks like the donny shirt because it's sort of like a, a gray but it's got like black bits yeah, green I think black. it looks like a you know like a lady's Ooh, lace shirt with a black bra on underneath. So that's that's an image for you there. You just got to say what you see, you know. Right, but yeah, head we tennis. Don't, we don't need any suspensions, do we? So what's no. going on there? But you're going to say suspenders there? We we're on the underwear yeah, theme. Just, it's nice thing. Just think if Dobby had scored at Wembley, then the this is the West Ham. The bloody Oysters could still be in charge. Well, they'd have probably still took all that as well, wouldn't they? Right, bit of head tennis Stephen again. Stephen Cranston is the best football channel in England. Yes, it is, and the world. Absolutely. And the world. Well, this is why they come from all over the world. Yeah, they come from Russia. They come from Brazil. You know, they're all here. Germany. We just, need, we just need to catch Goldberg, don't we? What's he on? Go, what's he called? Gold something? Who? Um, what's he called? Um, Whoopi Goldberg. No, the other fo the football channel. I'm fogged in, of course. We need to get past him. We only, only got 500,000 subscribers to go, but we'll we'll get there. We'll get past them. We are better than them. Well, we know we're better. It's better than it's a bit, it's, it's about, <laughs> thank you very much. I should think so. <laughs> Stephen Hall's wondering. <laughs> <laughs> the worst compliment I've ever had. Oh, you're better than Thog Dad. <laughs> Stephen Hall's wondering how many fans outside the ground cheering the pool. Yeah. I thought it did make you laugh. Oh, well, it did. It was, it did. Of course, it did. Uh, John Hampshire says, uh, "Good afternoon." Get it on the floor. Good. Uh, go see Sanders from Canada. Thanks, thanks, John. Hello, Canada. Uh, Scott, World of Adventure is back Blame in Blackpool Canada. next week. Right, Blackpool. Ooh, oh, blimey. no. That, that oh, no. Disaster ball Dispossessed there. Dispossessed there. Picks his pocket. Right, there's Ballard. a chance here for Donny. Blackpool getting numbers back. Still in the box. Ah. We've got a block in on Blooming. Oh, Dan Ballard got out of jail there. Yeah, he did. He... Now, he was the interview in the match programme really tonight. Dispossessed there, and that was very dangerous. He's answers to a lot of questions by Elliot Embleton. Yes, Elbow says, I know those. What do you think the questions I were? I know those see through tops. <laughs> hmm? Oh. Always saying, oh, Lee knows those see through tops. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> we, we can see them, they're wearing them. Obviously, the nipples are oh, Oh, Claire look is here. Hello, Claire. Hello, Hi, Claire. Doncaster, your favourite steward. Yes, oh, Claire. Oh, yeah, we is love our Claire. Our favourite steward in the whole world. Yeah. She is, honestly. She, she is, she's the we best. She went to Donnie, she looked after she us. She really did. Look, the, she showed us the family playing football thing and, and everything. Had us taking penalties and all sorts of things and if they had the playstation on we'd have done all that but yes we thought we were going to get told off didn't we we got stewards marching over to us and like oh stop filming but no no they're like oh yeah come and see what we've got look what we've got around here she's just told us that the, the, the keeper is called lewis lewis jones i think he's, he's young isn't he so i should imagine he's one that the young female stewards of doncaster probably quite like i would imagine the new the keeper for doncaster uh, oh. Sizer is here, New Zealand, just joining the stream. Oh, oh the well, hang on, we're, we're building something here. We're building? Yeah. The Czech, Repu the Czech uh, Republic are here, yeah. No, it's Czechia. 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 New Czechia. word. Oh, yeah. Right, right Garbutt to Garbutt oh, Embo nice linking up nicely today. Blackpool, through to Jerry Yates. But, oh, oh he keeps leaving shot. the ball behind, He just yes. keeps leaving the ball behind at the moment. He did that know. on Saturday as well, didn't he? What's up with him? I don't know. Keegan will tell us. He can tell us why. why He'll give us some technical reason why this is happening, what he was trying to do. Um, Reese Jefferson um, says, imagine we get to the playoffs final and Maxwell boots it up uh, the field in the last seconds of the, of the match and it flies into the net. That Would, would that be your perfect end? Oh, Maxwell scored yeah. from, a, from a long range goal. No, goal no. Do you know what I want to happen? I want Ollie Turton to get his Goldbridge, goal. Goldbridge, that's it. Goldbridge. Mark Goldbridge. He's the one. 250,000, I think he's got. Never heard of him. I mean, just United, you know, those teams. Oh. oh, well, he won't have a job for much longer. Yes, he says it? he's from, look, he says he's from the Czech Republic. It's not. Czech oh, OK. Republic. So, yeah, oh, that, that was right oh. with Czech Republic. Okay, I'll, I'll go on that. Uh, Graham Wright says, uh, come on, you mighty tangerines from Kenton Park. South Africa. In South Africa. Wow. You all thought I was going to say Kenton Park race course. <laughs> but no, he's in South Africa. Very good. Uh, William Steeles is watching from Walton on Thames in Surrey up the mighty pool. Right, Blackpool are in uh, the Doncaster half again. Oh, oh that was so Embo. Embo, it was a good pass, really, but it just 
Jerry Yates went the wrong way. We're building a lot down the um, this We're looking side. Looking a bit left. out of focus. Are we? Are we? Are we out of focus? I can't tell. It should just, it should have us. I don't know. Well, it's probably we're, better, we're probably better out of focus. Give your screen a wipe. <laughs> I'll wipe it for you. Just don't worry about it. We're, we're better. I'm, I'm always better not in focus. Um, so Jonathan uh, Chavez says, uh, "Vamos!" Oh, Blackboard. hang on. No, no, no. Ooh. no. Um, I'll, I'll check whether we're in focus. Jonathan Chavez keeps saying goal. Uh, not yet. <laughs> not yet. We're, we're not believing you, but we'll put it up anyway because you keep doing it. So there you go. You've had your moment. There you are. Look, goal! Right. D Blackpool. But not yet. It's going to come, though. Right. Sims is chasing a long ball down. Gets it. Gets to it. Puts it. Oh, 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 no. Nearly. nearly, nearly. About to put it out for a corner to Blackpool. It's a corner to Blackpool. That were honestly. That was almost. <laughs> Ryan Dunbar's put James Stewart is greater than Thogdow. I like that. Yeah. Uh, Carl Whitaker is saying hi. Should I Doncaster. get a t shirt that hi, says Doncaster. that? Hi, Carl. Right. It's a an out swinging corner on the near side from uh, Garth. Stuart Lindsay is saying Charlie Adams is a Rangers and Blackpool legend. Yes. Right. Good corner. A bit Pitch deep. Of four. But, uh, someone's tumbled oh, over in the box that, there. That's a very but... good call on that, folks, I'm afraid to say. Uh, Jonathan uh, Chavez is here. He's from Peru. Oh, hello, Peru. Darkest, is it darkest Peru? Could that's be... where uh, Paddington's from. Yeah, darkest Do Peru. Do you know Paddington, Jonathan? Juffy is here. He's saying hi from Donny. We hi. saw Paddington yesterday, like Donny, didn't we? We like Donny, but we don't We like... saw Paddington in um, Garstang we at the did, weekend. in a shop window. Yeah. Eugene McGeever says, would you like to go to the last Blackpool versus Bristol Rovers game this Sunday lunchtime if they let fans come back this season? Would love it's to, not but gonna of course happen. we can't do as... It's no, not going to happen no, yet, because it will be after the 17th, won't it? So it will be um, the playoffs. Oh, and the keeper is actually a Donny lad. So oh, that, that's nice. good, isn't it? We, we like that. We like that. We like that, Carl. We like local players playing for local teams. It's really good. Gary Hello, Hutchinson is, is watching from North Island. Northern Ireland. Oh, very good. Hello, Northern Ireland. Uh, Kieran Baines says that uh, your channel has helped me through my depression. So thank you. For oh, wow. Thank you. Well, well that's, if we can spread a little bit of joy, that's, that's glad, what I'm, we aim I'm, to I'm do. I'm glad really. we have. If we've helped in, in any way, that's actually wonderful. Helping me through mine as well, Kieran. That's why we're here. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm just mental anyway, so it doesn't really. Yeah. Nothing can help me. Yeah, really. I need I need the routine. That's why we'll still be here even when the football's finished. We'll still be here every Saturday, every Tuesday. Oh, need the routine. Yeah, you know? just missed control and just took it over the line. That was a shame. Uh, Min Vander says a Blackpool FC win. Thank you. Vicky Vidian says, let's go, Blackpool. Yeah, let's go. Yeah. Stephen Roberts says we've not had a penalty in a while. Surely we do one. Oh, right. Blackpool get yeah, the ball. Yeah, you're right. We are pressurising at the moment. It's it, it's it's a he heavy press at the moment. Oh, Mo Bakker says, how come we don't sing Oli 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 Oi 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 for Oli Turton? Would that work? Um, it could. Oli 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 Oi Oi Oi. Yeah. And number but, 20, Oli, Oli, Oli. Oi, oi, oi. Yeah, we like <laughs> All right, it. Yeah, we like yeah, it. It's yeah. a new one. It's a new one. We've got a new song. We've got a song for, for Oli Turton. Yeah, he needs it. Right, Ellie Sims on the ball, steps over. Oh, nice little oh, ball. Oh, yes. Beautiful little ball. Into the box. Coming across the box. Oh, oh lovely there. Oh. On the far side, Gabriel's coming Gabriel in. Shoot. Shots. Oh. oh. They've escaped it. They've escaped it. It's a Go corner to Blackpool. Blimey, oh. eh? Hey, we're getting some dangerous balls in, aren't we? I don't know why I came over all northern then, just did. Oh, apparently Gary Sprake threw the ball into his own goal at Anfield and the cop sang, you need hands, which was a big hit for Ken Dodd. Was it not? Why did you do Mike Spygraves then? Was it? Was he not? That wasn't Ken Dodd. Well, I, who did you need hands? I thought it was Mike Spygraves. That's really the Ken Dodd thing. <laughs> I don't Ken know. Ken Dodd did, did, didn't do you need hands, did he? Was, Ken what? Dodd's that, isn't it? Just tickle and stick. Yeah. Mrs. You know, that was, that was yeah. You need hands to hold a little baby. Corner on the far oh, side is the shorty. Oh, 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 yes, 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 yes. Oh, Blackpool. Oh, my God. Doncaster oh, no. survive again. And it's it's the living on the edge, Doncaster, but they're on the break. Oh, no, no. no. Blackpool get a block in. Pick up. Blackpool are picking everything up well, at the moment. Is, 
quite exciting. They are playing it? well, Blackpool. Lamar, I've got to say, this is a team that. Oi, oi, oi! Oi, oi, oi! 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 Keep up, it's fun boy now. <laughs> <laughs> right back to back to uh, Maxwell. Fantastic, uh, Miss Molly says we both look uh, lovely in ultra HD. So, oh, well, so that's great. Hello, you Molly. Go. You do well in ultra HD because we're only streaming at seven twenty p. We stream. You have to you have to pay about fifty pound a month to get ten eighty p. It's a joke. My biggest bugbear with it really it should be ten eighty. Good Gabriel. Right, Gabriel is always fast into the box. Oh, what did? He got the pass all wrong at the end. He just that, that, that was a great chance there. Gabriel running in. He looks very dangerous. Uh, jo Joseph Shepherd is watching from... Uh, where's he watching? Because he's gone off the screen. Joseph uh, Shepherd is saying he's watching from sunny Newport in Wales. Oh, very good. Been there. Been there. Sunny, very, yeah. very wet. I think Keegan Robert, might have been there Robert, that night Robert as well. W. Possibly. Laker says, uh, come on, Rovers. Um, Rovers? Uh, Stuart Donny Lindsay Rovers. is watching from sunny Scotland. Is it sunny? Uh, Stephen Roberts is says, it sunny, are we really? doing Tangerine Sunday? Yes, we are. We're going to be in Tangerine on Sunday. Oh, yes. Joffy says, come on, you delicious reds. Well, you're not, yes, you're in like a black and grey thing today. Wake it. Right, Blackpool, head it forward. Lace. Head it on. Oh, oh. Ellis Sims is through, through on his own. It's in. Oh. It's, it's in. Ollie Sims chips the keeper. Get in. Well, it's it's all one nil to Blackpool. Keeper, to what a great goal. Ellie Sims, that was superb. Someone said Sims was going to score. He did hit we the keeper. I thought he was offside for a minute. I need to see this one again. Let's, let's, let's put the score up. There. One nil. Right, let's have a look. Long head forward. From Garbutt. Jerry H just gets ahead. Yeah, he's onside. Yeah, he's Keeper's through, gone. Not too, too far forward, I thought. But, oh, keeper gets oh, a leg to it. Keeper, yeah, but he just... He just Oh, it in. It's all that floated in. Marvellous. Go, Alice. It, oh, it's nice for him to get one. It's totally deserved at this time, Green. I don't know what you're talking about. We're all over him. Hat Can we see now, the actual Alice. game? No, you no can't pressure. because of restrictions. We're not allowed to show you the game. It's only a watch along. We wish we could show you the game. Some people have said put a mirror behind, but even that would get us in trouble, so we can't. If you want to watch the game, pay £10. Where's that guy with that goal? He should be on. The guy saying goal, where is he? Uh, Mr. Muller says I'm beyond help. They win the last uh, 10 minutes. Yeah, right. Blackpool have got the lead against oh, Doncaster. I don't know what happened there, but we just kicked off, but the ball seems to have like, evaporated. Oh, sure. Ward is saying absolutely. There is 200, and, well, there's 231 people now in the stream. So if you're in, press the like button. Can we get, can we get, we, we've never had 150 likes on a stream. Surely this could be the, the time we get 150. That's what we want. Just boop that like button. Just give it a little boop. And also it's the, the camera hunting. Oh, hang on, Donny is through now. Maxwell's out. Oh, no. Ooh, no, he oh. didn't handle it outside the area. It's Maxi. Wow, that he was really that. close to the edge of the area there. It looked like he handled it outside the box, you know, but the, the referee stuck. was right on it, so he says no. God, that was, uh, oof, that was a bit nervy there. Is the camera hunting? I've got a box around my face. What? Is the camera hunting? I've got a box around my face when I move. No, that box is to tell you that it's focusing on you. Oh, okay. So it's actually focusing on you. So it's focusing on you and not me. So I can't call no, it focuses way. on you when you move. That's why I'm blurred and you're clear. Oh, okay. <laughs> tower, tower power. Right, Blackpool have got, what have we got here? A free kick? Uh, sorry. We, 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 we weren't paying attention. <laughs> what? What? It's all right. I was just looking up there at the time. I realised it's the scoreboard up there. And then the th I was thinking, where's that mm. one nil come from? It's not as good as Donny's scoreboard, no. is it? They've got an excellent scoreboard at Donny. One of many things we love about Doncaster. Right. Floated in. Oh, oh it's just that's not. Overhit free kick, unfortunately. I can't stop thinking they're wearing underwear. They're like lacy Mr. tops. Says, I've gone all Cockney. Have I gone all Cockney? Um, I don't know. I was going my back by grades. Yeah, of course. You need a. Jaden Davis would be happy with a point. No. Yeah, I would to too. Win. We want to win. We want to I'd win. I'd be happy with a point I tonight. Be with a point. No, point no, tonight and a 7-0 no. on Sunday. No. That, that'd do. Why, why, are you, why are you happy with a point? Because it's all we need. Yes. Jenny says you need hands. Wasn't Matt Spygrave, obviously. Oh. I only know through Google as it was before my time. Oh, yes. Mine too. Hmm. I remember years I ago. I remember him from. He used to host a, a program, didn't he? A fun fact here. I went on a on a holiday with mum and dad on a coach trip down to Newquay and Weymouth. And uh, when, when, when we got on the coach, they were calling my mum and dad 
the young ones. So you can imagine how old everybody was in the coaching. And all the way, we had Max Bygrave sing along. So I learned all the songs from Roll Out the Bell. Were your mum and dad um, Adrian Edmondson and Rick Mayo? <laughs> it was a, that would explain a lot, I was actually. just in the referee, but that... that hit, oh, hit the referee? The re yeah, hit the referee. And, uh, oh. But it went through to Rude. Jerry Yates, and uh, he's had to pull it back. Drop balls of the referee. Uh, he was in purple. Jensen G is here. Hi. Hey, Jensen. People are celebrating the goal. We're a bit behind here. We're getting very... We need, I need to talk faster. No, please. Oh, he's just fell over there, um, Ollie. It is definitely in. It is. It is. Yes, I could say that. It was definitely in. It was a goal. Oh, he's there. Who's there? With his goal. Oh. <laughs> is that Jonathan, is that Jonathan oh. from Peru? <laughs> Stay on. I definitely need one of them AirPod uh, paddy things. Chuck is giving up already. He's not supporting Donny Rovers anymore. He gives up. Oh, come support us instead. We'll have anyone. Yeah. Uh, it's James' husband now. Jonathan Chavez says, yes, yes, yes. Uh, right, Doncaster have got a throw in. Uh, we need to get back to the commentary. 26 minutes gone. Well, no, we've got a sort of end of season excitement fever. Oh, Jack Clay says, fever, uh, we? can we please clarify that no matter how much my dad shouts at TV, you, no, yeah, we can hear yeah, it. We can. It's coming through here loud and clear. Yeah, so can, you keep we shouting, we can. Dad, keep shouting at the, at the TV because we can hear you here. We can. Don't listen to Jack. <laughs> <laughs> We can hear you. We can hear you. We can hear you shouting out. <laughs> Jonathan Chavez says, oh, yes, I am from Peru. But in Peru, obviously, everything is a, you've got to do it long. Yes. Like, oh, oh, yes. Yeah. Latin, yes, I am from Peru. Paddington doesn't do that. It's not <laughs> Paddington, is it? Marmalade. Yes, Richie Wellens did play for Blackpool, and we don't like him anymore, but we used to like him. And he, he, I he never liked him. He actually for Manchester United. He was in Sorry. Manchester United. Right I didn't years. like him. We can't have him on the show. I've slagged him off too much now. Well, we liked him when he was here. No, was... I didn't. No. What, all the time? When he got sent off and got relegated. Oh, yeah, of course, yeah. No. You, you, you hold grudges against people. Forever. I do, yeah. God help me. <laughs> we were watching John Murphy on the, uh, he was on the preview show on, uh, we didn't watch it on Friday, we watched it on Saturday and, uh, um, Reece Jefferson says just 149 more likes to go. So come on, we need to get to. We've only got one like. So and, on, and, and Lee it. was having to go at me for for not liking one flipping like for not liking John Murphy. And I was I, the, the reason. The, the reason. Jibber -jabber, jibber -jabber. Do you know the reason I don't like John Murphy? Because we were we had all this hype about signing this Indrek Zelinski from Estonia, and he was like going to be our first foreigner, and it was all really exciting, like and he was. And and we couldn't get him because he couldn't get a work permit, so we signed John. Murphy. Murphy instead, and it was just like Paul wanted Zelinski, and that, that was she never forgave him for never, that. Never forgave him. One of the greatest Completely not his around. fault at all. Brett Ulmrod and John Murphy what? were fantastic, and what you don't like him because he wasn't in because yeah, because he wasn't Estonian. There's, there's, there's no working it out. Is there? There's no working out a woman's brain. Just, it's just a thing, you know. You 151. Likes. It's always a reason why I don't like somebody. It's not always rational. We got a oh, we got 51 likes. So we only need 100. 77 likes now. Come on, keep going. 150. No, no. 77. 79 over there. 80 over there. 81. <laughs> That's an auction. <laughs> Oh, oh Ollie, who so will get the 150th? We're on 80. That's better. Oh, oh, oh dear. we'll put it out for throwing to Doncaster, uh, close to the halfway line. We're a bit giddy tonight, side. aren't we? We are giddy. We've been is it because we've got playoff fever? Is that what it is? Bonbons or something? Have you? What have you been having? I haven't had anything. I've had a, I've had a glass of milk, glass Can of oat milk. Adam Dodd, who played for Blackpool, um, mm. not really. If I'm being honest, look out, Cliff. <laughs> 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 Uh, Eugene McGee says Blackpool are fourth in the table, right? Oh, now. yes, we haven't looked at the lively table, have we? Oh, it's too exciting! It's too exciting. Let's have a look. Um, Reese Jefferson didn't even notice we scored. Um, Blimey, yes, we're, right. we're fourth. Yes, Lincoln are drawing there. Oh, 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 look, we're on level points and level goal difference with Lincoln at the moment. This is very exciting, isn't it? Both plus 21, both 77 points. Oh, this is a song. This is, this is a mini battle, and Charlton Ipswich are, are drawing on it. Is this a is this um a song? I like it. I like it. I like the way the Blackpool score. Could that be a? Uh, I like it. I, li I like it. I like the way the Blackpool score. No. Uh, here come oh, Donny. Oh, Donny, you're on the attack. Here come Donny. Timely interruption. Into the box. There. Good ball in, but Blackpool managed to uh, clear it. But only Donny pick it up again on 
Ooh, into the box. Donny here. This is a chance. Shot coming in, but it's ballooned over the bar. Shaz Harvey says, blow the whistle. <laughs> we can do better than this. Wow. Oh, okay. Apparently, um, Max Bye goes to family fortunes yes, before that's those what days, I was thinking but after of, the yeah. wonderful Monk House. Yes, wow. oh, Bob Monk House, yes. Yes, I Ew. used to like family fortunes. Favorite. Cohen Howard says uh -uh. we are going to be a championship team. Yeah. We're, not, we're not celebrating until the 90th oh, minute. Kenabir is uh, having a bit of treatment there. Uh, David Shepherd is here, Father Shepherd, uh, worshipping from Glastonbury. Oh. Wow. It's a place to be, isn't it? I wonder if it gets to free entrance to the to oh, Glastonbury. Oh, 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 oh. We're having a drinks break. Yes, Blackpool um, don't play in, in orange, they play in tangerine. Heiser says it was Max. He had his Rolls Royce scratched by a vandal when he played the Grand in Blackpool. Oh, dear. That's, that's not awful. good. That's, that's a sad story. Brighter state of mind. Hypnotherapy is here Hello. to hypnotise everybody. Is sending hypno hypnotherapy things through the waves to make sure that we're all positive tonight. Uh, yes, you have missed something. You've missed a goal. Uh, Rob. You've missed Ellis Sims' yeah, goal. You've missed, missed, missed lots of fun. You yeah. missed Keegan Parker, who came in early, and uh, the uh, 18 dapper from Doncaster. But we have got Keegan. You missed some some red hot underwear chat. Let us know what he thinks about. You the don't know what Giles has had for his tea. Yeah, you, you don't know. Yeah, who knows? We've been talking about. A Do new, we know? And you, yeah. I know yeah, it is. I read it really fast. Yeah. I can't. I can't remember what it was. Yeah, he had a chocolate. No, it's not. Reese, Reese. Let, let, let's let's sort this out now. And uh, Reese is saying that tangerine and orange is the same. No, it's not. No, no. Does does Tangerine's got three syllables for, for a start. Yes. It's a, it's a different colour. It's a completely different fruit. If you went into a, a green grocer's and asked for tangerines and he an gave orange. you oranges. You wouldn't be happy, would Come you? Come on. You wouldn't be happy. You're having a laugh, yeah. aren't you? So it's different. And Blackpool play in tangerine and white. It's that, that's it. So so get with it, Reese. Do not say orange. In, in fact, we're often we're actually quite insulted by people calling us orange. Yeah, we may even put you in timeout if you keep mentioning it. <laughs> yes. It could be. It, 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 it will be lines. It's, lines, yes, tangerine, yes. tangerine, tangerine, lines, right, right out, tangerine. Lines to Reese, uh, Blackpool play in tangerine, <laughs> and then you'll know it. Then you, then you'll remember, yeah. Right. Blackpool win the ball back well. Yes, Ellie Sims, Sims yes. Looking, at, looking a unit out to the left. Garbert, Garbert's oh, nice ball inside from Garbert, but Ambos mm. had to come back. Still Blackpool. Oh, another oh, some lovely triangular passing here. Blackpool. This is Jude's beautiful. Step involved. over from Embo. Oh, Embo. And that is a corner now. A goal kick. He's not quite sure himself. Oh, oh, he's wanted. looking around everywhere. He doesn't know. I he doesn't think, know what to do. I think he's going to give it. I just he's haven't a got goal a clue kick. what to do. But uh, that was a great ball into the Lovely near post. Lovely move from Embo. Sims just sh maybe should have scored there. Let's have a look. No, I think it's was it the Donny player that hit it. I don't know. But Tell you anyway, what, Embo's looking a bit sexy. Embo's tonight, looking guys. very good, isn't he? Yeah. Uh, Reese is clearly not. Oh, can it be? He's had to go off injured. Bogle has come on. Uh, Nepo, Nepo, I don't know how to say it. Firmer and NF will call you. Yeah. How many fans can come to the stadium in the Czech Republic? It's ten percent capacity. None. At no moment, one's allowed no. at the moment. Um, but things may change in Genesis a couple of weeks. John Boy was brilliant for us. He flipping was. Who? John Murphy. Oh, still oh sorry. I was thinking people of people still um... traumatized by by your comments. Uh, Richard Knoll says, evening, guys. Great goal, my Sims. Hope they can score a few more tonight. Well, well we are looking not, not everybody we, we, likes we are everybody. looking good, although there's been a few little scary mo mo moments. I loved Martin Bullock. Billy Bogle says, we've now got 90 likes. Can we get to 150? It's never been done. Can. It's never been known. It's never happened. It would be a miracle if it happens. But you can do it. There's 231 people here. Two, well, we should really get 230 likes. See, we? Big Bertha's up. You, you notice Stephen Roberts says he's having a Caffrey's and uh, a pleasant footy match, not doing stress no, tonight. No, we're not doing stress tonight. Well, it's not into the last 10 minutes yet, is it? 95 yeah, likes. The likes are going up. Great. Turn up with the likes. Ooh, Jane is selling Maxie, it well. Maxie, come out of his well. box there. Now, if we could just get 100 subscribers as well, that would be amazing. <laughs> Yeah, can we do that? Yeah, if you have likes are great, but honestly, hundred subs would just be like something. I don't know what the sub button looks like. Do I have to turn myself into it, a it's triangle? It's next to it. It's it's a bigger button. Actually, it's it. easier to hit. But uh, yeah, a hundred subs tonight. Can, can we go for that? For a thousand subs. Ooh, put that went very bright, all of a sudden. Put pressure on Cod's vlogs. Uh, Kieran Bay said he would love to meet us in uh, person. Well, maybe you'll come up to Blackpool and we will meet you, Kieran. It would be great. Uh, and maybe EF. we'll we'll be allowed to Ipswich one day. Yeah, maybe. Oh, I said it. Sorry. If we ever, you did say that word. Put me in timeout. <laughs> Change it to time. 
<laughs> Very ES says hello from Indonesia. Hello from Indonesia. Yeah. Poor Vita remembers Ken Doddy played the Opera House and he would be there. His show would start at seven and finish at midnight. Yeah. About two hours extra, Ken Doddy. He was always known for going on and on and on. But I don't know how all the old ears could stand it, to be honest. Uh, they were just time. asleep. <laughs> yeah. Alice Sims is, is had to go backwards, though. Uh, ball down the wing from Blackpool. Very nice. Nick Gabriel. Gabriel's putting a nice ball in. Oh. It's a dangerous one. Oh. Uh, it's it's gonna a corner. Go a corner to Blackpool. Come on, you, you pool. pool. Come on, you pool. What, what's he given? He's not give a corner. No, it's goal kick. How's that not a corner? Dunno. He knocked it out. Keegan will tell us at half time. Oh no, someone's down. Oh no, not another one. Husband is down. I don't know whether he's having a sit in in the centre circle or he's injured. Um, oh, I suspect God. the latter. We seem to lose a player a game at the moment. Oh, don't he's we? gone down. He's gone down for no reason, which is always a bad. Oh, there's the cat man. Oh no, he's up. He's hopping. Oh, he's, he's he's just his boots off. He's hop. He's hopping off. Put your boot back on. That's it. Oh, he's going he's to have stitches in his foot by the looks of things. Is he? That's what they're saying. By the sound of things, then. I think, how can you tell that? That's what they're saying here. Is it really uh, going like that? I, I'm listening to Colin Greenall saying it. Oh, okay. Tony H Hesselwood is here. Hazelwood. Uh, hi, guys from Nantwich. How are you both? Oh, feeling hello. Feeling better, Jane? Are you feeling uh, better? Hello, uh, Tony uh, from uh, Nantwich. I went to Nantwich once. Um, you, yes, I'm oh, feeling, feeling better. better. After you yeah, yeah, I can, I can smack, smack myself on the arm. She was no absolutely infects. fine. She never even moaned about it once, really. And because been, because I was actually been, having I reckon I had man flu. I was having my worst side effects while you were doing the after show last Tuesday. Oh well done. Oh Dougal. Oh yes. Dispossessed. Come on. Sims we're is breaking away. What a dispossession here. by Dougal. That was dispossession of the match. Jerry Yates has got the ball now. Oh but yes. Yeah, Gabriel. Ball's coming. Oh, oh my god. That is a corner. Is, that is sexy football at its yeah. best folks. We've got our swagger back tonight. Lincoln are the best football inside. That was unbelievable. Uh, Sean, Sean Urquitt's here. Hello, Sean. Loving the t-shirt. Is that, is the that our Sean? Our Sean is. from Sunderland? It is from yeah. Fritty Sklada. I'm, I'm wearing this because um, it's lucky. It's, you get it from Sean. Sean Fritty Sklada yeah. dot co dot UK, is it? What is it? You'll know. I don't know. Post it in the, just it. post it in we'll the just, um, just post it in the in the comments, Sean. Uh, if it's Fritty Fr Fr Sklada dot co dot UK. Right, corner coming in from Blackpool. In swinging. Referees just make sure. I can't sure wash it either. Right, right. Blow on the whistle. Here we go. It's it's it's, it's a bit a far. Long. Oh, oh keeper, and the keeper did well to get well. over that. Actually, yeah, well. I thought that was coming right the way through to Yates on the far post. Uh, Dan Pickavance is here. So it's two a.m. here in Western Australia. Got my Yorkshire tea. That one. Yeah. Uh, will you guys be keeping an eye on transfers on here during the summer? We will be here all summer. We're, We're not going anywhere, guys. We'll be, we'll be here. We'll be here. We'll for still be here. Saturday afternoon shows like we did through last summer. Yeah, we were here Euros. all last summer. You might not have been here, but we were here all. You can't all get last rid summer. of us. You know. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So yes, we will be here. So you can join us for England watch alongs, and uh, I've even considered covering all my matches through the years. I don't know if I, if no, I can keep no, the pace that's, on that's it. Jane won't be able to do it, but I, but I might well be able to do it. You won't. You will not be able to do it. It's not even a thing. Why not? It's just too much. It's not too much for me. I'll, I'll be watching all the games anyway, so. Right. Um, oh, lovely ball inside. Oh, oh that was nasty. Oh. That's Get a, a card for number oh, five. Oh, that's a, it was just. Oh, you could see that coming as well. That was a foul, leg break of that. Really. Dear me. Oh, blimey. That's a booking, but uh, it's just one of them Is things, he all right? right? He went flying off screen. He oh, he's walking. Yeah, it's fine. Jess is fine. He did. But uh, yes. Yeah, so that was right that for was... Doncaster. We should get lines for that. That was oh, <laughs> yes. Yeah. Bob Monkhouse classic for Mr. Molly. Monk, uh, people scoff when I went into stand up comedy. Well, they're not laughing now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he was great, wasn't he, Bob? Only Fish is disappointed that Black that Lee hasn't started to get all the ball. Oh, Embo, Embo, great free kick. Stress I'm only not saying it because we don't need to say it. We are, we are older, uh, we, we are well in control of the ball. Yeah, we are. Reese Jefferson said, well, you know what Thought did, don't you? Yeah, well, we'll, we'll consider this an education. Tangerine and Orange is not the same. 
not in in not. not in colour and not in, not in size, fruit. Not in fruit. No. Not in syllables, as James. No. <laughs> not in letters. <laughs> not in letters. It's absolutely not the same. No, thing. Not even that near in the dictionary, are they? No, no. But we're very proud of playing in tangerine and white. And we sing. Tangerine, it's a bit like tangerine, tangerine. It's a bit like saying we that we don't sing orange. Manchester or, City playing baby blue or something. Yes. It's just you know, it's not right. Oh gosh, Bright State of Mind says he'll never be late again. He's Miss Keegan Parker, sexy underwear, Giles T and a goal. Yeah. You have, you have. So you never know what yeah. you're gonna get here, but it's always the Ninja it's always Warrior gonna be is here with tangerine dreams. <laughs> Mr. Mowley said he had an accident playing peekaboo today and ended up in ICU. Oh. I think that's the laughter. No. You have to tell me if that's laughter. We need to work on these buttons. We need to know which ones. We'll get the buttons working for, for, for the Euros, guys. <laughs> yeah, Stephen Hullett says the Wolves. Oh, right. Blackpool on the attack. Oh, Sims, oh. he's, he, he's, nice. looking he tonight, he's looking Sims. strong tonight, Sims. He's looking strong tonight. He's turning to a man overnight. From a boy to a man. Right, Gabriel is dangerous though, isn't he? He's, he's on one Oh, ball oh. across. And, oh, blocked by Doncaster. Very exciting football, folks. Donny are away with it though. Oh, Gabriel, that's no. You might be getting a yellow. Nah. He, he's going to be, is he going in yellow as well? Surely hmm. not. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's going to be a booking. It seems, it doesn't seem anything like the other booking though. I mean, it, he did bring him down, but he didn't like take his take his leg off at the same time. Take his leg off. Yeah, tell, tell Reeves that United playing dark pink, and he'll understand. Yes, exactly. <laughs> oh, oh, good. I like this one. Zahid Alom is here. I need Donny to win for six hundred pounds. Like, come on, Rowan. Yes, well, like, excellent. That's what we need to see. Yes. somebody's going to get six hundred pounds for Donny win instead of a Blackpool yeah. win. That's what we like to see. Well, you stay. No and we'll flipping chance. Oh, what's, that, what's happening here? We're getting a new ball again. No. Husband's not back on, is he? Oh, God, has he been off all this time? I hadn't even noticed. Oh, wow, this is exciting news. Stephen Roberts says a, a luxury jet has just landed at Blackpool Airport uh, from Barbados, something to do with Star Wars, but not sure who was on Oh, board. this is exciting, isn't oh, it? We, we, honestly, we, I'm, I'm going to find out what's going on. And I am. I'm going to go out and find out what's going on because we need to know, don't we? Yeah, can't believe Star Wars. So was it like a pre-Star Wars? How would they thing? know about? How would Star Wars know about a, a little cafe in Cleveland? It doesn't make any sense to me in any. No, this is why I've, I've struggled to compute it in my head and it only just realised it's actually true. Who would know? How would how would George Lucas know or the Disney? Maybe it's something to do with the Mythic Coastline. Oh, maybe or something. Like or maybe that. the Mythic Coast has brought them in. Yeah. Maybe. Very good. If you've never been to the to the mythic um, coast um, statues on Cleveland's coast, it's uh, it's worth a worth a little. Right, walk. long throwing from Gabriel into the box. Oh, but but uh, Doncaster, but it's picked up, but picked up by Blackpool. But it's had to go back into our own half. To be honest, Donny oh, aren't really. Donny have got a throw. They're not really doing much. How many more games the, can Emerson play? Places, Nigel S. We don't know because it all depends on Sunderland, doesn't it? Uh, well, it depends on his his um, loan agreement. It will be up to a certain 107 date. 107 likes, folks. Can you get us to 150? If you join the stream, we're trying to hit 150 likes for the first time in the Charles TV history of live streams. Mm. I have had 150 likes on videos, but never on a live stream. <laughs> Paul Heaton says, uh, my mate and I joined Gamblers Anonymous. He only lasted a week, so I won that one. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. I'm liking it. The flags are looking good, aren't they? They're not normally up there, are they? Or are they? He's not listening. Yes, no, he said they've had to put the, yeah, yeah, they've put them on. That's Big Bertha there. They're, They're not, not normally there, they were for every game, are they? Or are they? Yeah, I think they are have they? been. We just maybe haven't noticed them before. But yes, he, he's, he's put them up on the uh, the fans' flags. Right. Uh, oh, I don't Black think they've had a shot halfway. yet, Donny. It's, it's, oh, intercepted by Donny there. Blackpool are pressuring, pressuring, you know, they're playing this pressuring from the front. Donny had to go all the way back to the keeper. The old folk all love Ken Dodd. Yes, they did. Is he still with us, Ken Dodd? No, he died. He died recently. Know. Oh, Donny on the attack here, though. Oh, oh, nice. Here they go. Nice you, trap. Just when you say nothing. Nice little nothing. challenge there from Ollie. Go, oh, Ollie. Ollie, Blackpool Ollie, Ollie. Clear, but only as far as Donny. Pick it up on the 35-yard line. I'm listening. And they put listening. it across the pitch. Nice, nice ball across. Right out to Training. the right wing for Donny. Here he is. Chance. 
Oh, and we've had to put it out for a corner to Blackpool. What are we doing here? Max is being an angry, aggressive man that he says he is, according to the uh, the preview show. Alonny Fisher's favourite Kendall line. What a beautiful day for sticking a cucumber through a letterbox and shouting, they've landed, missus. What's that, Ken Dot? What's that, Ken Dot line? Who'd <laughs> <sighs> <laughs> you want? Well, it's the kind of thing that Ken Dodd would say, wasn't it? Right, uh, corner to Donny, far side, in swinger. Right, oh, it's coming in. Oh, and it's a great one. Headed but it's... away by Alice Sims. Uh, I think we've got a free kick anyway, yeah, so that's we've all right. we've got a player flatten there in the box. Oh, did you... I didn't know that, but uh, Ken Dodd apparently used to stop his show when an old lady had to go and spend a penny and wait a bit so nobody missed anything. Is that what you do when I go to live at half-time? <laughs> actually wait for the oldest to come back in. Uh, oh, Marcelo, Ricardo. Marcello. Oh. Says hello from Brazil. Okay. How, how, how do you say his, his name? Um, Figueiredo. Figueiredo. Hello from Brazil. If hello, we, Brazil. If we pronounced it wrong, well, we do apologize. Well, if you were but, tonight, but we'll hope like, he's all right. We seem to be big in Brazil. Big in Brazil well, there's tonight. Always, there's always in Brazil. There's an awful lot of coffee in Brazil. Those are the two things. That are, right, Garvet's under pressure here, but... Oh, and the Samba. It's a... Uh, it's a th it's a throw into Blackpool midway through the Doncaster half. Uh, Forty five minutes we're into extra time. Keegan Parker's getting himself ready to come in at half time and give us half time thoughts. That don't go anywhere today. It's going to be an exciting half. Can time. I go? Can I go and get people's you, you food? And yes, you can things. go. Of course, you can go. Yes, no problem. Right. Um, I think we've got one hundred and seventeen likes. More, please. Come on, Rovers said uh, Zahid Alam. Come on, Rovers. I think he, is he the one that needs six hundred quid. Uh, who has Blackpool got? Well, we haven't got anybody. Nobody. Saturday. We play Sunday. We're Sunday, and we've got Bristol noon Rovers on Sunday. So we'll be here right, Blackpool, from Jerry Eight, half eleven. Oh, oh, great ball across from Jerry Eight, picked up by Gabriel on the far side, edge of the box. We're into two minutes. But what's he done? This he's been dispossessed. Is that what he's, he's gone done? down, Gabriel? He's injured himself as, as oh, well. No. He's gone down That's for another no one. reason. Right, lot. That was a shame on the attack there, Blackpool. Clear. Oh, Blackpool slip over again. It's a there. bit slippy. We've had a, a quite heavy downpour. Two just minutes to twenty-eight kickoff. of the three gone, and Doncaster have got the ball from. Oh, that's a free kick, and Donny have got a free kick just uh, close to the touch line on the near side, about ten yards inside our pitch. They've taken it quickly though, back into the centre. So, yeah, they've took a quick one. Put it in the box yet? Yeah, I would as well. Right, centre circle, long hoof forward from Donny. And they've got it again. They've still got it. There's a shot coming in. It's just ballooned over the bar. And that's going to be it. So that's going to be the They're, last they're not really looking that arsed, to be honest. Donny is my... Um, it, it was a very yeah. sort of let, let lusset. Right. It's nil-nil, folks. It's half time. And we It's have... not nil-nil. It's one-nil. Sorry, Keep it's one-nil. Nil-nil. Sorry, I, I meant one-nil. One-nil. So get your orders in, but in the meantime, we're going to be talking to Keegan yeah. Parker, who is in the stream right now. Let's have a, let's let's bring him in. Exciting times. Here he is, Keegan Parker. Half time, as promised. Uh, how are you, Keegan? How are we doing? I've you... got my notes. I heard you getting my. I was listening, so I heard you talking about my notes as well. <laughs> <laughs> I was taking so notes on. on. I was taking notes on you. Taking notes on me. <laughs> no, uh, that's pressure for you. That's pressure for you there. I think it's been quite. Uh, Straightforward for Blackpool in the first yeah. half. That the really the only um, thing for Doncaster's on the break. I mean, they started mm. the game really well in the first few minutes. Um, yeah. They had Blackpool on the, the back foot. Uh, they had a chance from a corner kick, um, and at the end of the half again, they had a couple of their little chances. Similar scenarios. Most of their plays came from um, Blackpool's mistakes, and yes. apart from that, Blackpool looked like they're on the ascendancy. Certainly, I've, I've not seen the. Uh, the uh, possession figures, but I would guess you'd be talking high sixties to Blackpool. The, they're the team looking to to play the ball about, and I can only really see one winner, providing they they keep doing what they're doing just now. Yeah, providing we just don't do something silly, really. I suppose in in, in the game, that's it. You know, we we don't give them gift them a goal or something. But at the moment, I think Blackpool, you know, they could have probably been a couple of goals up. There was a couple of chances for Ellie Sims. What, what do you think of his goal, Keegan? Would you have been proud of that one? Just uh, knocked on by Jerry Yates. He took it on. I, I thought he pushed it a bit too far, actually, yeah. at, at first. And then he just dinked the keeper. Would that be something that you would have uh, could see yeah. yourself in that yeah. position, just dinking the keeper there? 
that was the type of goals I liked getting in. And the, the ones you've not got too much time to think, it's more a reaction, you know. Um, I, I thought it, there was marginal offside, I thought, in the first instance. But the left back, it was actually sitting in too deep. He was playing him on about three or four yards, yeah. yeah. And I yeah. think the goalie's made his mind up for him as well because the goalkeeper came like into, into no man's land and that's when he's put it over him, you know. Yeah. The goalkeeper stays, he makes, has to make the decision to either go around him, you know. Um, and give gives them more time, which some some strikers don't like. You know, more time they like to have to uh, forced on them. You know. Yeah, it was one of those uh, chips as well where it it, it kind of took an age to go in, didn't it? It, it kind of you know it bounced, and you think is it going to bounce over or in? Yeah. It was just perfectly weighted, really. But it, I think it, it maybe you know, took the, a deflection as well. I'm not sure. I, I think it. Maybe... I think it might. I think he might have just got a foot to it. And not up in the air. That, that that maybe slowed the pace of it, but it was a great, uh, yeah. a great goal, really. And it came, it, it came really from, you know, just two touches, didn't it? A long head forward. Another Jerry H just managed to kind of head it on as a, like a desperation header, but he just knocked it on yeah. and goal. And we've played some super football, you know, at times yeah. we've played some lovely triangles down, especially down this left hand side. I hope you've noticed there's been a a lot of interplay, hasn't there? You know, and in getting into yeah. the box and you, you can tell there's can tell there's been some good uh, relationships built on the, the flanks with the players, you know, throughout the season. That's the areas you really want uh, the consistency and people to get to know each other. We had it on our team, you know, um, down yeah. the flanks as well. What what What's really uh, impressed me is it looks quite a youthful team with a lot of legs and they look really comfortable on the ball. So I think going into these playoffs, it is going to be, um, it's going to be difficult against these teams, so-called bigger clubs as well. But mm. the way I'm looking at it just now, I think it's, there really is a lottery. I mean, um, I don't see any favourites at all. It's really who turns up on the, the day, I, I think. I think so, yeah. I mean, we've all, uh, uh, apart from Lincoln, who beat us twice, but, you know, I've already said that, you know, we've kind of not beaten us twice. They beat us at home and we drew two all. But um, both games, you know, we should have won both of those games against Lincoln. So all of the teams in, in the top six at the moment, you know, we have taken points off. So so that yeah. kind of bodes well. Um I agree with you about the youth in the side as well, because Critch has gone, you know, a lot for youth. You know, a lot of these players are are young players and yeah. there's not many old heads on, on the pitch. Uh, Maxwell, um, yeah. husband, he, obviously. He, played that, he, was, he was at Hibs that match. So I'm sure their, their average age must be around about 24, 25, though, without knowing exactly yeah. what it is. I wouldn't think it would be much more than that. What do you think of that Ellis Sims, uh, Keegan? Because he's he's a lad we've got on on loan from Everton. He's he's come from Everton under twenty threes. I think he's only he's either twenty or twenty one. He's only a young, you know. He's never he, he was scoring loads and loads of goals in the under twenty threes. I think he'd had fifty goals in fifty games in the under twenty three. Yeah, he, he's yeah, just look, struggled a little bit to to get up to speed with man's football. But yeah, I think it's a different, totally different game. Yeah, but you can obviously tell he's at a big club. You know, um, sometimes these players need a you know a while to kind of. Uh, get settled in to, to real man's football, if you like. Um, the problem is with, with Blackpool, you've maybe not got that because, it, you know, the fans are really want them to go up, you know, yeah. at least get in the playoffs. But overall, I've, I've been impressed. I've only seen that Yates a couple of times. I've been impressed with him. Um, he looks quite an intelligent player as well. Um, he's not had the greatest game, I don't think, think today, because he's uh, a few times he's, he's kind of um, forgot... There was one time where he kind of forgot to take the ball with him, and then another time yeah. where it just bounced off him and he lost control. And then there was that one where he was trying to keep it in on on, on the touchline, and he just miscontrolled it and put it out for a, a goal kick. So it's not it's not been his like his greatest game so so far. But it but of course he you know he will have got the assist for the goal. So yeah. he is dangerous though. You know he, he is dangerous. He's, he's everywhere, isn't he? You probably know yeah. he's a bit like you in many ways. He's all over the place, isn't he? Yeah, he's not that. He's not that tall either, is he? he must be a similar size to what I was as well. Up, up yeah, there, I'm not quite it? sure how tall Jerry is. I think he's taller than he looks, isn't he? He's not. Yeah. I don't think he's six six four. I don't think he's that tall. Do you, do you know his height? I don't know. Five nine, five ten, maybe. Yeah, we'll find out on that one, Keegan. But yeah. no, would but you like to be playing in this team, Keegan? Would, would this be a team you'd you, you'd enjoy playing in? Do you like the way they're playing the football? Yeah, yeah. There's a lot. Of, um, I think at times maybe they're holding on to a ball a bit too much, but that might be because they're playing against a team who's playing with no. They're not playing with any desire, you know. No. If they're getting anything out of this game, it's just going to be like a, a you know, a set piece or a. It's going to be Blackpool's uh, downfall, you know. The, i.e., they make the mistake. Um, yeah. I think Doncaster look like a team playing where they are in the league, playing for nothing, you know. You know, yeah. to play for. I think another goal and really it could be you know four or five 
Um, yeah. I think so as well. We just could do the next goal cause, because because Jane has actually been saying is they don't really look interested. You know, some of the shots they've had a go at, they, you know, they're not really look like they're having a go. You know, they look like they're just. Yeah, not I think they're, they're just they're just doing enough, aren't they? They're just doing enough not to be, you know, that yeah. rubbish. You know, they're, but that that's not going to win you a game. I don't think against a no. team that are really should be going. I think a black. I think Blackpool have got maybe twenty five percent to turn up the heat. I think they would do that. They, they should get a couple of goals, but um, sometimes it's a dangerous animal playing against a team who have nothing to play for. But I don't see Doncaster offering that much, to be honest. No. No, I think we're we're feeling the same. So although they have had fifty five percent possession, Doncaster mm. in this game so that's far, which surprised me. Su- surprised. I thought, like I was saying, I thought that would be like the late mid sixties for Blackpool and that. Yeah. We seem to have more of the ball, don't we? Yeah, I don't time. know what they've done with it when they've had it, but <laughs> yeah, I, I can't really see. I've I've seen Doncaster having that much of the ball. No. If I'm being honest, it's all been. I mean, we've been interception well. Uh, Kenny Dougal did a fantastic yeah. interception. I don't know if you you know if you saw it. I was kind of raving about it during the game, but it was it just took it off them perfectly. And uh, I think we're winning the midfield battle quite comfortably today. Yeah, we look we look like we've got time on it. Like I say, I think the the the, the, the real uh, caution for Blackpool has been in the first five minutes and at the end of the, fa- the last five minutes of the this the, the half. In between that, they've not really offered much, you know. Um, but I think the other results look like they're going. Going Blackpool's way as well, so all yeah. being good. Yeah, let's just have a little look at those. Yeah, let's have a little Jane look. Jane will get those up for everybody. How things are we? going? So at the moment, we've got Charlton nil, Lincoln nil, and Shrewsbury nil, Ipswich nil. So there's uh, nothing, nothing else happening. Um, so, but the league table that means that uh, currently Blackpool are up to fourth, and Lincoln are up to third. We're both on seventy-seven points. We've both got plus twenty-one um, goal difference. <laughs> they must have scored more goals, and also it doesn't get much tighter than that. But uh, so we need. It'd be nice for Lincoln to lose, wouldn't it? Really, but a draw actually would be okay. Yeah, okay it's just that. well, it all go down to the last game of the season, wouldn't it, with Lincoln then and, and us? And I, I'm not quite sure who, who Lincoln have got as their last game of the season. I'll, I'll have to find out. I Somebody will be able to tell us in the chat, I would imagine. Um, let's see if they've got anybody uh, in the chat. The uh, thing is, when you know you're going to finish in X position, you know you can kind of um, down tools a little bit, i.e., uh, rest a few players. But I don't know if Blackpool yeah. can do that. They might be looking to get the the fourth spot, you know. But I don't yeah. I don't see any of the games as easier than the other, to be honest. Looking at it, Link and no. Sunderland, Portsmouth, I think it's just much a muchness. So, you know, I, think I don't think, think I anybody's that, weak. King. I've never, in fact, I can't really remember seeing a playoff. Obviously, getting ahead of yourself, but if it is that four, I can't really remember seeing a playoff that. Is that really that open, you know? Mm. I mean, I wouldn't like to be having a bet on who's going up at A14. No. You've got two big, massive clubs, and then you've got Lincoln, who are a, probably it's obviously a smaller club, but they're a team that are quite kamikaze. I think, they, you know, they can beat teams, you know, 3 and 4 now, like they did Blackpool. And you've got yeah. Blackpool have been on a good run, had a few bad results, and now they're on another good run. So yeah. they've got the yeah. ascendancy, I would say, at the, mm. at the four teams anyway. I'm just going to go through some Lincoln comments. Lincoln are at home to Wimbledon on um, Sunday. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, right. Okay. Well, that's winnable, isn't Sunderland it? Sunderland are at home to Northampton, so that's, they're going to win that. Because yeah, Northampton gonna... didn't even fight when they needed to win against us on no, Saturday to no, stay no. up. Yeah. Peter Donnelly says, it's a good job it was Sims that had that chance tonight and not Keegan, because he would have been offside. Boom. Oh. <laughs> oh. That's not nice. <laughs> you know, we bring Keegan Parker into the chat and this is what we get. This is the level. That he has to put up with. Yeah. Um, let's see we'll, see if, we'll see if he can do it at Wembley when he gets a chance. So. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> nice yeah. comeback. Although, yeah. J- Jamie Bauer is uh, happy to see Keegan Parker. Da, 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 da. Keegan, Keegan Parker. Da, 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 da. So that's Keegan um, Parker. The chat. Um, let's have a look at anything. Oh, uh, James Stewart said, uh, as, uh, what's Keegan had for his tea, please? So can you tell us what you've had for your tea tonight, Keegan? Oh, tonight I, I, was, I had a, I actually went to Tesco, which is 50 yards away with the pretenses of making a stir fry, but I, I got, went up the whoopsie aisle, you know, the bit which got the reduced stuff. Yeah. Because I live on my, my own, I've no pressure for any woman saying, cook this, I want this, I want this. So I just went and got a little, uh, 
a little, what you'd call it, paella for reduced from three pound down to one thirty two. So yeah, that's, that's not the, bad. The stuff right yes. out the window. I'll have that tomorrow night. <laughs> that's a bargain. Uh, Harry nice. Wake, who's one of the Yorkshire Seasiders, says and think he, he thinks nobody wants to play as we are the playoff kings. I love the term whoopsie aisle as well. That's fantastic. Yeah, that's, <laughs> the whoopsie aisle. But if you go at a certain time and I hover about, I used to go to the Marks and Spencers one on the motorway. The you know some of the service station. I've got Marks and Spencers. Yeah. The way back from my dad, you used to get a really good one in there but um they're like hyenas hanging about <laughs> uh somebody as he posted brian thompson says uh has anybody uh mentioned that jerry yates is a doncaster oh boy? yes he is of course he is a donny yeah. boy isn't he so that's maybe a, that's why he's a bit quieter tonight yeah sean p though says keegan would have scored a few if he'd have been playing in this game yeah. so there we are of course thanks. he would thanks sean is that sean parker <laughs> 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 yeah. fully enough I, I i i saw your goal today i was looking for it uh, and i couldn't find it on youtube you know the goal you scored um the Oldham. third goal against oh, Oldham. it's yeah. uh it's on the blackpool website and it was up uh, you know like from the tv it was a fabulous little sort of chip that, really. that was right that was right borderline offside that one as well <laughs> yeah <laughs> you, yeah you were close to him borderline and then you ran over into the corner and just went you know down if you watch that again and watch that in slow motion simon gillett remember the little guy with the lone yeah. three he actually yeah. fell he fell in the net on his backside <laughs> 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 What a great, what a great goal! Because it was all over the minute that ball went in. One of that. He always it, used know. to be Just announced like as uh, Simon Gillette, the best the man can get, didn't yeah. he? I remember I think that. He, he went on to play with Doncaster actually. That Simon Gillette, yeah. He uh, was tiny, wasn't uh, he? He's was, he was about five, he was about five foot, but he was a solid wee guy. It's like I don't know yeah. what they had him on, like porridge and oats or something, <laughs> or steak. But he was like his legs were like tree trunks. Wow. <laughs> Uh, quite a funny wee guy actually oh here we are somebody wanted to ask this in the stream actually didn't they I wanted to ask, ask you about your car apparently it was some sort of old banger or something you used to drive around with what was the car you used to have? I've, I've got, I've got a, a kind of a funny story it only, only takes a minute to tell you regarding that car so basically I, when I was a bit a bad boy years ago I got done with drink driving and I was um, basically I got back from a van in my car I drove into a wall was getting fixed so basically I went to the car auctions in Poulton I don't know if you've ever been to the car auctions yep, in Poulton yep. but I bought I bought this old Rover it was like a Rover 600 remember the ones with the leather seats were like a, yep. a couch at your grandest house in them <laughs> yeah. uh, I bought that for 150 quid plus the taxi so it was like 230 quid back then this car had MOT in tax and it was like a big white uh, big white limo. Eh? <laughs> and uh, I always remember we were playing Swans at home. I don't know if you remember the game. I think we beat them 1-0 at home. Yeah, yeah I, think, I do. Uh, that was uh, earlier on this season when we beat them at the game at Swans. I think you may be talking uh, October time roughly. And you know the... You know where the buses go at uh, Blackpool, Bloomfield? They used, remember the buses used to sit under the big... But you know, um, where the car park is, where the players walk down. Oh yeah, 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 of course, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I, I, my car was parked up there. This old banger. It was an. I still remember it was an M Reg, uh, <laughs> and I was driving out after the game. And uh, that, uh, what was that boy? Remember the boy uh, who played with Swans at the back? One of the um, uh, the big uh, coloured boys. Um, he played with um, West Ham. Mm -hmm. He scored in that game at uh, Swan the Liberty actually with a header anyway. A Rickman, uh, a Rickman or something his name was. Right. I'm something a Rickman. So anyway, he was up in the curb and we played him at uh, Bloomfield Road and he at uh, the Swans and he slapped the back of my head going down the tunnel. I was like, what are you doing? Yeah, he was like, that's for nearly running me down at Bloomfield Road and you're bang up. <laughs> I, I, I don't even remember learning him down or nothing. I must have been on a high after the game and maybe like, just got close to him. And uh, it was like you nearly ran me down on after the game in your your white car. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that was the white rover. Uh, right. We'll <laughs> carry on this conversation later. Thanks for coming at half time, Keegan. Hope everybody enjoyed that. Blackpool are back out on the pitch. So Cheers. we'll uh, get back to the game and uh, we'll let you watch it and uh, we'll see you at full time. Uh, yeah, so cheers. stick around, Bye -bye. folks, if you want to hear Keegan's full time and our match uh, review at the end of the game. Wow. Righty. Exciting times. I enjoyed that. What a great story. <laughs> I'm trying to find the name of the player that uh, scored uh, for them. No. Right, we're back out. Uh, Blackpool are ready. Um, I wanted to say Swansea now. We're not playing Swansea. We're playing Doncaster. Eric They're doing Penn. the Coney thing. Would you be? Eric uh, Penn, I think uh, you mean. Know. Yeah, Eric Penn, I would say. Was the guy. Keegan, right. Here we come. 
Here it comes. Come on. Right, Blackpool back out. Hopefully more of the same in this half. Shall we see what else is going on in the world of football, if there's any more games um, tonight? Uh, nothing going on in League Two. Oh, Championship, something's happening. Luton nil, Rotherham nil, latest score. And I noticed there's a few questions for Keegan, which which you can ask uh, later on if you want to. And if you stay in after, Keegan will be back at the end of the match. And uh, we will uh, we'll get him in. There's a lot of gloves on tonight. It doesn't look all that cold. Well, we, we, did go out, we did go out for a walk granted. at lunchtime. And, and the ball around the back gets your possession, but... I didn't think Doncaster had too much of the, as much of the ball as. No, as I was surprised by that. I would have thought we had it. <laughs> Stephen Roberts. Right, Blackpool are kicking off the second half here in a moment. Right, yeah, we're going to kick off. The ref's just counting the players. Uh, Chris Grace says, "Can you ask why he left us?" Uh, yeah, we. In fact, we've done an interview with Keegan Parker where all those questions are answered. It's, it's yeah, uh, it's in the channel. It, it tells us all about why he left and what what went on behind the scenes. And it, it's quite a sad story. It is really, quite a sad it? story. Yes. Oh. oh, here they come, here they come. Oh, God, there's wrestling going on there now. Their player was climbing all over and has possibly injured um, Dan Ballard there. He he was put through. I think he's... Has he won the... What's happened? He's given a foul by Stuart. In the... There was a lot it, of climbing all over, a lot of arms oh. going on here. Ballard was running in... Oh, yeah, he jumped on him, didn't he? Like, hmm. Caught his back a deal. Hmm. Well, it's been pulled back anyway. They've well, been pulled back to where the original foul was. So here come Donny. They're looking. Uh, you remember they did look a bit look lively like, at the start yes, of the first did, half, they, didn't they? They did look lively. Ball coming in here from Don Donny, it's and it's to nobody. Uh, Maxwell's had to tip it over the bar. Yes. He's just great. We've realised through watching the uh, the preview show on Friday night, on which Chris Maxwell was. He's a Donny says a proper Scotsman with, with the bargain hunting there. So. He's um, he's actually a Klingon. Not a Klingon, he's not a Klingon, he's definitely not a Klingon. A Vulcan as well, <laughs> like uh, Critch. Short corner here for Donny on the near side. Yeah, yeah. oh, and it's coming across. Ooh, oh, Maxi again had to punch it across. away, and it's uh, gone out for throwing on the far side to Doncaster. Uh, Lee Blake says it was great to see Keegan. He's been one of our, our gr greatest players over the years. I always enjoyed watching him in a tangerine shirt, and so did I. I Lee, absolutely. Yeah, he was exciting it. little player. Fast. We like he was, them he fast, was fast and exciting, and exciting. don't we? <sighs> Mr. Moley says five foot two and legs like tree trunks. Has Keegan met Mr. Moley? <laughs> <laughs> right, Doncaster still have the ball. Blackpool are yeah. just at the moment under a little bit of pressure. Coming down the left, just nip uh, inside. Uh, no, we wrestle it away there. Well played, Blackpool. Good defending. Oh, Dougal, is on it. it Right, ball coming down. Oh, that's a beautiful ball from Blackpool. Come on, Ollie. Ollie, Ollie, Ollie. Oi, oi, oi. Oh. Ollie, Ollie, Ollie. Nice ball through to Sims from Ollie. Sims holds on to it. Has to knock He's it having back, a good though. game, Sims, tonight. And it's gone back to the centre circle. But Blackpool still have possession. Bum man. Bum man. Uh, trying to. Oh, Embo, Embo, Embo. Embo, Embo. It's 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 Oh, we oh, know it. Here we go again. Dispossessed. Brilliant by Blackpool there. Is that Kevin Stewart? I think it is. I think Stewart's on, oh. yes. Sorry, I'll keep up. Who's gone off then? Who sells here with his stuff about Besiktas, which is interesting. Coloured um, boy. Gabriel's gone off for um, Stewart. Oh, Gabriel's gone off, yeah, because he was, um, yeah. Oh. Right, Blackpool picking up on the half way. Oh, and we've just under a bit of pressure there from Donny, but we've, we're knocking a long ball down the wing. Is it going to find Jerry Yates? But he's dispossessed. Donny have it just near there. Oh, closed down by Yates, and it's out for a throw into Donny level with a with a penalty area. Craig Neal loves Keegan Parker. Sean P is saying Keegan Parker, Blackpool legend. Harrogate the Dolphin says it's lovely to see Keegan Parker. Yes, it absolutely is. It's very kind of him to come on and be a pundit for us tonight. Uh, such an honour. Uh, Gurney says thanks to Keegan. You you can stay on after the show. After the show, we'll be doing our match review. 
uh, and we've got Keegan in doing his full time match review. So stay behind after the game. It's gonna be it's gonna be a good one. Oh, Usel is Turkish and male. He's Turkish and male. <laughs> I don't know what, what he thinks. This is a dating side or something, but he, he really does like to tell us what, what he is. Uh, yeah, right here we go. At half time, yeah. Right, Blackpool on the attack. Yates is on the attack. Oh, what? Oh, no, oh, no, he's still oh, he's he persevered he just, there, Jess. He, 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 he almost got the break on, on the ball then, Jerry Yates. He was unlucky. Right. Doncaster have the ball again in uh, close to their own penalty area. Blackpool are pressing, for, high pressing from Blackpool here. Blackpool pick up inside the Doncaster half. Embo is going to have a shot. Oh, oh. It's straight at the keeper. If it had spilled that, Ailis Sims was there to bash it in. From close range, but it just was just didn't really connect well with it. But he's it, having a good game, Embo. Embo and Sims. Sims in the box. Oh yeah, here he is. Speak the devil. Oh, oh, oh the, the was, that, was that? Him? Oh my god, how did they survive that? That was from, that was a uh, Yates genius like from, that was genius assistance. from Sims. Great interception there. Sims. It's one man between him and the, the goal. Box. He rounds him. He rounds the other and one. Some defender gets back. Oh. It, it was a goal. It almost looked like handball. Is it his wow. shoulder that got that? Corner comes in, but Doncaster get it away, and they're away. Snowing in Manchester, apparently. Yeah, it did look like it was. We were out today, and it looked like sort of very sort of thick rain. So I didn't think it, for a minute it would be snowing, but it might have been a little bit. Oh, there's a chance here for. Doncaster, it's a, it, it's a corner to Donny. Very swift counter, counter there. Right, here is a um, corner for Donny on the far side. 51 minutes gone. Uh, Imps are still crying, trying to get over the sausage drama, drama robbery, costing a chance at automatic promotion. Yeah, oh. it was a, it was it was unbelievable, wasn't it? Apparently, it was. I don't think it went down very well. Right, uh, Donny have the ball on the edge of the box. Oh, and Blackpool managed to st well played there to shield the ball out for a goal kick. Phil Corbett says great stuff from Keegan. You'll see more of him later on tonight. Stephen now says, my wife has just informed me that Keegan now plays for Thornywood. The ground is a five-minute walk from where we live. Oh, well, there well, you, you go. You go and watch him at Thornywood. Yes, Gabriel's off. He, he he did something, didn't he, to himself just, just at the end of the half. Right, Blackpool got the ball. Close to the halfway line. Passed inside to Dougal. It's had to go back into our own half. Donny are pressing a bit from the front here, but Blackpool managed to pass it out beautifully, actually. Uh, but back under pressure a bit from Donny. Down the line, it goes long. Uh, oh, Donny nearly got dispossessed there. They've had to go back to the goalkeeper. He's under pressure a bit from uh, Yates. He's, he's under pressure, but he's managed to get it away. And um, Blackpool get a foot to it, but they give it away to... But we are. Oh, well played. Lovely winning these midfields. Some of these... Battles. Some of these... Uh, Sims again. Ali Sims again. Oh, he's he's danger. Yes, up to Ollie. Ollie, Ollie, Ollie. 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 Go on, Ollie. Go on, Ollie. Oh. Oh, the, oh, it's just put over the bar. Jerry Yates is going mental because he was free in the box and then we had a shot and it. Michael uh, Stuart Hager saying it in Harry and the Yorkshire Sea Sounds, we trust and the box of trust. There was a chance there. Jerry Yates had got so who Jerry Yates was there. He got himself free in the box. Gosh, free is there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, he already sums up there as well. Thumbs up, right. Jerry. Thumbs up. Give us your goals. Oh, here's... Um... Oh, a ball into... And it's Susan in the box. Oh, and it just oh. get a block on him again. It really is all Blackpool. Yeah, Ian McNally said it's a pity they closed the star, the, the Pleasure Beach. That was like a Star Wars bar. The cast could have called in for a pint. Oh. Yeah. yeah, the lucky... Yeah, the, the star down at the South, South, South Brom. Man City are beating PSG 1 0. Charlton are now Ooh. 1 up. Charlton are 1 up. That's good, isn't it? Um, that puts us third. Um, well, it? is it good, though? Well, it, 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 it is. Because it's, it's linking the 1 0 up against. Um, yeah, we will. Let's have a look at the league table. So, yes, we are third. 
confirmed at the moment. A Lincoln down to fifth with that as well. Oh, oh, they're not going to like that, are they? But uh, Chelsea could sneak in the playoffs right at the death, couldn't they? So they as it. things stand, we will be playing Portsmouth in the playoffs. Uh, Stuart's getting booked here now. What's he getting booked? He's, he's, he's a sort of small, uh, portly the, the, man, this referee. Let's have a look at this tackle. Colin Greenall's not happy about it. Because... A third, gosh. Have we been third yet this season? No, we haven't, though. It's exciting, isn't it? Yeah, we're up to third. And yet still no one notices us. Oh, there's the table. The table oh, live, yeah. live, we're up to third. It's tight though. We're 77, right, Sunderland long, 76, Lincoln long. 76, Portsmouth 72. Oh, Blackpool. Oh, we've got to be tight here. Well played, Blackpool. Well dispossessed. Took it off him. Oh, that's. Oh, Ooh. my God. How flipping it, referee. How did he not see that as a foul? I really like Ollie Turton. He just gets up, he just got himself up. He, down, he just got up. If he'd have gone down and rolled around, it would have been a free kick. Yeah, but it's not, it's not Ollie's thing, is it? Are oh, the fans outside? I don't. I don't think so. DJ Cook. I don't. The, think the so. weather's been a bit wank, to be honest. So I don't think there would be. What's going on here, referee? You're giving. Yeah, and well, what about you? Your guys going in on us, Doncaster? And... Yeah, regarding the regarding the loans, I expect that the loan contract finishes at the end of the season so it will be well, dated he's got to watch himself it will be dated sunday the and, and, and so then i don't think it's an option to extend into the playoffs unless possibly they agreed to include that when they were drawing up the contract there's a little bit of argy bargy you got Ooh. Oh, yes. It's getting a bit tasty, isn't it, out there? Stuart's uh, already on a booking, and uh, he went for a ball. It, it, it wasn't particularly high, but he had a, a foot up, but it wasn't light in the face or anything. And it, Stuart's saying, well, the ball was there to be won, and what am what I supposed to do? And right. He sims through. Oh, oh. nearly he sims. He just, just went round him, did it there. It was a great, almost a perfect ball through to sims. Right. Doncaster, this game's got tastier than it was in the first half. Doncaster, mm. spray it out to the right-hand side, back into the centre circle. Better play from Doncaster. Still got the ball, Doncaster. Didn't see any of this really first half, did we, any of? Well, they did a bit at the beginning. They are looking a bit more lively. We need a goal to just sicken them off, don't we, really? That's the thing here. We, we just need a second goal to just kill the game off. Well, well, well there's only a goal. They're still in the game, aren't they? Right. Get in there. Oh, unlucky there. Oh, Donny come down the wing here. Got a bit of pace here, aren't they? Oh, we've had to give away another. Corner. He's appealing for the corner. What's going on here? I don't referee? know. We're having a I word with the liner. book in here. That was... Uh, oh. He did get the ball. Mm, that was... Uh, yeah. That Oh, that was... Uh, Jim's already been booked, hasn't he? It's all gone crazy. This referee is throwing yellow cars around like confetti now all of a sudden. Uh-oh. Maxie's uh, wading in as the captain. How old are these officials? It's a yellow card. Has he not it's already had one, one, Jim? No, he's not, no. Oh, oh, that's lucky then. Oh, but that's a very harsh yellow card there. He seemed to get the ball. I, I, I don't... It's just one of Jim's, like, tackles by the corner flag. Oh, he's still getting treatment, the guy he went in on. Uh, Stephen Roberts says, "I think, am I right in thinking loan players were out on Sunday and need We've permission from that. home? Court? Uh, have we? Yeah. What? What? What was the verdict? Oh, I, don't, I went on at length. Okay. <laughs> don't know where you were. I don't know. I'm too busy watching referee going going mental with yellow cars all of a sudden. So they got a free kick here in a very dangerous position, actually, on the um, just in from the corner flag on the. 
just on the outside of the penalty box. This yeah. is very, very dangerous. One of the most Shazar dangerous spots, I would say, for a free really kick. Fo- right, this is dangerous, folks. So Shazza Harris as a ref is a joke at the moment. He is. He's, he's whistle happy, isn't he? He's card happy. crazy, though, all of a sudden. See many no whistle happy card happy ones. can't stop dishing him out. Right. Oh, this is dangerous. Oh, this is dangerous. But there's a lot of Blackpool players back. Right. Oh, it's taken... Uh, it's, it's, it's all right. Max. It's deflected, but it's into Maxwell's arms. That is fine. Right, Maxwell throws it long and quick, but Doncaster knock it forward. It's going to be headed for by Blackpool. Long. Is it going to be picked up? Oh, Blackpool just can't seem to just get hold of the ball a moment again. Now is that another free kick to Doncaster. What is going? Well, there's going to be a double Blackpool change from Critch. He's changing two players. Is, is he going to take somebody off here? Almost an hour gone now. Still one nil up. He, he, he up to third in the league. The card. You know what it's like, Critchley. No, yeah, I would take hours. Jim off, yeah. And get Marv on. Right, Blackpool have a throw in. So we're going to see who this, Who it's a double substitution coming on for Blackpool. Demi Mitchell's coming on. So he will be coming on for, who will he be coming on for? Have I mentioned the word? I don't know. Did, did I mention the team in Suffolk? If not, I'm all right. It's, it's not in my brain anymore. I think uh, this Marv's wants to get coming a Donny on shirt well. on, says Harry Wake, and that's from a Yorkshireman, so you can see uh, it's all going. Right, Blackpool on the attack. Here's Jez. Here's Jez. Jerry Yates is running oh, in. There's a few sweeping forward here. Uh, Sims. Sims. Oh, oh, Sims has a great straight shot. Straight at the keeper, the and keeper it's saves a it. corner to Blackpool. It's a corner. Uh, Eugene is asking who's man of the match tonight. Well, Sims is playing very Sims well. Sims has got to be at the moment. Um, Embo's oh, playing well. That was well. a great shot from Sims. Keeper did well there, to be honest. So Sims possibly edging it. He's got the right, goal. corner coming. It's an outswinging corner for Blackpool. On the far side. It might be a shorty because Embo's 60 there. 60 minutes gone, folks, and we're still 1-0 if you just joined the stream. Right, ball coming no. across. Short. Doesn't get past the first man. Get back in. Out. Back in, but cleared again by Donny. Picked up by Blackpool. Pinball here at the moment. Ollie does well there. Oh, Jez. Jez, Jerry Yates does well there to get all the ball. No, Jerry should. Yeah, oh. he's still got it. His turn. Oh, well done, he's, he's got his persistent head on tonight. Yes. Jez Ellis to Sims. Sims. Oh, Jez that's and Sims are up well. He's gone down just on the edge of the box. Just sort of... And the referee gives nothing. Mm. You are having a laugh, referee. He's not our friend, this referee tonight. Uh, Rob Bruce Smith is saying that I can't believe the season we had at the start and we're currently third. Can't believe the team we've become. Whether we go up or not, this has been a successful season. Big up uh, to Sadler, Critchley and the team. Absolutely. I couldn't agree, agree more. Is there any more goals to see, says Prince? <laughs> don't know. what. I don't... Uh... Well, hopefully there's going to be some more goals. You, you won't see them. You'll, you, you'll see, you'll oh, see them. Oh, that was a hospital ball there. Uh, Donny right. back in possession, Donnie but just on the edge of the area. Here. Uh, no, in their own half, Blackpool holding. I don't know why all refs seem to hate us. I don't know. I don't know why we seem to have referees. Always. I don't think they all hate us. Some are just They just don't shits. give us anything, do they? He looks about 90, this referee, actually. Not, not, not as old as that liar the on the far looks side. really old, doesn't he? It's like Dad's army running this game. How can they keep up with it? Right, oh, Blackpool. Oh, nearly intercept there. Got away with it there, Donny. Right, okay. Uh, right, nice ball across. Donny are just looking a, a, a little bit more dangerous than they were in the first half. Down the left-hand side here. We've got a lot here. of men back covering there, there. We have ball coming across, though, and it's, oh. and it's cleared by Blackpool. Overhead kick from Embo. And it's picked up by... Jez. Oh, Jerry Ace, he just oh. couldn't... He's not keeping the ball tonight, he's is he, not, Jez? He's not in himself tonight, is he? No. Michael says, as predicted last Saturday, Medine will be fit for the final. Should we make the final? What it's like he's got Vaseline on his boots, Jez, tonight. He just right, can't Right, Ma- Marvin Epitetta's coming on. Is that husband coming off? Jim Roberts said, we need Prem refs for the playoffs as League One refs are shite. Yeah, Jim's coming off. Jim's coming off, obviously. Worry about for, the uh, card. for Big Marv, yes. Big Marv move. and Kevin Stewart's, Stewart's coming, off. coming off as well. He's taken both the other cards off. For um, oh, that's uh, Keshi. He's, he's brought him on. He's, he's brought him off. I, I, I think he didn't like the way the referee was talking to him and saying. I think he was worrying about the fact he might get sent off. 
Well, maybe he's just giving him so many minutes. <laughs> Heinz says the ball short-sighted ones are, <laughs> are the worst refs. The Mr. Magoos. <laughs> Robert Lewis, apparently. Right, Blackpool get the ball. No, now I'm blaming Doncaster have the ball. Here they come on the attack again. Can Blackpool just get hold of this ball? That's it. Go on, go on, Ollie. Well Ollie, Ollie, Ollie. Nicely through to Jerry Yates. Go on, Jess. Set the ball with you this time. What's the matter with you? Why are you losing the ball tonight? It's What's up with you, He was doing this on Saturday as well. He's just not got That's his. Not his a, maybe, he's, maybe he's got his doing an embo and he's got his boots for, on the wrong uh, feet. For Doncaster, quite near the centre, uh, to the halfway line, just inside their own half. Paul, it's a change of formation. I, I think it's just forced because Critchley, you know, two players booked. He just, he just hoiked them off straight away because his referee has gone suddenly card happy. And, uh, and I can't understand why he has taken them off because the referee suddenly gone mental with the yellow card. So he doesn't want anybody sending off. And I understand that as well. It's too important now to, to get players sent off in it and have them not available. And they're the making a couple of subs here now. They're as making well. a few subs. Niall O'Reilly says, look at the league table. We're third. Where have you been? Yes, we've already looked at it. And yes, we are, Niall. We are third. Uh, Peter Donnelly says he loves Critch when he manages the referee like that. Yeah, I agree with you. It's a smart move. Just, just, just take them both off because the referee had gone mental, hadn't he, for, for five minutes. He's throwing cars around like the confetti and, and take them off because he doesn't want anybody getting sent off, obviously, at this. Oh, the cat man's gone off. Harry's saying something about don't think they do that, Jane. Bring them on for a few minutes and sub them. Were you, were, were you kidding? No. What were you talking about? Uh, about uh, um, Kevin Stewart? Yeah, well, he took him off because he'd been booked and he'd, he'd gone in with that foot up and the referee was having a real word with him and saying, basically, if you do anything like that again, you're off. And he was claiming that he was just going for a ball. And I think Critchley saw it and just took him off. I don't mm. think just to avoid him getting a red card. You know, anything could happen with this referee. Yep. We've got a nutter of a ref. Right, Blackpool throw it long, but Doncaster pick it up. And st uh, but Blackpool are going to intercept. Right. And we're into their half. We're away on a breakaway. Here's Jerry Yates has got the ball. Beautiful ball. Oh, oh it's saved just by the goalie. Yeah, the... Keeper just got a hand to oh, it. Oh, what a great, oh, that what a was great a lovely save. move there. Anything great ball high, from Anderson it to Yates. To it. If he'd have just lifted it a bit, it was in. It was just along the deck and the keeper oh, that was to get, a, sweet, get a hand down ball. to it on the floor. Right. Um, Donnie here again. Blackpool holds strong, but Donnie I've had to go back to the halfway line. Long field ball across from Donnie. Into well, we don't need space. any red cards, do we? Tonight? No, we don't need red cards. Right. Donnie have got the ball again inside our half. Blackpool pressurised pressurize them back into their own half. Good pressing from Blackpool. Donny come again down this left-hand side. Lovely ball forward down the left. Blackpool players appealing for offside, and I think they've got it. It's offside. Mm. Ian McNally says, it's great being a pool fan. It is at the moment. It's great. Look at this ball again from Anderson here. Look at uh, that. Just it, look at this. It's just, it's just oh, it's just yeah. perfect. Oh, if it had just not rolled it along the floor. Oh. Anything up, and it were in. It had never got to it. It just, unfortunately, just rolled it along the floor. Uh, Michael Stewart Hague is predicting a Blackpool Sunderland playoff final. Mm, mm. Who knows? Could well be. Well, if we can hold on to this, we, we really, honestly, folks, I'm, I, I know I say this all the time, but we could just do with another goal just, just to calm the nerves for the last, because we're coming into 67 minutes, 20 odd minutes to go. Blackpool just, uh, we've had chances. We've had chances. We have. Keshi Anderson. Oh, oh unlucky Keshi. Dispossessed Blackpool. Uh, Doncaster put a long ball across and it's out for a throw in to Blackpool. Back level with the penalty Paul. area on the far side. Carbot with a throw. Blackpool play a lovely ball forward there. Ball inside. Beautiful. Embo. Embo, but it's closed down. So he's had to go backwards in the corner flag now. Embleton He's under pressure from two men now. He's trying to win something. Did he? Is it a goal? What's he got? A throw in? I think it's a throw. A throw in just near to the corner flag. <laughs> Giles Chelanos says he's going for a quick siggy. Can we both shout so he can hear us from the back door? Okay. Right, Blackpool taking. Quick throw in there, Giles. All right. <laughs> Not that loud. Right, uh, Doncaster just the ball, managed to clear it though. Uh, and they're away. They managed to wrestle themselves free. Still in their half though. Uh, long ball, not four by Doncaster, but it's gone out for a throw to Blackpool halfway in our own half. Charlton are now two up. Oh, 
So that's a swing in of three goals. Oh dear. That's a, that's a three goal. A Lincoln swing. bottle in it. A two goal swing, I suppose, from where we were at half time. So I would I would not really want Charlton in the playoffs. No. If they're I, coming into form. I wouldn't want Charlton. I think you just stay down where you are. I, I, I'm hoping that's what I keep saying. We, mm. we, we need Portsmouth then to, to keep them out, don't we? It's that's the only thing I wasn't Ooh. keen on. Another free kick to Doncaster. It's the only thing I'm not keen on, Charlton. I, I really are coming and they've got Mm, well, they've still got, a, they, well, they've got, as things stand at the moment, you've got Portsmouth in the last playoff spot, who are the only team that can be caught. They're on 72 points, Oxford are on 71, and Charlton are currently on 71 as well. So there's three teams vying for that last spot. Mm, we don't want Oxford either, do we? Right, lovely. Oh, that was a beautiful ball. Almost found Ellis Sims. What a gorgeous through ball that was. It, that deserved more, but the defence were just too quick for it. Oh, that's it. We've given away another freak. Is, is this Coppinger's come on? I think Coppinger's on now, isn't he? Anthony Powell, this is hello, Anthony. Hello, Anthony. Uh, he Anthony. says, uh, I've, I've both been a while since I caught up. Uh, I'll be absolutely gut wrenching if we get to the playoff finals and fans. Are, well, fans are going to be allowed in, so that that isn't that's not going to be an issue. They, they well, we in. don't know. Well, they are because they need them in for the to do a practice to do the for Euros. the Euros. So, well, they're letting me. people in for the FA Cup final in semi, yes, aren't they? they are. so. Fans are going to be in. You would hope so. Oh no. Oh no. Somebody's done it now, haven't they, in the stream? Casper, you cannot say that. You've not bet on Blackpool. You just don't don't say that in the stream. It's a kiss of death. We don't allow it. <laughs> so hello from Denmark, but we don't want to know. You, you you can tell us after the game's finished that you had a bet on us, but not during live play. No. It's the kiss of death. Adam reckons Oxford are probably the easiest. Oh, here they uh, come now, Donny right, on the Donnie break. On the left, yeah. On the break again. He's kept it in. He's coming into the box. It's dangerous. He's all the way to the box. And it's a corner to Doncaster. Oh, Charlton away at Hull on Sunday. Oh, well, that's not going to be an easy one, is it? Yeah, I think it, I, I can't see it any other way, Anthony. I'm pretty sure I'll be right on that. I think uh, Charlton is now three against Lincoln. Three nil. Oh, goodness me, they're falling to pieces. The best football inside in the division, people. That's Ooh. not inside the D. That's not inside. They always have them right on the edge right. there. Corner, Corner coming in. For, it's for a good one. It's headed away. away, though, by Blackpool. It's picked up by Doncaster on the edge of the box. Uh, they've put it out. They've put it out to the right wing. Picked up on the right wing by Doncaster. Cross back in. Headed headed wide, They've but it's not going it out of play. Left. So Doncaster picked up on the far side. This 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 young black lad, and it's a throw in to... Uh, Donny on uh, level with our penalty ball. box. Mm. Right. Yes, Coppinger's on. Coppinger goes back to 35-yard line, back out to Coppinger on the wing. Lincoln, what are you doing? Oh, that was oh, a that terrible was a ball. Terrible ball there. Right. Blackpool managed to, managed to get away. Mm. That's it. Come on now, Blackpool, on the attack. Over Kai Kai, running through the middle like he did at Doncaster. Oh, here's him. Jez. Jerry puts a to nice Embo. ball through to Embo. Oh, he puts a nice ball out to the wing. It's a bit short, that one. It's to Ollie, 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 Ollie. He's having a little lie down now. It's a throw into Blackpool, quite close to the corner flag on the near side. Yeah, Charlton gone mad. Well, they're fighting, aren't they, Charlton? Good on him, but... Let's not make it, eh, Charlton? Tony, Tony Hayes also said if we're going to be a championship side, we need to but beat the best. That said, we beat Charlton 3 0. So. But you can always, uh, you know, you can always have an easier one. They're not going to want to play us either. It's not always, you know, it's, it's not always. Dougal Cross it's good pass to get the easy back. one in, you know. Right, Blackpool got the ball in the centre circle and they're just. Right. Uh, Blackpool playing it across the back four here under pressure from Donny. Still more pressure from Donny. Being really pressed. I've right, had to go back, 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 back. Oh, we are under pressure there from Donny. Bloody hell. Right. Hunting impacts on us, Donny, at the moment. What's going on? What are they playing for? Pride. What do they need this for, Donny? What's up with you? Oh, they're still on the ball, Doncaster. Maybe they're coming, playing for contracts. Ball coming across. This is a chance. And it's saved by Maxwell. Unbelievable from under the bar. That What are Blackpool doing at the moment, folks? What are Doncaster? Who are this Doncaster side? They've not been in the game until now. Charlton play Hull of the last game. Oh, what a great save from Maxwell. That is an unbelievable save, folks. Right, it's a corner to Doncaster. Well done, Maxi. Right, another corner coming in here. 
Can we hold strong? We've got Marvin at Pateta back in defence. Right. It's, Come on, Blackpool. It's an out swinger out. on it's the far side. It's, it is out swinging and it's, and it's knocked in. It's not oh. way over the bar. Blackpool need a second goal, folks. Well, technically we don't. Uh, Grand team H says it makes you wonder if Lincoln are resting players for the playoffs. No, because they they're, they're going to want that. it. They're going to want them. They, play Burton. They've got to keep the momentum going because they've lost it before. Mark Style says if we play third, if we finish third, I want to. He wants Oxford in the playoffs. Thing is, we beat we, we beat them all, Ward. aren't we? We do miss Ward. We do miss Grant Ward. They're always a nightmare team for us at Oxford, aren't they? Yeah. Right, long ball forward here. Oh, here's oh, Keshi Anderson Kesh. in the in the box. Oh, he's trying to get a ball. Oh, oh back. Yes. Chance. Hey. Oh. How have we missed from an open goal? I don't know. Embleton puts it wide from an open goal, folks. Oh, Embo. I can't oh, Embo, what you're I'm having seeing. such a good game. Oh, how does he put it wide from there, oh, folks? He doesn't look very happy about it. Oh. Should have scored. Mm. You can't. You, you can't miss those. Yeah, Sembo misses Sitter Harry. Yeah, we just seen it. Yeah, it's shocking. Oh, yeah, someone saying Maxi is a brick wall. Maxi is a brick wall. Na 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 na. Right. Doncaster knock a long ball four, but it's too far. It's going to go all the way through for a throw in. I think that's near the corner. Maxwell definitely is the best goalkeeper on League One, even though he didn't make the um, EFL uh, team of the year, which is an outrage because they can't. They, it's not possible for them to be a better goalkeeper in League One or in Wales than Maxi. <sighs> right, Blackpool have got a throw in right down by the corner. Show me one here. in the Championship. He's honestly, he's just. We're very, very lucky to have him. Charlie Nutt is in, says we're winning, get we're winning. We are. That's right, another throw into Blackpool, that level with a penalty area on the far side. Right, come, come on, on, Blackpool. Come on, Blackpool. Surely that's a foul referee. Right, it finally, it gives Blackpool a free kick for about oh, the third time asking. Cheers, ref. 76 minutes gone, folks. Uh, Paul Heaton says if it goes to penalties in any of the playoffs, I fancy Maxwell. Well, that's, yeah. Good. Oh, yeah, of course. Oh, my God. Don't even talk about penalties in the playoffs. But, yes, he is he's excellent, isn't he? The smoke coming. Somebody's, there. somebody's dropped a smoke bomb or something outside the ground, I think. It's coming. In. Right. Long uh, free kick right into the box. Ellie Sims tries to get ahead of but doesn't. Black, Black will pick oh, it up on the edge go. of the box. Nice shot there. Oh, oh, what a shot from Garber. And the keeper pulls off a bloody wonder save for a corner to Blackpool. Well, I can't, I can't believe this save. There. What a save. This is a wonder shot. Garber, it's power like a on rocket. That. How has he saved that goal, folks? Honest to God, that was a worldy. It's another corner to Blackpool. Just as well because we missed Near what happened post. there because they were showing yeah, us a replay. They were us a replay. We didn't even <laughs> see the woman corner. Oh, don't they have like a little caption thing in the corner showing the replays? Right, it's um, it's a shorty on Jay the far Tom side. Is not he's not happy at the moment. He's a, no, I bet he's not. Right, Blackpool have it in the box here. Uh, oh, oh, Garbutz no, just, just under pressure. Back. He's had to go back there. Yeah, well, sensible play. Right. Oh, oh, here's Cash. Right, nice ball down. Oh, that's a beautiful ball to Yates yeah, in the box. Yates in the box. Can he get it across? Pulls it back. Oh! Sims. Oh, Sims blocks. has to get a shot. It's blocked. It's strictly. We're appealing for handball while the referee's having none of it. Blackpool we'll pick it up Come again. On. This is a sustained on, period down. of pressure. On, We're going to score in a minute, guys. Oh, another block. Good Lord. And again, Embo. Embo. Far side. On the left. Oh, yes, he beats his man. Him, into the box. He's into here. the box. He's running, running. And oh my God, how oh, did it not go in? in? I can't believe what I'm <laughs> seeing, folks. It went right in front of an open goal. There were like bodies there. It just couldn't possibly not hit one and go You've in. You've got and... to see this to believe it. You've <laughs> got to see this to believe it. Embo was superb there. Yeah, he's getting some cracking balls in, isn't he? He's getting better and better. Oh, oh he's just hitting their players' foot. just goes wide. Oh. Unbelievable on the line. Oh, Two players there as well. Guys. 
Right, this is going to be another shorty, maybe, or an in swinger. That's an in swinger. All right, come on, Blackpool. Yeah, he's gone for the in swinger. Oh, it's, it's too high. far. It's too far. Too long. Too far. Yeah, but they haven't cleared it, have they? They're struggling with him. Don't they played it back into their own box, up. but we got no one left in there. They're still playing it about in the box. It's dangerous stuff. This from Donny. Right, Donny. Donny have three men up up from the corners, which is weird. Right, Donny on the attack here, but oh, that was a challenge there yeah, from Jordan Thornley. Oh, yes, come on, we break again. Go on, go on, go on, on his go own. on, go on. Great ball. Oh, Two Sims. to Sims. Now is a chance. Oh, the keeper. Yes, it's in. <laughs> it's in. It is in. Ellis Sims. Get in. That's deserved. Come on. What a goal. Come on, we can get another couple now. We're going for this, guys. We we just turned up. We just went into another gear there for the last five minutes or so. You knew that, that goal was coming. That is wonderful, folks. Two nil. Come on. It's been coming, folks. It's been coming. Yeah, that was. Look a nice... at that, Ellie Sims. Keeper does get a block, but he, he, he comes. He, he follows the ball in and just. Oh, beautiful! Absolutely beautiful, Ellie so Sims. So he's on a hat trick now, Ellie Sims. You know what happens now? He's going to get subbed. Paul it says, "Get in and the pool go marching on." Absolutely, Kesara, Sara. Kesara, Sara. Whatever will be, will be. We're, we're going, going to, to Wembley. Wembley. Oh, no, we're not going to Wembley at all. Not yet, no. E I E I E I O. Up the football, here we go. Where we win promotion. This is what we'll sing. We are Blackpool, we are Blackpool, we are the football kings. E-I-E-I-E-I-O, up the football league we go. When we win promotion, this is what we'll sing. We are Blackpool, we are Blackpool, we are the football kings. Come on! Michael Stewart exit. What a great passionate fan you are. Yes, I honestly roared that one in. Mark Style says uh, it's a bit controversial. He loves Maxwell, but I'm not a fan of keepers being captain. It's only opinion. Well, none of us were at the start of the season, but I think he's done pretty, pretty good. But good. You, need, you need a Vulcan as your captain. Charles right? Challenger says oh. what we're all trying to say. Because it's important to have Vulcan like qualities in a captain because they're, 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 they're going over and talking to the referees, oh, aren't they? The... It's says, important they do that without in, emotion. <laughs> Can we say that together? Get the fucking black belt. Come on. <laughs> Absolutely right. Oh, this is honestly it's been it's been magnificent play from Blackpool, is like right, but Doncaster have got the ball on the halfway line. 81. Oh, good long ball for for, for Doncaster. Keep it tight, Blackpool. Oh, oh he said it way. A lot of way, power on that, way, but it's way was, over I think the bar. That's, just... that's good, but uh, that's good. Hitting the top of the tower, that one. That's what we want. That's what we want. Charlie Charlie Nooks gives it, sending a hug to us. He's so and happy. Yes, Kira oh, no. saying, "Come on." Yates is coming off. For uh, Mitchell. Oh, it was it was uh, Keshi, wasn't it? Brought on, not Mitchell. Yeah, yeah. Keshi came on. Yeah, of course. He's looking. He's looking good, Keshi as well. He's looking very good. Yeah. The BFC has just given us loads of uh, whatever they are. Tangerine. What are they? What are they them? No idea. What they I are. don't know. What they, I like them. Whatever they are, like little smiley sort of whatever. Well, we've got a lot of them anyway. Oh, I think it's the party hats. It's a party one. Uh, Stephen Cram uh, says uh, he's no voice. His songs are really wonderful. He's no voice up here. <laughs> it's going <laughs> oh, brilliant. Dino Zoff won the World Cup as a keeper captain. Yeah. Yes, he did. So there you are. So it does work. I don't think Wales are going to win the World Cup. Paul Heaton says he's, he's no worries who we will play in the playoffs because there'll be three teams that won't want to play us. <laughs> absolutely. absolutely. No one's going to want to play us. Gonna wanna want. They're all going to be trying to avoid Blackpool, aren't they, at the moment? Well, we beat them all, haven't we, apart from Lincoln, and we were swaggering right. against them. So. Right, no one I'm afraid of. Play there. Oh, no, but just giving away. Oh. Rather silly there. Oh, Kenny do Kenny, what were we doing there? Oh, this is a chance. No, well defended. It's had to go back to the edge of the area. Ball coming in. Chance. Oh, oh Bogle missed it. Uh, but we're keeping, uh, we're keeping the... We are keeping the defence absolutely halfway. packed. We Honestly, we're defending so well this season, aren't we? We've got that bob on. Victoria Cook is here. Hello, Victoria. Hi. Unlucky with you. You should have had auto should have got your promotion. But... Oh, that was such a nearly ball through to Sims. Is that a handball? Oh God, that was an, it was on the break. That that would have been a third there, folks. But it doesn't matter. Two will do. Eighty-three minutes gone. This is been a... we start believing. Pretty... Says Paul Heaton. Yeah, all those that knock him Relaxed all the time. They're tonight, off their heads. Right, uh, Doncaster picked the ball up at the halfway line. Still looking like they're in the game. Still, the heads haven't gone down. I thought they'd have given up, but no, this is a great run. But Blackpool shield him all the way into the corner. 
And it's out for a throw into Blackpool. Well played, Blackpool. What a performance tonight, folks. This is one of the best performances we've had in a long time. What looks wrong, Stephen? What looks wrong? Well, we don't know. It could be anything. Tony Hazelwood says, uh, history is repeating itself on a great run again. This is good stuff. Yes, it is. Harry Weeks, Harry Weeks says there's two spare seats uh, for Jane and Lee for the Wembley Player final. We've got to get the Yorkshire Seasiders coach. Hopefully we'll all be there. It's not the most direct route for us to go, to go all the way across to Yorkshire to get the coach. coach. We're not there yet. We're not there. We're not there. Let's walk and talk. Says we'll be any of them in over two legs. Then it's, then it's with the gods. Yes, of course mm. it is. Uh, Eugene McGee says, do you think Ellis Sims will get the match ball if he scores a hat-trick for Blackpool against Doncaster Rovers tonight? Yeah. He certainly will, if he does. We'll have to sanitise it first. Right here Right, Blackpool hoof it forward. Oh. Uh, but Doncaster... Oh, Doncaster right put keeper. it back to the keeper under pressure. Ellis Sims is on the keeper, but he's managed to put it out to his... He's hungry right. for his hat-trick, Ellis. He is looking for his hat-trick. Love him to that trick. Oh, yeah. Should have got an hat trick. In well, we haven't had game. one this season, have we? Because everyone, he takes them off when they get two goals and no one's allowed to have a hat trick. But, but Alice Sims has been magnificent tonight, hasn't he? He has. It's good to see him coming into form at the right time as well. as well. What a great confidence boosting goal that second goal was. Oh, under all that pressure and right, Donny had doing step overs and stepping over himself there. But anyway, Donny still had the ball out to the left, left wing, back into the centre. Donny still holding onto the ball. Uh, not so long ball over to the right wing, picked up by Donny. Uh, not again into the middle, and Blackpool and Donny just lose it. Right, right come on, Mitchell. Blackpool are on the attack. Come on, use your pace. That's it. Mitchell's got pace. Striding here. forward. Oh, 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 oh. It's oh. oh. back with our keeper. Unlucky Blackpool there. It was a great challenge that just took the ball off Embo there. Embo, Embo, it's Embo, 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 it's Embo, 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 it's Embo. Kieran Baines is saying Blackpool don't get promotion. He's going bold. <laughs> oh, yeah. Paul Hitz says, go on, Ellis, get yourself an actress. Yeah, come on, Ellis. Gone, we all want you to. 86 minutes gone. There won't be a lot of it. There won't be too much injury time either because there's not been many stoppages, only, only for no. substitutions. Paul Luck Luckton is saying that Ellis Sims is on a hat trick. I hope those substitutions have been for uh, bookings and not for injuries tonight. Right, long ball from Doncaster, but Blackpool clear it well. Uh, Epiteto, brilliant, really. There, Blackpool knock a high ball, but it's only in. It's a bit head tennis. Oh, that's a foul, referential. Anderson's had to go mm. backwards to it. Mar, big Marv is going to oh, launch Marv. one long. He's launching it right down. Donny pick it up though. It's lovely to see these players coming back in, isn't it, Marv and Keshi? Yeah, to see these players that, that, that we have missed, to be honest. Yeah. Right. Donny on the halfway line, coming again. It's like an old jumper. Oh. Right, Donny still got the ball, but uh, Blackpool getting interception in nicely. Oh, and they just oh. give a silly ball away there. Silly ball. Yeah, Embo's apologising for that ball. It was pretty bad. Right, Donny pick it up again. There was a chance to, to get away there, and Blackpool just give a cheap one away. But anyway, pushing. Ah, oh, rubbish from Doncaster. That, that'll do. Terrible ball forward from Doncaster. Blackpool intercepts, and we've got it now. Launching it long again. But we keep finding Doncaster heads. It looks like we're looking to make a substitution. Donny on the attack, but Blackpool... That's a foul referee. Surely ref... Right. Oh, nice ball inside. Chance. Oh, great save from... Great Armed save from away Maxi by Maxi again. behind for a corner. It was all Blackpool's mistakes, that really. Keegan Parker saying boom. <laughs> it's a corner to Donny. We're into the, I don't know where we are because there's no clock up at the moment. Uh, 88 minutes. Right. Chance here. Oh, we're intercepted by Blackpool. Leg in the way there. So leg in the way, yeah. Donny, you're here again. At the moment, it's, it's, it's through to Maxi who just gets it dead easy. 
Uh, Brian Thompson says, in the last six months and 14 days, our record against the top seven is played 12, won nine, drawn three, lost none, <laughs> scored 20, conceded seven. That is pretty awesome, by the oh, way. Oh, yeah. We that, are pretty awesome, aren't we? just going to leave that stat on there for everyone <laughs> to read. That. That's unbelievable. What a stat, yeah. Brian. So in the last six months and, and 14 still, days, you, you, our record against the top seven is played 12, won nine, drawn three, lost nil, scored 20, conceded seven. Tell that to Sky Sports because they were telling us to look over our shoulders when I was trying to tell them how well, they were laughing we were. at you, weren't they? They were how twats. They got the free kick. How's that a free kick? Right, we're making a change. It's 88 minutes, 89. Oh, minutes is this little Bradley? Or, um, oh, I need a bit of your water. it's not water. Oh, no, it's all right, it's not going to poison you. It's, um, oh, it's... it's lemon and lime. Sims has gone off. Yeah, he told you they take him off before he gets his hat trick. Uh, Brad Holmes, him. come on. Sean is here. Uh, Sean's an entertaining watch as ever. Thank you very much. And Sean is Sunderland, so we we, we wanting not to face us at the moment then, Sean, since we're, we're looking pretty good. Keegan Parker says we've turned up the heat. No, he's already said he wants to play themselves. He wants to play <laughs> themselves in the playoffs. Charlton 3, Lincoln nil. yes. Right, Donny launching the ball forward here oh, now. This is a long ball forward, but Maxie's, uh, Maxie's dealt with there. it. No problems. I just love him so much. I'd be devastated when he leaves. Steve Huntley loves it when Jane swears. Grant T says that's a promising starting lineup going into the playoffs. Yes, it is. Jane, is that vodka? No, I can confirm it's it's it's, uh, it's lemon, lemon and lime. And lime. Sugar free. Oh, oh, well not on by Demi. Yeah, picked it's Brad. Up, picked up by Brad. Brad well done, back to developer. Demi. Well played, Brad. Demi Mitchell. Oh, still got it. Still got it. He's still got it. Where's he going? Where's he going? Go over, Demi. Oh my God, that was amazing play by Keegan. Would have got over there. It must have been about ten tackles on him, and he managed to beat. Anyway, <laughs> Blackpool have got a corner within the ninetieth minute. We can't tell you how many minutes have been added on near side. Uh, Philip Walsh says Holmes could make a name for himself right now. Wouldn't it be great yeah. if he scored a goal? Mike Peake says, do you not think it's amazing that we've managed to get into third position with one game to go after a terrible start? Yeah, it really was a terrible it start, on it? It is. It's, it's absolutely amazing. Right, we're going uh, shorts. It's right, short corner. Ollie, Ollie, Ollie. Turton back out to Blackpool are just playing with the ball now, yeah, which is sensible. Turton. Inside. Turton. Inside. Ooh, oh, oh, yes, yes. Cash. What, oh, what did, I don't know what that uh, was. Cash, you tried to dink it, but he just put it high, wide and handsome. Uh, <laughs> Bright state of mind. So I'll, I've said it before. I'll say it again. Maxi should be in the Wales squad by uh, for the Euros. I, I kind of agree yes, with you. Should absolutely. Keegan, I don't really like understand why he's not. Saka Tatties. Uh, I'm not quite sure what he was referring to there. Right. Uh, Ninety. Uh, one minute twenty-four of the three minutes of extra time gone, and Blackpool put the ball out for a throw into Donny. No, no, no. He managed to keep it in. Embo, Embo, it's Embo. Well played Blackpool. Oh, that was, no. Holmes, that was a poor header into a Doncaster Rovers. One minute, 40 gone of the three minutes. Three minutes? Where's he all that from? Well, subs. Subs, yeah. Right, Blackpool knock it out for a throw into Donny, level with our penalty area. They take it quick, but they, they throw it straight to a Blackpool defender. Which I don't know why we cool. complain that Maxi's not playing for Wales, because it just means it would take him away from us. And we wouldn't want that, would we? So right, Donny pick it up again. Two minutes gone of the three. Two minutes gone of the way. Right, Donny have got the ball on the far side. It's, they're in the box, but Blackpool get take it off them. Lovely. Taking sweets off a kid in the park. But oh. we, we put it out for a throw in uh, near to the centre half. Uh, oh, two well minutes, God. 17 and three. We've only gone and bloody done it, haven't we? We've only gone and bloody done it. Folks, we are in the playoffs. Conference. We're not only in the playoffs. We're, we're sat there. at the top of the playoffs, uh, guys. Right, but, but, oh. Oh, take the ball, will you? Go on. Cash. Go on, Cash it. Uh, no, oh, get rid on, of him. Cash it, well played. Blackpool on the attack in the last minute. Turn to his right. Come on, Ollie's Blackpool. Ollie's on his own. Ollie, Ollie, Ollie. Ball inside, Ollie. Back to, it's yes, back to Keshi. Right, Blackpool. On, Keshi. Keshi takes the ball in. In's into the box. Into the box. He's going for it. Oh, he, it's hit there. Play just got away. But well played, Keshi, for, for going at it. God, he gives us something he different, doesn't he, Keshi? He does give us something different, does Keshi Anderson. And Mitchell's fired Two minutes, well. 58 of the three gone, folks. This is a glorious night. There's 262 people in the stream, and Blackpool are confirmed in the playoffs. It's not the final whistle yet. The referee's blown for something else. We're Three minutes, playoffs. ten, but it's all right. We're, it's 
We do very it's well. It's a throwing to Blackpool thing. down. Oh, Lincoln have got one back. Lincoln have got one back. Is that 26 minutes? No, that's number 26. Oh, number 26. Okay, I was just thinking they maybe kicked her. Oh, that's it. That's it, folks. Hallelujah. Blackpool. Hallelujah. Our third Hallelujah. in the playoffs. Hallelujah. If you're in now, we're, we're trying to get to 150 likes early on. I don't know if you can get us there. Uh, we also need 150 subs as well. If you also give us a sub and everything, if you just turned in. But don't go anywhere because we've got Keegan Parker coming in and he's, he's here now. I can see him arranging his camera and everything. So uh, we're going to be doing an after the match uh, review. I'm not. Uh, I'm going to bed. Uh, Jane, Jane's not, no, Jane's not, she, she won't be going, but uh, it, it will be uh, Keegan and also Phil from the Yorkshire Seaside, Ooh, so, uh, so hang tight, folks. We, we've forgotten to mention Andy Morrell. Oh, yes. We, we're, uh, we've got an interview with Andy Morrell on Thursday. It's not going to be live, uh, but if you've got any questions, uh, just message us. Uh, that's probably the best way to do it. If you drop uh, drop me a, a DM in, in the Twitter, uh, any yeah. questions that you've got for Andy Morrell, we'll do our best to ask them for you. Um so, yeah. so that we've got that coming up uh, so we've later got King this of week. Tonight. We've got Andy Morell. We're interviewing him uh, in the week, and so. we'll be back on Sunday. Uh, what should we? What time are we going to be on Sunday? Half eleven, maybe eleven. Half, half, yeah, we might even for, be for on like early. A, we can have like a party, maybe. Yeah, yeah let's have an early. early. Uh, yeah, let's have an yeah. early kick off about eleven o'clock, and uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, we'll see you all early on Sunday because Blackpool are confirmed in the playoffs. We have done it. It's been absolutely magnificent. Blackpool are running bang into form at the right time of the season. And to be honest with you, there was only one winner tonight and it was going to be Blackpool. And uh, so thanks right. a lot, Jane. Yep, leave you guys to it. We're going to bring Keegan Parker in. There we go. Good evening, Keegan Parker. How How was that? Doing a bit. What do you reckon? Feeling a bit better now, aren't you? Oh, feeling very yeah. happy. Uh, yeah, you've got if, some uh, really good standout performances there. You've got the, the, the boy up front, Sims. I thought he looked really lively. And um, Emble and Turton both impressed me as well. Um, I think you said yourself, Yates had an off night tonight. So if you can get you know him back at it in the playoffs, you've got, for what I can see, a really good chance. Yeah, it's um, teams won't want to play us. The, there was a stat actually I put up earlier. I don't know if you saw it. It was uh, from Brian. Let me just go back and see if I can find this stat because it was quite an incredible stat, really. And it should give every Blackpool fan in the land. Uh, Hope really uh, of what we can do this this season. Against it the was, top teams, yeah, I've seen that. Yes, against the top teams. Yeah. Oh, we've got Phil as well. We'll just bring uh, Phil in in a minute. Um, there he is. You, yeah. See, the players will have that. The players will have that drilled in them as well going into the playoffs. You know, they will they will use those stats to their advantage and you know give them that uh, you know that edge in the head. I think. They absolutely will. Uh, did you see that stat, uh, Phil? Good evening, Phil, by the way. This is Phil from Yorkshire Sea. Yorkshire Seasiders. Phil Corbett's here. Hey. And uh, I was saying, somebody, uh, Brian, I'm just trying to find the stat and I can't find it. It's, there's so much chat going on since then. But it, it, it was in the last, uh, I don't know how many months and, you know, all the top teams, we've actually played them all. We, 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 yeah. We've played so many games. We, we haven't lost any. We've scored 20, uh, let seven in against all the top seven teams, but I just can't find the stats. So I don't know if Brian can find it again, but uh, or post it up again, but it was quite an amazing stat. So how are you feeling, Phil? Yeah, that was as comfortable a game as I've seen all season, actually. Um, there it is. You know, um, they weren't any... Uh, well, they, ju they just had nothing up front, basically, did they? Um, no. They had a lot of the ball around the back, fo back four, and uh, that was about it, really. Um, I'm sorry, that's every just time we face. went forward, we looked good, but carry on. Yes, yeah, sorry. Sorry, I'll have to take that off. It's covering your face up as to where you are. Uh, no uh, uh, <laughs> I'll just uh, put that uh, up again. So it was in, in the last uh, six months, uh, 14 days, our record against the top seven is played 12 won nine, drawn three, lost none, scored 20, conceded seven. And that is a pretty awesome start. you got to say that is right. pretty it's awesome. Unbelievable, isn't it? Yeah. They won't want to be playing us, will they? Nobody will no. be playing us. Um, no. we, we've already done a little, little review on, on the first half with Keegan, but obviously yes, you've not, yeah, had, your say on it. You not had your say on it yet, Phil. But um, just thoughts on the game from um, from you, Phil, first. You know, just, just your overall thoughts on the game game today. I thought basically we we've clicked back into gear again. You know we had a, we had a bit of a dodgy spell a couple of weeks ago, but today we we were passing well. We we got forward well. Now and then you just wish for a bit of sharper finishing. Maybe you know we we, had, we created an awful lot of chances. Could have been a few more. Uh, yeah. 
and yeah. just the final touch sometimes. But you know that's been a bit critical when uh, we dominated the game, and and two was the least we deserved. I thought. Do you agree, Keegan, on that? That it was. Just yeah, definitely. A... Yeah, I would definitely say that as well. I liked really liked the energy Blackpool had, and I think although the. Uh, the opposition did have a few chances. I think that was just at the start of the first half and the, the end of the first half. Other than that, Blackpool looked really confident at the back and they didn't really like getting up, cut open too many times. Um, and like I say, the main thing when, was the energy in there in midfield. They always looked like they had a, you know another gear in midfield. Yeah. Yeah, there was... The first half wasn't as good as the second. I thought, you know, the second half, on another day, we, we could have really had three or four or five goals, couldn't mm-hmm. we? There was a, it was, at one time, it was a little bit like there was a force field around the net because there was that yeah. one that kind of bounced off the Don, Donny player on the line and went wide. There was that wonder save, uh, you know, from Garbutt, which which mm-hmm. which went like a rocket and I can't believe he actually got a hand to, to turn that one round. There was a couple of... Here. To sum it up, their goalkeeper was man of the match, so that'll tell you everything you need to know about the game. Yeah, he did play well, yeah. actually. He's only a young kid as yeah. well, isn't he? He's a young kid, but he did play very, mm. very, very well. But Ellis Sims, that that second goal of Ellis Sims, where he just followed it in after the keeper had actually blocked the shot, I, I thought yeah. that was uh, real quality. I don't know what you thought about that, Keegan. As a striker, would you have liked to have... Would, would you be proud of that? You know, the keeper comes out, gets a block, kind of yeah. goes over him, and you just make it to the ball before the defender and just slot it home. That That's a big of... thing as a young boy. He's probably had that drilled in, in, into him being at a big club like Everton, you know, it's um, reaction, you know, when you do lose the ball, whether it be a chance with a goalkeeper or when you lose the ball, you know, always chase back and react um, for your team. And I think he showed that in abundance there. And obviously in that uh, instance, he got his just reward with a goal and maybe a bit unfortunate not to get a hard trick. Yeah, yeah, it's it's one of the things uh, Philip probably know. We we always mention it on our stream, but Critch always seems to take players off when they've got two goals, doesn't he? He doesn't seem to let them score a hat trick. I don't know whether it's just because he's always thinking about saving them for the next one. Doesn't want them to get injured, and he's he always has that slightly cautious side to him, doesn't he, Critch? And he also took. Uh, Stuart Hoff had only just come on and he took uh, you know both players who'd been booked when that referee was going through a bit of a mad patch really where he was booking he, he yeah. started booking everybody didn't he and I, I, Critch took him off didn't he and uh, he's very cautious like that doesn't he? he he won't take a risk with a player getting sent off and I thought that was the right decision actually at the time because if, if we'd have had a red card today that could have affected the playoffs Absolutely you, you know, if somebody gets straight red there it's uh, missing both semi-finals as well as the next game, isn't it? With a three-match ban. So, yeah. yeah. So I think um, the turnaround's been pretty dramatic. I think you touched on it when listening in there throughout the, the show there in the second half. The turnaround from uh, maybe like eight or nine games into the season, I think you're probably in the top uh, in the, the bottom seven or something like that in the league. Would fair to say. And they've turned it round. I think it's one point a lot of people were maybe even wondering if they'd made the right, you know, appointment bringing in a manager like that, uh, Klitschke, who hasn't had experience, in, you know, managing, uh, you know, older players. As, yeah. As, 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 as backup, as, uh, his experience is coming from youth team, but I think there's no doubt now uh, the, the quality, and he's obviously getting the best out of these young players. He certainly is. A a lot of people were saying, you know, um, at the start of the season, especially when Blackpool got off to, you know, a bit of a bad start that, you know, was he ready for this, you know, football? You know, he's only coached kids and it's a different world. But uh, Phil will probably confirm this um, as well, that we brought in Colin Calderwood um, after about, I think it was 10 games or so, and he seemed to sort things out. Do you think, Phil, on that, do you think Colin Calderwood was the... The, I think you, you, yeah. line, the more experienced manager at this level and I thought it was a good appointment by Critch to bring him in as his second he, he seems to have took on the defensive side of it and we've certainly got a lot stronger and if you're if you're not conceding you've all, you're always in the game aren't you with with yeah. our with our strikers I always fancy us to get a goal yeah, yeah. He's, he knows his players well as well Colin Calder they try to sign me when mm. he's a manager at Nottingham Forest <laughs> Yeah, it was quality when he sees it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Many many moons ago. Um, yeah, he's a ex Scotland international Colin Calderwood. Yeah, um, I think he was at uh, Nottingham Forest for a number of years. I think he was at, uh, was at Newcastle as a assistant manager a good few years ago as well. So he's had yeah. experience yeah. across the whole probably four leagues in England. 
Yeah, he's a bit more of a sort of scary guy than than Critch as well. You know, Critch is, you know, you can't really see Critch like giving him the hairdryer treatment in the dressing room. He's, he's so nice. But I think Colin Caldwell's got a bit more steel about him. But, you know, tonight, Keen, I'm going to ask you that, you know, Blackpool defence for me tonight, I thought that was an amazing performance. But, you know, we, we really limited them to very little. And, you know, they did have, you know, quite a few, you know, they were coming at us a bit, but they never really looked like scoring or threatening, did they, Doncaster? Yeah, I think I think they're a bit powder puff. Um, they were good at times. They looked a bit, they look a bit kind of for kamikaze. But it's, I've been there myself at this point in the season, kind of in mid table, nothing mm. to play for. I mean, it is hard to get up for the game, and when another team is keeping the ball like Blackpool, um, it is it is difficult to make inroads. So it's kind of for the result, I was expecting in the end. To be honest, um, a few a few hairy moments throughout, but I think overall it was well deserved. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, just go through a few comments here for us. Uh, Ryan Clue was saying you need to finish third for the home tie in the second leg or fourth. Third or fourth. It doesn't matter. You both get home tie, don't you? Both of those teams play the, you know, the fifth and sixth. So, you know, whichever way it goes, we would, third would play sixth, fourth would play fifth. But the third and fourth team always have the home tie. So I think we're going to get a home tie. And I, I honestly can't see. I can't see us losing to Bristol Rovers. If, I, if we play like that against Donny, I can't see us, you know, cocking it up really on Sunday now and the pressure's off as well for the team you know they, they are in the playoffs so you know that's it it's confirmed they don't they don't need a point on Sunday they're there so there'll be a lot of pressure off and I think we'll actually murder um, Bristol Rovers who are already relegated uh, Michael uh, Stuart Hakes says playing the right system 5-3-2-1 is a system that we play well in for sure would you agree with that you've seen more of it Phil 5-3-2-1 do you think this this, this system's starting to suit us did we play that tonight? Well, say? earlier in the season, we, you know, with all we had, we had a glut of centre halves, and we were saying, let's play three at the back, you know, you know, with wing backs, uh, and he never did it. And then over the last few weeks, we've just uh, brought it in, and it's like we've been playing it all along. You know, the players have really bedded in well to it, and it suits the players we've got. It suited us. You know, it's really allowed, good. Yeah, it, you know, when when you got Gabriel and Garbert bombing on down the wings. Uh, mm. uh, with three centre arse behind him, we we look really comfortable. In fact, Gabriel looked very dangerous, didn't he? A, a lot mm. of times in that, especially in the first half, it was a shame he just got injured. I don't know what happened because he seemed to go. Unfortunately, he went down with nothing happening. And I hate that, you know, mm. as a as a fan. You you know, you see a player go down and he's not actually gone down with any tackle. It's always a bad one, isn't it? It's always something. So I'm just hoping that he's yeah, a, like a hamstring or something like that. I don't know, maybe twisted his ankle or something. Did you yeah. did you see what it was, Phil? Could you tell what happened? Because he just went I down, didn't he? There seemed to be uh, quite a few slipping, uh, you know, because the pitch was, you know, it was lashing down. Uh, and yeah. I think quite a few players slip. Maybe he's just uh, overstretched, slipping, you know. And, right. uh, who knows? I didn't didn't see what happened. Uh, no. But it's that kind of injury, isn't it? That you it get. is, the worrying one. Uh, Mike Peake says, Charlton play Hull on Sunday and Oxford play Burton. So I reckon Portsmouth, who play Aki, will be in the playoffs. And that's who we are. I think Aki's a tough one, to be honest. Uh, you know, Aki are no, not easy, are they? Um, you know, they're a hard team to beat. We, we've struggled against them, haven't we, to beat them. Um, Hull will be hard for Charlton unless Hull uh, have all the kids out or something. You don't know what team Hull are going to put out because they're already promoted, aren't they? So... I think when you're a mm. team like that, they, they want to finish the season high, though, you know, although they are already mm. probably half them on the beach with their mindset, but they will have that winning mentality. So, you know, they certainly be a hard tie. But uh, Charo, I think they're the ones you want to avoid, to be honest, because they're arguably the yeah. informed team out of all, you know, five or six teams potentially going in the playoffs. I've noticed that in a few of the comments as well. That's a team maybe you do want to... They're, they're coming with a really late run, you know, Maybe yeah. two weeks ago, didn't think they were going to be in it, you know, out, out really mm. outside chance. And now they're getting hungrier for it. I think, but we've got a chance here. We've got nothing to lose. Absolutely. You know? And of, of course, they've got a new manager in Nigel Atkins. And uh, we all know yeah. about him, don't we? He's a decent manager, Nigel Atkins. And um, yeah. yeah. uh, Scunfort, wasn't it? Scunfort. Yeah, that's right. One. Yeah. Although yeah. He can never beat Blackpool, though, can he? That's no, that's team. it. We we always uh, we, our teams always beat his, so uh, there is that in our favour. But uh, I think mm -hmm. he's actually mentioned that in uh, in some post match comments. So uh, fingers crossed that that hoodoo continues. If it is, can't. Yeah. yeah, we beat them. We beat them home and away that season when they won. Member Billy Sharp scored about thirty three. We beat them uh, yeah. three one at uh, Glanford Park, and we beat yeah. them like, at home as well. 
they yeah. were a team. They were a team you took a lot of confidence out of beating because they were they were beating everybody and we they couldn't really get one over on us. No, I remember <laughs> that. Yeah, great. I've got a Liverpool great. fan here, Daniel Harrison, and I, I'll ask this to Keegan then. So, uh, a Liverpool fan here, glad to see you and Critch are doing well. How's the football to watch? Uh, Critch played attractive football in the youth teams at Liverpool. So, I'll ask this to you, Keegan, first of all, because it's probably the first time you have properly watched a Blackpool match this season, isn't you? Had it on I follow. Um, Answer the question for Daniel. Or is, is Critch playing attractive football? Yeah, definitely. De- definitely. He's playing very good percentage football. Like I say, they don't, they're don't. they not playing football. You can tell they've been well t- drilled on how to play, you know. Um, they look really worthy winning a game, maybe 1 or 2-1, you know. I don't see them getting ripped apart at the back, you know. Um it's almost like a, a a really good you know up and coming youth team they're playing like but obviously their their players are beyond that they've got some really good young talent like I say I was impressed with a few of them tonight especially the big striker up front and it looks like a, it could be a real handful uh, it might it, that may be what he just needs you know at the right time I know he's only got maybe seven or eight goals but to go into the playoffs with a, with a couple of goals that might take him on to the next level you know yeah yeah um. Eugene McGeever is asking us what are our Blackpool player ratings. We, we are going to go through those, Eugene, uh, first, but we're just going to go through a few comments before we start on our player ratings. Um, Giles Morgan said we could do with Medina, and I know the comments keep coming off your face, don't they? Phil? Yeah. So it's just it's just where you are on the screen. So uh, No loss. <laughs> uh, Giles Morgan said we could do with Medina, Kai Kai, Grant Ward back for the playoff, and, and, and Emerton can now... Uh, Okay. And Embleton as well. I don't know if we can keep Embleton. It all depends on Sunderland, doesn't it? Whether they're going to let us keep him. So we may have to do this without Embleton. And he looked really good tonight. I thought Embleton. And we'll, we'll, we'll touch on the players later. Um, it would look like he's. It says it, it looks like it's Portsmouth at home, and we can beat them. We well, we could beat Portsmouth, couldn't we? I would fancy them more than Charlton. I think we've just you know we've just said that Charlton are the ones, the worry, aren't they? They're the worry team. <laughs> Yeah. Everybody will be worrying about us, though, you know, because oh, yeah. going back to that previous record, they're about the top seven, you know, with that kind of form, people have got to be worried about that. Mm. Sky Sports weren't, though, because Jane was on Sky, Sky Sports and uh, they asked her to give them, you know, they asked her to, like, record yeah. something for them. And, she, you know, she said, basically, you no, know, nobody's looking at Blackpool. You should be, you know ignores at our pet you know at your peril because you know you know we're a good team and uh and they had a Sunderland guy in in the uh actually live there with him and and, and when they finished playing her clip they, they they started laughing they started laughing about it and she was really quite offended that they, they, they laughed because you know they weren't taken seriously but uh let's hope they are laughing the other way around at the end of the season when uh, when we <laughs> stuff them it would be quite good <laughs> Uh, a few people saying, should we play kids on Sunday? I don't think we should. I don't think we should. We've got ourselves into third, and I think we should try and cement it there for me. I think we should try and cement third if we can. Well, you Do want you to think- go into playoff some with momentum, you know, as, as Keegan knows, you know, perfect 10. You know, it, it was that momentum that just rolled right through into the final, didn't it? You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. without a doubt. Maybe change a couple, you know, but I, I would, mm. uh, you need the nucleus of that team in it, and it, it's going to be a massive confidence uh, thing if they can go and, you know, take two or three or four off the uh, Bristol Rovers, uh, have a mm. week or so break, and then they'll be, uh, you know, um, energized, right. ready for the, the potentially three massive games. Mm. Yeah, he kind of. Uh, I'll just take you back, Phil. Actually, to the start, you know, to pre-season, and we, you know, you you, yeah. you remember, we, you know, we played Liverpool away, and at half time, I mean, we, you know, we were two 0 up at, at Liverpool with our main guys in. They they got a very late equaliser, didn't they, in the, the end of the first half, and then the second half, Critch changed about seven or eight players, didn't he, and brought a yeah. whole new team of kids out, and we got beat seven two, and we never seemed to really recover. From no. that defeat, it, it kind of knocked us back, and I don't think it was a good thing to do. Uh, and I wouldn't want him to bring a lot of kids on against Bristol Rovers and get beat. And you know, it can just knock the confidence, even though it's not the team, because yeah. people are saying, "Oh, Liverpool won seven two, but they didn't really. They scored five goals against a bunch of kids, and they had bloody world class mm-hmm. players on, didn't they? In that second <laughs> half, you know, what I mean, they had no chance. So I, I agree. I just don't think kids is the way forward on Saturday. I think we should be going there to, you know, we've got third. Let's keep it because it's the first time we've been in third all season. We've been nowhere near that, have we? 
All that, and the other reason, of course, is all my pre-season bets pay out on the top three, so uh, stick third. Oh, <laughs> right. Okay, I'll, I'll yeah. get a payout at quarter odds. <laughs> right. Okay. Well, there well, they are. Another reason why we don't want kids playing. Exactly. Um, let's have a look at any more. There's, there's quite a few comments. Uh, oh, Daniel Harrison has just actually remembered that uh, Keegan Parker was a wonder kid in, in Championship Manager on 102. <laughs> <laughs> so you, you were a good one to sign on Championship Manager. Did you know that? Yeah, Keegan. a few people have mentioned that to me. He used to buy me for um, like 50 grand or something. I used to go up to about 20 million. <laughs> <laughs> good wow. Day, champion Manager. I used to take you about four weeks to do a season on it, though. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. It was, uh, but anyway, sign Keegan Parker and... Brilliant. Ryan Noon says to be third in the league after losing six of the first nine games is an incredible achievement. Mm -hmm. I, I think we'll all agree on that, Ryan. I, I would say, would would you say that was an incredible achievement? Where we were after those first nine games, something like second off the bottom, weren't we? After the first nine, if I remember rightly, we were right was, down there. Yeah, there was definite talks of uh, is is Critchley the right man, you know, and um, you know the speculation on that front, and uh, goes to show, got to stick. Stick with them. Bit of stability. Perseverance is a big word. Yeah, trust, yeah, trust absolutely. Perseverance is showed in them, and uh, obviously that's paid off. And hopefully, you know, in the next coming weeks, it can pay off uh, fully with getting the the win in these uh, mm. big three games. Absolutely. I don't know about you, Phil, but I felt a little bit justified tonight because because uh, Keegan won't know, but we went to our, uh, we went to Donny uh, and we were winning mm. two 0 at half time, and we played him off the park. Remember Kai Kai going through on that breakaway goal? We were just mm. all over Doncaster, and it was just it was one way traffic. And then we came out second half, and I don't know they got a dodgy penalty in the first couple of minutes that I didn't think was, and then he he let something else go, and 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 then before we know it, we're three two down, and then in. In injury time, there was a definite penalty for Blackpool, a clear handball in the box, nobody around him, and the referee don't give it, we end up losing. And uh, I, I still, it still irks me. It's, it's annoyed me that game for ages, so I, I really wanted to beat Doncaster today to put that to bed. So I don't know about you, Phil, do you, do you have the same yeah. feelings as me? Or? Well, especially especially uh, living in Yorkshire. Yeah, uh, beating, a, beating a Yorkshire club is always uh, that bit sweeter. Yeah, good result for us tonight. Uh, let's have a look. Uh, Peter Donnelly says, Adkins was a physio, uh, which prompted the chant, yeah. who needs Mourinho? We have our physio at Scunthorpe. So was, I didn't know Adkins was a physio. Yeah, so, he, he, I think they sacked the manager and he he took over just at the end of the season and then uh, ended up getting the job full time. Wow. Yeah. Unbelievable stuff to come from a physio to a manager. That doesn't happen very often, does it? A physio. Yeah. To, and he's, know, like he's managed in the Premier League a good few clubs as well, hasn't he? Yeah, yeah, yeah I think exactly. It was South yeah. Southampton in the Premier League and maybe Hull. So yeah, Hull in the Championship anyway. Yeah. A few people, a few people saying in the chat, and, and I agree. If it had just got off to a half decent start at the start of the season, it could have been, it, it could well have been automatic this season. Couldn't it? It's not the Blackpool way, though, is it? Automatic. <laughs> I can't remember the last time we actually here uh, did an automatic. It would have to go back to uh, 84. Amar O'Keefe. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, there you go. Darlington. I was there with my dad. I yeah. It well, uh, anybody heard any rumours about home fans allowed in the playoffs? I, 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 not for the playoffs, but for the playoff final. But there is there is a few murmurings that, that they may well mm. let some fans back in for the playoffs. So that would be really good, wouldn't it? I think they're talking about quarter capacity, you know, after the way uh, the Crucible went last night, and that's indoors, obviously. So, uh, you know, quarter you capacity would be, be 4,000, wouldn't it? So, you yeah. could do that yeah. easily at social distance. Even if I had, like, yeah. even if I felt like a thousand away fans in on that big stand mm. at the far end, they could do that easily. Yeah. You know, and even like 2,000 uh, or 1,000 Blackpool in each stand, they could do that mm -hmm. social distancing yeah. at two metres we apart. We actually had two thousand in for a trial game. We had two thousand fans in for a trial game, and it, it, it worked fine. There was tons of room. You know, there's sixteen thousand yeah. it all, so two thousand. You know, there was people had like blocks to themselves. Really, it was. Yeah, you know, makes know. makes a difference though, doesn't it? You know, uh, yeah, just that just atmosphere wise, and uh, just uh, I, th I I felt the the players just uh, reacted to it well. You know, uh, with with that bit of encouragement, you know, it makes a difference. Because yeah. uh, Keegan won't know, but 
they restricted season tickets to 4,000 just in case, you know, when, when they went on sale. So that would be the amount of people they'd let in, I think, because that would be quarter capacity. So we'll see. So. Mike Peake says we don't want Oxford. We don't want Oxford. They're doing fantastic. But they looked very poor, didn't they, when we played Oxford? They didn't look a team to, to it's fear, not that did long they? ago, was it? No. Oh, they, they Watford still, have, has Oxford still got a chance to get into the playoffs? Yeah, yeah they have. Uh, let's just have a quick look think, at the table. I think they're a couple of points outside. They, they're relying on other teams losing, basically, as our really child. Yeah. Really, not just been talking about them, yeah. Yeah. Well, the way it stands at the moment, Blackpool uh, a third with uh, 77 points, Sunderland a, a fourth with 76, and Lincoln a fifth with 76. So they're just, you know, both the same. Then you go down then to Portsmouth in six, who've got 72. And then behind them, you've got Oxford and Charlton, the only ones that can catch them, and they're both on 71 points. So there's just one point between yeah. the, those three teams. And so Oxford Lincoln, have a better goal difference than Portsmouth as well. So it, who, who, know, did, who did Oxford play in the last day, do you know? Uh, Oxford have got a Burton Albion, they play, Oxford. The, the last game is at home to Burton, who have been the form team, haven't they, Phil, really? They've been a, yeah, Burton, a, a, Burton have been flying since... Um, uh, uh, since Jimmy Floyd went in, yeah, yeah. So that's not see, see. that's not easy. Portsmouth. I would rather got... keep Portsmouth in there because the reason being, sometimes I feel these bigger clubs get let down with uh, in the playoffs because of the pressure they carry. You know, I.e. Portsmouth yeah. are probably uh, you know fancied and within the club thought they would be got looking to do automatic. So yeah. you know, they look, if, if you can keep them in, I'd probably keep them in a steady Oxford because Oxford again they'll have even less to lose than the likes of. Uh, Blackpool or Charlton because of probably didn't think you had a chance two weeks ago. Yeah, yeah. The the other thing about Portsmouth as well is they're all. I think they're the second worst playoff team in the country behind our favourite team. <laughs> <laughs> behind Preston, Preston, yeah. Preston, Preston, Preston North yeah. End, who have the worst <laughs> playoff record in the country. But I think Portsmouth have have the second worst playoff record behind behind them. So, um, and so, Blackpool um, must have one of the best. The best, absolutely. The, the best, best Keegan. Yeah. We, we, we the have best, the best record in the playoffs. Cool. Yeah, the most wins in the playoffs. You know, of course, we won again, didn't we? You know, even with the Oysters and no fans going, we won in the playoffs. So, now we got back out of League Two in a playoff final. Uh, and Charlton uh, go to Hull, so they're away cool. at Hull. Yeah, Charlton playing Hull. Oh no, yeah, Hull, so. home to Hull. They're at home to Hull. Home to Hull, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, but the thing is, the hard work's done in terms of getting in there. It's just a case of letting them sort that out, and then you know everything yeah. else will take care of itself. Yeah, absolutely. We we would have had the easiest game out of all. You know, you know, if we were fighting to be in it, we'd have been looking at yeah. that saying, "Well, we've only got Bristol Rovers at home. You know, the bottom of the league, and they've been relegated for weeks." Joey Barton never does very well against Blackpool, does he? Can't beat us. So it, it was a game. I would think that we would. Uh, we would. Um, We'll go right. So let's have a look. There's a few last comments. Um, but see, they'll have players. They'll have players get having been told that they're not going to be there, etc. Especially in a club that's been relegated. So you probably find that they're playing players who a aren't going to be there. No, they're not going to be there. Uh, and a mix of the young boys, you know. So yeah, because hmm. he has said he wants a big, big clear out. You know, there's a load of players have to go. He, he don't rate any of them. More, he, oh, yeah. he more or less said in the post match interviews of the day. So. Yeah, yeah. Mark Porter is ask, is saying, ask Keegan, do players get much sleep before a major playoff game? Do you get much sleep, or are you all just on your nerves and you're not sleeping you're very just, well? You're just right, riding on adrenaline. To be honest with you, I mean, at the, the, the two weeks in the build up to Wembley was just like a you know, it's like a roller coaster, really. Just uh, the emotions, you know. Obviously, going on, you know, it's going to be the biggest game of your life, and the pressure, and just getting out there and playing, it's like a release, you know, it's like a real weight off your your shoulders, especially when you get the win. Uh, you can yeah. really look forward to that jump up to the the championship, which is arguably one of the you know toughest leagues in uh, in Europe. Yeah, I've just seen uh, Freddie Abrams' message, and he's, he's wanting to come in for a few minutes. I think to speak to you, Keegan, because um, for those people that don't know, um, Freddie's not 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 been on the stream for uh, for a few weeks because he was getting a bit of like bullying on on social media, and it, it wasn't very nice. And he's done a video mm -hmm. explaining things, and people. Uh, but anyway, he, um, Freddie. 
was responsible really for getting in touch with you, wasn't he, Keegan? He was the one that had contacted you to get you on the on the show. So we have a lot to thank Freddie for. So Freddie, if you're watching, I've sent you a link uh, through to your uh, message messenger. So if Brilliant. you get that, you, you can yeah. come in. Um, Freddie is, you know, mad, mad Blackpool. It's been a shame, really. I I, I don't like, you, you know, there's. A, and there's a lot of this issue at the moment. You know, obviously there's been a big blanket ban on social media by all the football clubs because the sick of people just being able to have a pop at people on social media, especially the players. And it's not just players, you know, that get abuse on social media. It's also, you know, normal people as well. And it's just not nice. It's not something that I, I agree with. I don't know what you think about that, but I just think it's it's wrong that people start having a go yeah, at people and posting just... things. It's just cowards hiding behind their uh, their keyboards, you know, with nothing better to do. Mm. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Mike Pick said, Oxford have won... Have they won all of the last six games then at Oxford? They must have done, mustn't they, to get themselves into this position? Five, five of the last six, I think. Oh, five yeah, did, of the last yeah. six, which is, which is you know, pretty good form, isn't it? Um, yeah. yeah, five of the last six, Mike, Mike Pete's saying. Yeah, that, that's pretty good. It, it is scary. And, uh, I think they yeah. call that rider on the crest of a wave form. <laughs> it is, yeah. It's a bit the sort of the form that Blackpool, you know, Blackpool mm -hmm. come into the playoffs at, at, at. So, you know, maybe that's the one we just don't want them to sneak in at the end, do we? Well, really? Come on, Portsmouth. <laughs> Mm. <laughs> uh, we, we should be beating anybody, and uh, you know, Fortunately, not we should, should be, be yeah. beating Acton at home, shouldn't they? Really, but I think they've got a really bad uh, home record this year, haven't they? Uh, Portsmouth, yeah. they're, yeah. they're more consistent away from home. Yeah, absolutely. So, right, just see if we can get Freddie in. I, I have sent him the link through. I don't know if he's got it, but I've sent him the link through. Well, while um, you're doing that, I should have pointed out this this picture here. Yes. Is Keegan and my daughter in outside Ventspils Stadium when we went over to uh, to Latvia for the uh, for the pre season in two thousand and seven? Oh. That's uh, oh. over in Latvia. That's a, oh. there's a that's uh, that's that's my that's my daughter. Vent, I, hope you're, uh, Vent. I hope you're staying in a better hotel than us. <laughs> <laughs> it was all right. Was, we were in a, a yeah. best Western type place. Yeah, we we in a bit of a ropey hotel then. Yeah. Right. Well, I will. The, the toilet was like uh, one meter by two meters. It was uh, a little bit tight. <laughs> <laughs> Who did you normally room with when you were uh, on tour, sort of thing? Uh, I, had a, I was a bit a notorious uh, room jumper because I was quite hyperactive and people didn't really like uh, rooming with me. So <laughs> I had numerous uh, roomies. <laughs> but, um, yeah, but I was in there uh, with Mark. Uh, was in with Marcus. Been a few times and. Uh, I think I was in my uh, I was in my the got young goalkeeper uh, Lewis Edge a few times. Lewis, yeah. yeah, yeah. I didn't have a roomie as such. Stuff. No. Right. Can't believe you're hyperactive. Uh, I think <laughs> you told us about that when you're in your when you digs were you trained up and down stairs and stuff in the middle of the night. Yeah, the woman. Uh, have you always been woman, like that? <laughs> I got a free transfer before I was even on the, on the team. <laughs> no, I was just a bit hyper when I was younger, but. Not, not to worry. Freddie has just arrived, so we'll, we'll bring Freddie in. Let me just sort in. Here we go. Let's let's add him into the stream. Is he ready? Yes, let's bring him in. Hello, Freddie. Hey. <laughs> e -I -E -I -E -I -O. <laughs> Up the football league we go. <laughs> Hi, lads. How are you doing? I'm glad to see you feeling a lot happier, right? Freddie. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I, how you doing, lads? You okay? Yeah, we're feeling great. Uh, I, I was just to explain to people that it was you that actually, you know, got in touch with Keegan Parker and got him in uh, for an interview. Yeah, and of yeah it's good luck, involved. Keegan. It's a, it's nice to finally see Keegan on side. <laughs> <laughs> I heard that, I heard someone cut off there about I've got him now. Though. I'm guessing he said someone about offside. <laughs> yeah, no, exactly. no, I didn't say that. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fantastic results tonight! What a what a win! Well, Playoffs what's your... and you. Go on. Go on. I was going to say, what's your thoughts on the game? Is that, today? Is that a bad line? I thought uh, I thought we were fantastic. I think uh, you know the, the two losses um, gave us a bit of reality. Uh, you know, we've uh, we've picked up our games the last few games. Um, we look confident. Ellie Simpson, tonight, absolutely fantastic. Uh, another another clean sheet, three clean sheets in a row. Bring on the bloody playoffs! 
Bring him on. <laughs> well, we're in him now. We can all we can all celebrate now. Uh, we were saying that we're going to start our stream probably about eleven o'clock. We're going to have an hour early, so sort of a party before you know because because we are in the playoffs and you know there's no pressure on on the game, isn't there? Uh, Tony Tangerine says it's good to see Freddie back. Up hey. the mighty pool, onwards and upwards. So there you are. You missed by many out there. I miss, so you, I miss just... you guys. Honestly, I miss you guys like so much. But uh, yeah, it's good to be back. And obviously, I'm back. I'm back working now. Uh, manager at Weatherspoons, and just good to be back and see you guys. I missed you all. Brilliant. Well, right. well he's back anyway. Wait. So you're back in Wait. time because manager at Weatherspoons. I'm down in Blackpool in two weeks. I'll be coming in for a fish supper. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, we got to take you out. It's late owes you a chippy tea, you're not Yes, late. no, we offer you, we, we do owe you a chippy tea, so definitely let us know when you're coming up and we'll arrange it. You know, if we can get oh, in. Oh, definitely. Where, where Jane will insist you have gravy on it. Oh, curry sauce and a fish supper. Oh, oh, oh God. Yeah. Well, you like, uh, you're like battered, battered Mars bars, aren't you, Keegan? No, I, I'm not, I've am never tried that, but I'm a haggis, haggis, man. I've battered oh, all right. haggis, yeah, with pickles. Nice. Yeah. Ooh. Deep-fried pizza's big up here as well. Deep-fried pizza? That's a new one. Yeah, pizza, they just put it. It's not like the real pizza like you would make. It's like, the, you know, like frozen pizza. They just put it oh, in the yeah, deep yeah. fryer, and it's like basically a pizza covered in fat. It's about 2.2 million calories. Eh? <laughs> that sounds fantastic. <laughs> nice. Nice. Yeah, well, Let's Walk and Talk's up here, here. Freddie Lad, you might know who Let's Walk and Talk is. Uh, Brian Thomas is saying, Freddie, you need to meet Yusal. <laughs> Yusal. He's from Turkey and he's male. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Okay. He's always coming in the chat. <laughs> no, sorry. Don't think you will. Oh, uh, Peter Donnelly says, look at look at the Blackpool FC Twitter. There's a group of fans outside the West. Well done, lads. Oh. Wow. So there, there was fans down there. There is talk of loads of fans going down for the last game of the season, but, you know, people have been asking me, but I can't do the live stream and be outside the ground. So, you know, they can't, I, I can't do yeah. both. So. Uh, right, we, we, we're going to go through the team. So now you've arrived, Freddie, we can go through the team. So out of 10 tonight, number one, Chris Maxwell. Out of 10, we'll start with Keegan Parker as your, as your debut. What do you give Chris Maxey, the goalie, out of 10 tonight? I'll give him, a, I'll give him an eight and a half just for that one save. Apart from that, it was pretty quiet. But I mean, that was a big point in the game. You know, if they scored that, it's 1-1 one, one, and it's a bit of maybe squeaky bump time. But um, that save was pretty <laughs> fantastic. Yeah, yeah. An, eight, an eight and a half. Eight and a half. Freddie, go on. A million. <laughs> <laughs> a million out of ten. <laughs> it's not going to be for every player tonight, Freddie. Just yeah, million, 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 million. No, uh, <laughs> it's all seriousness. So I give him, yeah, I'd probably go with Keegan, 8.5. Uh, he just looks solid, doesn't he? He, do, he just, he's such a fantastic goalkeeper. I, I remember, I remember, um, I remember actually when he when he first came to Blackpool, and obviously he had the pressing connections, but people slagging him off, and I was like, "No, we've, we've got a fantastic goalkeeper there." And I tell you what, I told you, I told you so. Yeah. <laughs> Keegan James in the in the, in the in the chat says, "My dad named me after Keegan Parker. He was his favourite player." So they are Keegan James is named after you, Keegan. So that's uh, good. Uh, Phil well, gets- Maxwell. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, him. yeah, he was he was a solid. Uh, eight, yeah, couple of crucial saves at, at key times, wasn't it? I was going to say uh, there was a couple, wasn't yeah. there? It wasn't just one. There was there's another no. one clawed out from the. I don't know how he got to it actually. One going right yeah. in the top corner, wasn't it? It was amazing. Yeah, he made a couple of really good saves, but uh, not. You know, their goalkeeper made even more. But uh, yeah, he made some he made some cracking saves tonight, Maxwell. So yeah. I, I'd, um, I'd agree. I'd agree with that eight and a half. Yeah, I think that's unanimous. I think the thing about Maxwell as well, I don't know if you all notice it, but I notice it all the time, but he's, he, his placement, where he is, mm. he's always in the right place, isn't he? There was just yeah. that one thing in the first half where, what, did he pick that up outside the area? The referee was right on it. Oh, wow. it, it yeah, Linesman was, was level with it. He, he was he right on the of... edge on it. He was so close. I thought he's bloody handled outside the box here, but anyway, he didn't. Yeah. So that, that was, I mean... I suppose we should give him an extra point for actually not not handling it outside the box because it was so close, yeah. wasn't it, at the time? But yeah, uh, yeah no, he's a great keeper. And uh, somebody actually mentioned in in, in the chat that uh, if we do have a penalty shootout, we're, we're going to win it because because nobody can get a, a penalty past him. Can in the penalty shootouts? He's unbelievable. So it just shows, doesn't it, how many how many clean sheets have had? You know, it's oh, it's not just Maxwell defence as well. Just absolutely fantastic at the back. Brilliant. Yeah. Uh, well, I think I think he gives that defence the 
the confidence to to hold the line that they do do, which which means we defend well, but because of the confidence he's given them behind him. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Well, um, Keegan, would you fancy your chances against Ballard at the backboard? For for us. Yeah, if you had to play against Ballard, what, what do you what do you think? Do you think it'd be a, a diff- what do you think it'd be tough? Yeah, I think, to be honest, in my prime, playing at the top of my game, but I fancy myself against any. But they playing at the back for Blackpool and that or Doncaster team, but they look like a touch now. Ella, they're looking really organised at the back, you know. So yeah, I think you touched on it as well. They've got three clean sheets in a row. That's that's really good thing to go into the playoffs mentally because you know that you've got you know. A stubbornness behind you, and at the same time, you've got goals up there. I mean, they scored two yeah. tonight, and arguably, they're one of their worst players was their top striker, who hopefully will come good, and that'll really well give them another, you mm. know, edge. In these yeah, big brilliant. Games. Yeah. Just looking at this quickly for Mark Chamberlain, it's, it's it's not far off, is it? The League One semi-final, first leg is May the 18th and 19th. The semi-final second leg is May the 21st and the 22nd, and the final is May the 30th. Yeah. So it's, it's all coming this month, isn't it? It's like it's not far away, is it, when you look at... The look semi-finals at are literally two weeks today and yesterday. It's, it falls on the Monday, Tuesday in two weeks. Right, <clears throat> blimey. Uh, Terminal Tangerine says, it's good to see Freddie back up the mighty pool. Hey. Uh, Mark Chamber says, it gives us an opportunity to be back in bloom, as it would be fantastic if we yeah. could get back in. And I'm a season ticket holder, so I, would, I better get back in if it, if it is. You and me both. We bought, we bought yeah. four season tickets this season. I had to buy four because we were convinced we'd be back in before Christmas. And Jane was like, oh, if you don't get them, you won't be able to get in because we're only like 4,000. And you know, they're only doing 4,000 season tickets. So she... She, she, you know, she talks into getting four. Right. What, uh, what I want to say about Maxwell, lads, well, is I, I, I just I can't get my head around how he has not got in the team of the season. No. How the hell it. has Chris Maxwell not got in the team of the season this season? I, I just we don't. Did, I don't get it. We didn't have any players in the League One team of the year, did we? So, no. Uh, anyway, they put, uh, yeah, they even... put, didn't they put the lad from uh, was it Hull? Yeah, so it was, uh, I'm sure it was all, but nah, Maxwell, he's, he's got all that, he's got what, 21 clean sheets now. Yeah. Well, that kind of tells you a lot, doesn't it? That, that they really have not feared Blackpool, have they? We've, we've been a dark horse for so long that they've never really paid much attention to us. Now, now we're third in the league. It's quite, I think it's hilarious. You know, yeah. I, I've been on loads of forums and they're talking about, you know, who do you think is going to be in the top six and never, ever any mention of Blackpool being in the top six. No. Never. It's just a black pull way, though. No. It? It's the black pull way. Even it's... even uh, the team when we, the, the time we went up when Keegan played, we we were dark horses. We, we never got mentioned. We, you know, we, nobody fancied us, and it's just it's just the black pull way. Yeah. Somebody's saying just do the live stream outside the ground. I, it would be it'd be very hard to do it with signals and stuff. It would be yeah, if if I could get a Wi-Fi connection, get my laptop out there and everything. But I'd have to do it on my phone, and it just be, it'd, be, it'd be chaos. Couldn't do it, you know, sound wise. It, it'd just be horrendous. It's not that easy, honestly. Like live streaming, you need to have it all set up and be right. It's, it's, it's difficult. I mean, you could just be outside with a phone and tweet every now and again, but that's not, not really what, what, what we're all about, anyway. Um, Jordan Gabriel, um, obviously went off at half time. Um, I thought he was a, a real danger tonight. There was a couple of times where he took the ball on and he was just going at the money down that right wing. And uh, I, I thought it was sad, whatever. I, I don't know what the injury is. I hope it's nothing serious. I, I, I'm going to give him a solid eight tonight. Um, we'll go with Phil. Jordan Gabriel. Yeah, I'd agree. Uh, he was he was really back to his best, really. Uh, getting forward, supporting the attack, putting some decent balls in. Uh, yeah. Long throws. Uh, yeah, it was. It's, it, it's all on the front foot, you know. Uh, didn't really have to de- defend because the way we were playing, but uh, he was doing all you'd expect of him. <laughs> Seven. <laughs> 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 Thank you, Len. I just want to 
Seven. Seven. So is that a seven from Keegan Parker? Then for sure. Yeah, it game? was. Yeah, <laughs> Freddie, are you, are you, what's your? Yeah, I've, I've said time and time again this season, lads. Uh, Jordan Gabriel is is a fantastic football player. You know, he's developed so much since he, he came at the beginning of the season. Uh, I, I think we we are blessed to have two fantastic right backs at Blackpool, and you know, if we get promoted, then we should definitely make. Um, you know, we should definitely be going for Jordan Gabriel and um, to make him a permanent, absolutely fantastic player. Who's your loan from? Forest. Uh, Forest. Nottingham Forest. The mm. problem you've got is with clubs like that who aren't been doing very great, you know, i.e. just avoided relegation ourselves, they'll probably want to yeah. keep a hold of players like that rather than sell them to, you know, a club mm. coming up. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, potentially. Yeah. Yeah. Obviously, if we do get promoted, there is a lot of chances of, you know, Jordan Gabriel, you know, may may consider it if we're in the championship but if we're back down league one he's got a chance to go back to forest in championship i don't you know maybe a chance for another season long loan but i i i, I would imagine if yeah, we don't get up, we're, we're getting double promotion we're going to the premier league forest are going down so come on come inside <laughs> for us jordan if you're watching this mate <laughs> uh okay so jordan thornley who is not your favorite player Freddie. so I'll, I'll start with you i, I think to be honest I, I think he's been brilliant and since he's come back into the team i i can't fault him and i thought he had a great game today didn't do anything yeah. for me at all so Go on, Freddie. Yeah, there's, there's, there's times, guys, where I, I thought Thornley was... I, I just don't have the words to explain. But um, I think last couple of games, he's, he's doing really, really well. It's nice that he's, Critch, he's got a confidence in him now as well. And you can you can see that he's got a bit of confidence in his game. I thought he did really well tonight. Uh, and then he, he got moved over to the left back, didn't he? Um, when Ek Pateta came on. I thought he had a great game. I'm going to give him an eight. Yeah, Phil. Yeah, he's he's a, a transformed player, hasn't it? You know, in January he was told you can find another club, basically, wasn't he? Mm. Uh, uh, to be still here and putting in that kind of performance, um, he's he's been he's been reliable. He's he's a consistent seven eight every week, isn't he? And um, yeah, I'd, I'd give him an eight. Keegan, Jordan Thornley, did you notice him tonight, or was it just you know one you probably yeah, he didn't stand out? He didn't do a th- yeah, I didn't notice many. I just noticed the calmness at Blackpool, but I don't think he got tested enough, you know, to be honest, mm-hmm. to be, you know, merit an eight and a half or anything like that. But certainly, I'd say it was a good solid seven and a half. Um, yeah. There was definitely a assuredness at the back for Blackpool, um, yeah. um, which will stand them in good stead going into these next games. Yeah. I think I'm with you. He just he didn't do anything wrong. It was solid and steady. You know, you, I can't think of any you know any moment where I was worried about Jordan Thornley. So I'm, I'm going to go as well. Steady seven and a half there with Keegan. I, I, I kind of agree with you on that one. Uh, Peter Donnelly has just put in that the Sunderland keeper got in over Maxwell. The Sunderland, I can't believe that. That goal he let in at Blackpool where it kind of went under. You know, it's just yeah. I don't know. I don't know. What's the, what's the fig, what's the figures there? Uh, how many goals has Sunderland let in in the league? Have you got that to hand against Blackpools? Uh, 102. <laughs> there's not many teams have let. Well, I don't think anybody's let in less than us in in our division, have they? Uh, Let's have a quick uh, glance. But if they've let in like 12, 13 goals more than Blackpool, and he's got a goalkeeper this season, they must be getting peppered and putting about five over the bar in the game. Yeah, I think Sunderland oh. are paying for him to be in the team of the season. I don't, yeah. I, don't, I just don't get it. Oh, this is interesting. Is this true, King? You actually messaged me through earlier that Sky Sports are scouting on you tonight to, 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 consider, you, to consider you for some of the playoff games, are they? Well, my friend, be... my friend messaged them today and got a reply back, so um, potentially this, uh, we'll see. Well, they, couldn't have much, they couldn't have much better, could they? You know, coming out of this division, it would be, uh, yeah. No, no, we'll be history. Yeah, yeah. I, I, got, I got you on air, Keegan, mate. <laughs> I got you on air, Keegan. It's only fair you get remember me on there, mate. <laughs> <laughs> when you're back on Sky Sports <laughs> every week, remember where, remember who, 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 who got your take, career I'll back on track. For, I'll take over for Chris Kamara. He, he's like, he doesn't know. <laughs> you don't know what's happening, does it? Ke- Keegan, can you say it's <laughs> unbelievable, Jeff? It's unbelievable, Jeff. It's unbelievable, Jeff. Oh, it's always... go on, Keegan. Oh, it's been is... a sending off, Jeff. That sending off. Voice, I just thought we're making a well. substitution. <laughs> <laughs> Dan Bollard tonight. He did one. 
he did one thing wrong in the whole game for me, Dan Ball, and that was that he tried to pass it out of defence early on, and he just hit the Doncaster Rovers player who who was who who was like goal to go, wasn't he? He just kind of gave it away on about the thirty-five yard line of the first half. Do you remember? I do. Apart from that, he was pretty yeah. he was pretty solid, Dan Ballard tonight. But it's just that, but yeah. he did get back to recover, didn't he? Quite quickly, he is quick, Dan, isn't he? That's... Dan Ballard is is a young lad, and you know he's learning every single game, and he, yeah. he is fantastic. He's got a huge feature in the game, and yeah, he's made the odd mistake. But if you look at the bigger picture and uh, what he's actually done for us while he's been here, he's made some fantastic and some vital blocks. He's absolutely a fantastic player, and I think I, I'm going to give him an eight tonight, eight, eight out of ten. Is he a permanent sign or is he another loanee? No, he's he's on loan from he's Arsenal. Alone. But again, it's uh, it's he another player that, that I think we should be looking to yeah. extend his loan if we get promoted to the championship. That's the thing that worries me a little bit about this team. There is quite a lot of loanees. You know, I'd like to see a bit more um, kind of a concrete, you know, fixing mm. there. To be honest, yeah. but obviously yeah. to get through the playoffs, that's not going to be an issue. But yeah. Mm. Um, yeah, yeah, I think we've got three. I think we've got three, haven't we? We've got um, Embleton on loan from Sunderland. We've got Jordan Gabriel on loan from Forest, and yeah. then we've got Ballard on loan from Arsenal. So I think it's just a yeah, three. Yeah. Just those it's three, just, yes. They're, all, they're, all, they're in they're key positions, aren't they? Yeah, and they've had to come yeah. in because of the injuries, really, isn't it? It's been yeah. the injuries that, that have been the thing. Um, uh, AJJ is here. Said so he actually called out our team back in February on on the Sunderland uh, fan site. So. Uh, so well done. So there we are. Th- thanks, thanks for noticing us, AJ. AJ we really do appreciate <laughs> that. Not many have. So uh, thanks for being a little bit of a Nostradamus there. Um, so yeah, uh, has everybody done? Dan Ballard, has, has everybody given him out of ten? I, I was going to give him another eight. Yeah, an eight. Yeah, an eight for me. Keegan, yeah. have you give him an eight? Was it, yeah, was it eight all across the board. Same, same again, yeah, right across the back at that. Probably would give everybody an eight. To be honest, it's just they just didn't do anything they never needed to do, and they were consistent and they looked solid. So I don't think you can ask for anything more against a team who are giving you, you know, as little as Doncaster did for probably eighty percent of that game. Yeah. yeah. Um, Luke Gar, uh, sorry, James Husband is next. Um, Obviously, got himself a yellow card. Critch took him off just in case, didn't he? Because he's a bit worrying. I thought he had a solid game. Uh, I'm going to give him a seven and a half. Freddie, James husband tonight. Bun, bun boy. As, as bun <laughs> if it wasn't for the bun, he'd get a ten. But because he's got a bun, he's getting a two. He's getting a two. <laughs> no, he had, a, he had a good game tonight. Um, I think all the, you know, we, another clean sheet. Uh, he did well at the back. I can give him uh, an eight. Yeah. Phil? Uh, yeah, a, a seven and a half uh, because of the booking, really, and that therefore reduced his game time by half an hour, didn't that? So, mm. uh, yeah. uh, Keegan, did you notice Bun Man tonight? Oh, bun, man. bun Man would have got a good slag <laughs> of me if I was playing against him. <laughs> <laughs> we don't like these buns, do we? There's something I'm not right sure about bun, I'm pretty sure Bun Man would have had a yellow or red car playing against me around about 2006 time. <laughs> <laughs> like that goalkeeper member for Walsall who throttled me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he'd be yeah. giving him some stick about it, would you? Yeah, <laughs> winding I'll give, him up. I'll give the bun man seven and a half. Okay, I'm just going to ask a question to, to you guys because because we did mention it a few weeks ago and, and I said that uh, when James Husband was back on the bench, I said they ought to bring him in because he's got that steel and that fight and I think he's brought that, st- that solid steely fight back to the defence. I think he's a... A, a warrior is James Husband and uh, you know he's a bit older than the rest of him I think he's 28 so he's one of the older players and uh, what do you think do, do you agree with me that bringing him back in has been a bit of a a, a bit of a turning point uh, and I think if we'd have had him in against Rochdale and Shrewsbury I think we'd have won because I think he would he, he wouldn't have, you know he, he, there'd have been more fight in the team than we saw so I don't know what, what do you think I think James Husband's a good solid player. Um, you know what you're getting from James Husband. He, he obviously had a you know bit of a dodgy start to the season, a couple of red cards, but I, I think he's a I think he's a fantastic player. I do, and I think he you know can make a difference when he when he is in the starting eleven. And you know, obviously when I, when I saw that he was on the bench, he is a player that I want him to get back in and play again. Yeah, Phil, would you agree with that? He's, he's sort of added that bit of steel yeah, into the defence. Yeah, no, I. It's on record that I, I didn't rate him at all early in the season, uh, but he's uh, he's won me over. Yeah, he's he's um, he's had the right attitude as we in the second half of the season, and that's made a difference. Whether he's playing fullback or you know in, in that three man uh, back three, yeah, yeah. 
Uh, well, obviously Keegan won't know much about uh, James Husband, but or, or know that I said that. Um, so Luke Garbert tonight. Now, you know, I'll just I'll just remind you a couple of things. I mean, I thought he was great going forward tonight, Luke Garbert, and he had he should have scored, shouldn't he? I, I don't know. I still don't know how that keeper kept that that shot out from him. It was he hit it that hard. It was it was going like harder than Kai Kai's, I thought, and he just I don't know how he got to it really, to be honest. But uh, Luke Garbert tonight. We'll start with Keegan Parker for Luke Garbert out of ten. Nine for me. I like liked really liked him. I liked first time I've ever seen him. So I think that's maybe got that uh, you know wow factor more when you've just seen a player for the first time. Um yeah it looked really good and he looked really energetic as well. Is he see a is he a one signing? No, he's uh, Everton let him go uh, in the summer, and right. uh, yeah, bags, bags we, we signed him on. Yeah. I think we signed him on a season-long loan with a with a with an option, did we? I think. I thought we'd just give him a one-year contract because he's had a few injury problems. Oh, yeah, well, it's, yeah, it's a one-year contract. So I'd like to see him get a new, offered a new contract though if we go up. Yeah. Yeah, I, I thought he was excellent tonight as well. I'm going to give him an 8.5 on that performance. I, th- I thought he was just the, what, the best. What is it? Twenty twenty-one, something like that. I think he might be mid twenties, actually. I think yeah, mid twenties. Yeah, because yeah. yeah. I think he was at Ever- he was at Everton for an awful long time, occasionally yeah. getting in the team, but uh, yeah. going out. He, he's had loans at Ipswich and uh, uh, Sunderland for one. Uh, yeah, he's, he's had a, he's had a few loans out. Uh, you know, as, as it, the was... Premier teams do. Yeah, was it Ancelotti that told you was uh, Everton Phil? Yeah, uh, yeah. When Ancelotti was said. Uh, uh, Who? <laughs> what, what, what do you think about Garbert leaving? He actually said, Who? He, he, he'd never heard of him, and he's one of his own players. So, uh, oh, yeah. Jesus. I, I think it's fair to say he wasn't on the, on the, the, the first team radar. No. no. He, and he is a good player. He definitely is. And they're linking up as well, aren't they, down that left very well? I think, Keegan, you mentioned that before, didn't you? That, you know, these players are linking up very well on the left hand side in particular. Mm. There was a lot of neat triangles in that first half, and, and, and little players oh, yeah. in the box, wasn't there? You know, just shoved in. There's some danger. It's just, it, it, I don't know if you notice it, Keegan, but you know, quite often Blackpool just don't put that final ball in when there's a great chance. You know, we get ourselves in the box, down to the byline, just pull it back, and they put it past everybody, or they, you know, they just put it in, into the goalie's hands or something. There was a few chances yeah. like that, but we do pray some really nice, neat passes coming down that wing. Sometimes it's beautiful mm. to watch. The um, interesting thing for me as well, I feel like um, the. A lot of the play came through the middle, and a lot of the strength was in the middle of the park. I don't think the wingers yeah. were all that fabulous. I know one of them got injured, so you know if I can see them bringing a bit more to the party, I think it got even more reason for optimism. You know, yeah, wasn't a great amount of width in the game. I didn't feel from Blackpool. Um, didn't can't remember anybody going by anybody too many times. And another good thing is if you get the boy Madin back, he's played at a really high level, and you know do get these crosses in the box. You know, I think you've got a really yeah. good strike free somewhere. You know, the manager might have an issue picking two out with a three up front. Yeah, yeah. It gives a good. You know, even if he's on the bench, so it's it'd be a great option, wouldn't it? Yeah. Yeah, and I know the the boy Kai Kai. I have seen him a few times, and I've heard a lot mm. about him. Um, um, in fact, the the game I was at last year, he was um, the 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 player most people were talking about at Blackpool. You know, when yeah. Simon Grayson was there, albeit they were obviously a poorer team. Yeah, low confidence, but they were the most fans were going on about him as the the, the kind of a Wes Hulahan type player in the league and the team. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. The, is is that a uh, bit of magic from nowhere, really? And yeah, it's what you, it's what you need, isn't it? Just so, uh, something a bit unpredictable. Yeah, yeah. what happens? What's happens more, to more Kai powerful. Kai at the moment? Well, he, he he got that injury at Sunderland and he felt his hamstring, and then Critch said in the interview after the um, you know the the last game that. Um, he just felt it a little bit again, just be, you know, just before they were coming right. out, and he didn't want to risk him. So maybe he's just not risking him again, and just trying to get this ham. He, he's just feeling his hamstring. I don't know what that actually means. Keegan, you'll probably be able to tell us more on that. What just feeling something in your hamstring is that? Yeah, is that common? Yeah, I think it's you know just maybe a feeling that it's tightness. You know, just maybe they're looking at the bigger picture and trying to get them back for the you know putting all their eggs in the basket that they do yeah. get the playoffs, which they actually are now. So you might find that it's actually a really good uh, decision by the the physio or the mm. or the manager. Is Phil Horner still the physio at Blackpool? No, just, it's gone now. Oh, it's gone, uh, just yeah. just moved. He set up his own practice in Blackpool, didn't he? And uh, yeah. got a new, a yeah. new physio. They used, to, they used to call Phil Horner the, the human sleeping pill. <laughs> 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 
Uh, can, 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 if, if, if you've got time, mate, you should um, go and sell, go and teach Yates and Sims how to score fantastic goals at Wembley. See yeah. that brick wall there? That was about as exciting as Phil Horner got on a Monday morning. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, if you're watching, I'm only joking. <laughs> so, Kenny Dougal. Who Kenny Dougal tonight? I thought he had another one of those games where he intercepted loads of things. He was in and he's always in the thick of everything. And I, I, I really like Kenny Dougal. I think he's been the, you know, the... One of the big yeah. reasons why Blackpool season turned around. Uh, we'll start with Phil. Kenny Dougal tonight. Yeah, as Keegan said, it, we were winning stuff in the middle and just giving mm. it easy and, and developing on from there. And he, that, that's his game. He was winning mm. an, an awful lot of tackles, just giving it to the nearest player. And then we then we went from there. But it, it meant we were absolutely solid in front of that defence. So, uh, yeah, I, th I thought he was well worth uh, an eight and a half. Yeah. Freddie? Yeah. Uh, the commentators actually summed uh, Kenny Deagle up tonight to an absolute point. They said that he's an unsung hero at Blackpool Football Club, and he really is. Um, I thought he had a really good game sung tonight. He's sung by me all the time. We even yeah, have a song definitely. They're not, Ooh, they're not watching Deagle. our channel because we love him, don't we? So, yeah, I know. Yeah. No, he got a good eight for me tonight. I've, a lot of players got a good eight for me tonight. Yeah, yeah. He was, uh, he was another one. Yeah. Keegan, Kenny Dougal, uh, he's the one with a little like, blonde... Sort of half blonde hair. Is he Australian? <laughs> yes, he is Australian. Yeah, he's came from Australian, isn't he? He is Australian. Yeah. yeah, he was at Barnsley, and then they let him go, and we picked him up on a free just out of nowhere, just about ten games in. He's he came in at the same time as Colin Calderwood. Actually, I, I, I don't know how where he came yeah. from or how he came in, but he was a. But he 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 turned our season around. I think from signing uh, him. A, a, a Australian under twenty three international. Four caps yeah. for Australia. Good eye, mate. Um, <laughs> no, it looked, uh, yeah, it looked good. It looked good. It, to be honest, it's hard to differentiate against a lot of these players tonight because we're all doing very similar jobs, you know. So I think, yeah, um, again, again, an eight for me. Yeah. Well, yeah, that's that's eight all around. Um, Ollie Turton tonight. I thought he he did nothing spectacular and he did nothing wrong. I'm, I'm just going to give him a, a think about a seven and a half from me for Ollie Turton, Freddie. Mr. Seven got a seven. <laughs> yeah. He, he, he did what he always does, doesn't he? Uh, yeah. He, uh, he supports down the, down the wing uh, and he's solid defensively. So, uh, yeah, did, did his job. Yeah. Uh, so I, I'd agree with the seven and a half, actually. Yeah. Well, but we got a new yes. champion tonight, which was Oli, Oli, Oli. Oi, oi, oi. Which was, <laughs> <laughs> somebody uh, put in the put in the chat. So, uh, Keegan, did you notice Oli, Oli Turton tonight? He, he he often plays right back, but he was sort of more midfield today, wasn't he? He was. I was thinking yeah, he might get that goal that he's trying to get. He's desperately trying to get a goal for Blackpool. So I thought it might yeah, be a chance. I give, I give, I give him a, a seven as well. Yeah, nothing, nothing spectacular, but done. Yeah. He done exactly what he had. I thought you were going to go on about the Ron Seal advert. Or that used to be that, didn't it? Yeah, it does exactly the same as Tim. Yeah, that's the one. Seven for me. Yeah, okay. Right, Elliot Embleton tonight. I, I, I'm not going to give him points, but, but so... I'll let you guys say that, but I thought he was I thought he was awesome tonight, Elliot Embleton. I thought some of the stuff he did, they couldn't get him off in the box. He, he you know, he even did a few turns in the box and everything. So uh, we'll start with Keegan, uh, Elliot Embleton. Nine and a half. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. good. Yeah. Very impressive. Very, very, um, very nimble across the ground. Um, and very, looked very, very clever as well. Don't get me wrong, he was against, uh, I think, some of these players. Um, a bit off the pace at the back for Doncaster, but um, yeah, certainly quite impressive. Okay, uh, Phil. Yeah, I Andy I, stayed I, on site more than me as well. Wow, well, <laughs> hey, it's not not our goal, yeah. it wasn't that's, that's, not, that's, not, that's not a plus point. No. <laughs> right, I'm off. <laughs> I was joking. Go back. <laughs> hey, I, I always Sorry, presume I they had different. I thought, I thought yeah. someone was out the door there. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I always presume they had different rules in Scotland because you seem to play a different offside rule to the rest of them. But now, half the time, I thought you were too quick for the linesman. In all seriousness, half the time, I yeah. thought you were on and the linesman flagged because he couldn't keep up. I totally agree with you, but people were people were saying no yeah. way. I, I saw it wrong, but I but I always thought he was he was often onside, and it, it was just the sheer speed of him that 
Yeah, yeah. Cool. We'll, 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 we'll go. We'll go yeah. with that one, Lee. We'll go with that, mate. We'll put it down. <laughs> in the, put it down in the speed. Yeah. It's not to do with me being too eager and having a fifty quid goal bonus. <laughs> so, uh, Elliot Templeton. <laughs> yeah, you... I, I was going to give him a nine. Yeah. Because sometimes I thought he was too clever for his own good because he was doing that many disguised passes. That half his teammates didn't recognise it either. Yeah. 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 You, you do that mm. when you're getting too confident, you know. Yeah. 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 I'm going to give him a nine as well because I can't give him man of the match uh, because uh, the next up is Ellis Sims tonight. I did, what about me? What about me? I didn't say it. Oh, sorry. Yes, yeah, sorry. <laughs> have you not done uh, Elliot? Go on, Freddie. Elliot Embleton. No, tonight. I'd give Elliot a nine. Um, yeah. I still find it very strange the the signing of him. Um, I'd love to sign him up on a permanent. Uh, I do worry about the fact that Sunderland could recall him for their own playoffs. Um, mm. But yeah, I thought he played well tonight and uh, get him signed up um, on a permanent. Yeah. Um, somebody, as I said, uh, Giles Morgan says we've actually got four players on load because we've got Sims as well from Everton. Oh, yeah. We'll oh, yeah. yeah. So yeah. Th there's four on load. Uh, AJJ says he, he managed uh, Robson in his, his younger days. Um, gutted he's injured again. Good on his lad. He'll do well with games under his belt. Well, we've not seen the best of, it, uh, of Robson, have we? Which is a shame. And it is a shame he got injured because he was just starting to, well, he just got yeah. himself. Like like a like a full match, hasn't he? We're, mm. He's only come on in bit parts, hasn't he? So yeah, we're, we're, we're sad for that as well. So it's amazing if you managed him. Uh, you have to tell us who you managed him with, uh, who you're with, AJJ, mm. uh, because he, he'll be Sunderland, obviously, because he was in Sunderland Academy, wasn't he? Did he come yeah. to Robson? Yeah. Um, right. So Ellis Sims. Then go on, Freddie. I'll, I'll let you go first, since I missed you on Ellis Hamilton. So Ellis Sims, Sims for me tonight. tonight. You can have a ten. It's absolutely fantastic. <laughs> yeah. His movement on the ball. He, he troubles defenders. Um, I think oh, he, him and Yates up front are excellent. Yeah. Um, love to sign him, sign him up uh, if we get promoted next season on a, on a season loan. Uh, yeah. The guys, the guys, brilliant, absolutely brilliant, and I definitely see him playing for England, England one day in a couple of years. Yeah, me too. He, he was, he, he was phenomenal tonight. Phil, what do you think, Ellis Sims tonight? Well, I think uh, Everton will be seeing the way he's developed with us, and I think he, we, we do have a good chance of getting him on loan again because. Uh, from when he started, nothing was sticking when it came up to him, but he, mm. he's learned that, uh, you know, under 23s and League One are two completely different leagues, and he's learned to shield the ball so much better. He was really holding it up well, bringing mm. other players in, and he got two goals. So, yeah, he's, he's yeah. well worth a nine for me. Nine and a half. Do you, do you know what I love about Les Sims as well? Yeah. He can stay on side. Brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> He's not going to let it lie. Okay. <laughs> I love Ellie you, Keegan, Sims. really, mate. I love you, really. <laughs> Thanks, mate. Appreciate that. Ellie Sims uh, tonight, Keegan. What do you think? Keegan? Man of the match award from me. Ah, yeah. I'm going to pass oh. on one of my man of the matches I got onto Ellie Sims. I'm not really. Wow. That's just a vase. My auntie got me from being in. <laughs> that was nice, that you was, had a school nice, there for a minute. <laughs> yeah, Freddie, Freddie, this one's got more hair than you, mate. Hey, go on, Keegan. Hey. <laughs> hey. <laughs> oh, well, he's my man of the match as well, and I'm going to give him. Uh, yeah, I'm going to give him a, a, a 10 as well because I just think it was the best performance we've seen. Some of the stuff he did, I mean, he could have had five or six there was times when he was just running through the defence and running at them and running in the box and there was that one when he was taking about three on and he, you know somebody got some somebody some defender got back from somewhere to head it off That's from going yeah. he beat the keeper and he just going to the top corner this defender and I don't know somehow got back from somewhere to head it out for a corner but I thought he was immense tonight Ellis Sims I thought that was his best performance and if if he can carry on playing like this through the playoffs we've got a damn good chance oh, I don't yeah. think yeah, I wouldn't like to be playing yeah, against him, definitely. would you? If he's on form like that, he is one handful of a player, isn't he? And and, and the thing is, nobody really knows him, do they? You know what I mean? Because he's not, you know, he's not been with us long, and he's he, he's not really been prolific, but he's getting better, isn't he? I, I'd say he's one of the most on form strikers in in the division at the moment. Well, he, I think he's, yeah. he's constant. He's constantly improving every week for me. So that that's why, uh, yeah, it, it it can only get better. He's, he's, he's got he's got seven seven league goals now. Yeah, he's yeah. harder to play against when nobody knows what he's doing, you know. You know, yeah. he's, he's capable of he's obviously a young no. boy as well. So yeah. he's got that kind of uh, he's got that wow factor. 
He's 20, Brian, isn't he? So, Brian uh, Thompson yeah. says Garbutt's 27, by the way. He won yeah. uh, the under-17s Euros for England. So I didn't know that. So, yeah, there we go. So Garbutt is 27 from Brian Thompson. Um, so we've got Jerry Yates tonight. I didn't think it was... Um, I don't think it was Jerry H's greatest game. I thought he he kind of didn't take the ball with him quite a lot of times. He seems to have got his habit at the moment of leaving the ball behind himself and just well, yeah. second half. I thought he played better. I thought he, he settled Sims' second. goal though in the first half, didn't he? He did yeah. settle Sims's goal. Yeah, he did with that header on that flick on. In fact, you know, we're saying that was an amazing goal because it it, it it's not the Blackpool way to break that quick. Sometimes is it? You know, we you know we go down and we pass around and triangles, but that was just a you know a long ball who for was it headed forward and then headed on? I can't remember if it's headed yeah. forward, headed forward and then headed yeah. on, wasn't it? By Yates, you just I'm gonna. Admit, I, it. I didn't. I, I didn't see the goal. I um. I was just. I was coming back from work. I didn't see yeah. it. I was gutted. But I'll. I'll, I'll definitely watch it in the highlights. Oh, it's a great yeah. goal. Honestly, it's a great goal, and he chips the keeper, and it, it just kind of like bounces in. I was saying to Keegan, it kind of looks like it's yeah. not going to go in from. It goes in so slowly, doesn't it? But I think it took a little deflection off the off the yeah. keeper's. The keeper boot, got so. a bit on it, didn't it? Just slowed yeah. it down. Yeah. 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 yeah, but it, it, it was lovely. But Jerry Ace tonight, uh, King, and first time you've seen him. What do you reckon? Yeah, I thought for the first 20 minutes, he looked good. He looked like one of the brighter players, he looked quite clever as well, and they just faded out a little bit. But um, yeah, certainly, um, I've heard a lot about him, so uh, I'll take it easy a little bit on the score. I still give him a seven, you know. He looked like mm. he was working hard for the team. Um, yeah, he works hard. Certainly can't he argue with uh, his figures in front of goal anyway. No. Hmm. It was he's really fast like you, Keegan. I'd I'd love to see who would uh, win a win a race in the hundred meters. Both uh, both really yeah, quick well, players. Well, you'll yeah, not be yeah. fine. You'll not be finding it anytime soon. I'm afraid. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is interesting. Actually, an interesting comment come through here from from Paul, who says that uh, guys defensively, we've been superb since December. Despite tons of injuries, we've been so solid at the back. The equal best defensive record in the division. Mm. Uh, the best keeper with 21 clean sheets is, is equal Budgie's record tonight. So Jump that's an amazing record, yeah. isn't it? Uh, yeah. A tremendous effort by all our defenders, and as Keegan says, we look comfortable at the back. And I totally agree with you; it hasn't. And we've had so many changes, haven't we, to this back lineup? Uh, it's incredible, and I think it's good to see. I'm just going to talk about Ek Pateta uh, coming back in, and um, Keshi Anderson as well, who I thought looked oh, fantastic. Keshi, brilliant. Did he look good? Brilliant, Keshi. Yeah, absolutely brilliant play, Keshi Anderson. Did you notice him, Keegan, when he came on? Little Keshi Anderson. He's he's been out for ages, but. He had oh, a, a little, little white boy. Yeah. 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 Well, he was. Yeah, he was, was kind of all over the place. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Well, what really, was he taking yeah. through the, the youth ranks at Blackpool? Or? No, no, we he... got him from Swindon, didn't we? Swindon, yeah. Town. Swindon, yeah. 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 Oh. Swindon last year. So uh, you don't, yeah. you don't see it in the second half where uh, he, he was running with the ball and Yates Yates was in the box and he he put the ball through and it was like the the needle of a thread yes. right over to him and uh, Yates took a shot but the keeper saved it. Yeah, it was. Yeah. He honestly, yeah. he's what an yeah. addition to have back in the squad at this time yeah. of the year. You know, well, that's we, it. Bloody he's hell! Come I mean, back from injury, then, yeah. Well, he he had. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We thought he was going to be out for the season, and he he's just come back in the last two weeks. So uh, yeah, really it's hard. like getting a fresh player, really. So uh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, I love his attitude as well. How, how many times has Critchley said, uh, you know, on to the to the press, you know, he, he keep uh, he keep keeps telling me when he's coming back and what he's going to do. And I, I just love his attitude. You know, he's hungry, he's young and he wants to be playing. Yeah. 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 Totally agree. And uh, so, of course, Ek Pateta was back in and he looks, he looks strong. You know, when he come on in defence, he just looks just like he's never been away. I thought, I thought he was, he was immense in the, you know, in the 15 minute. Bit well, he had half, he, he probably had half an hour, actually. I think he was about that. on the hour when, um, after the bookings, he, that's when the subs were made, wasn't it? Oh, yeah, it was uh, half an hour. Yeah, Stuart, so... Stuart only played quarter of an hour in the second half. So he yeah. probably got half an hour. I've just got to mention as well, uh, Dimitri Mitchell, that little run that he did, 
into the oh, box yeah. where about four or five players tried to take it off him and he just went on and on and on and broke one tackle and broke another tackle ball came out and then he got it back and he eventually ran through and the defender just got a block in didn't he to give us a corner but what? Well, even, even I mean, Brad Holmes tried to take it off him at one stage uh, yeah he did <laughs> yeah and Brad Holmes is a young kid that's just come through the Blackpool ranks Keegan so he's uh, just getting on yeah. but uh, talk, yeah, about, so, talk about Stuart talk about Stuart that, that referee yeah. That booking, that that was never ever a booking for me. I, I yeah. honestly thought when he tackled, when he when he took a tackle, that was like a championship tackle, and the referee mm-hmm. just didn't not know what he was doing and yellow card him. I thought, what what are you doing? You you've just ruined his night. Yeah, and then Colin he, he, was. He, I think he uh, came close to sending him off. He did, yeah, yeah, yeah. Of the yeah he, he took him over and a shot of him. Just. Yeah. And he was saying there was a ball to go for. I mean, I mean, it was foot up, but it was at the ball. It wasn't anybody's head or anything, was it? It wasn't a dangerous foot no. up. He was just he was just trying to flick the ball on. It didn't make he, which is why um, this is. I was going to ask you about Critchley tonight because. I thought that what he did taking him, I know he'd only just brought him on. And I think Keegan, you said you hated that, didn't you? When they brought you on and then took you off. But uh, he obviously took him off for, you know, to make sure that he didn't get a second yellow off, off the, off the red yeah. and get a red card. And I thought it was, yeah. I thought it was good management tonight from Chris. And it didn't really affect anything. Did it really, the, you know, brought, uh, cause he brought Keshi on, didn't he? In replacement of him. And that was fine. I think the referee when, when got talk- a bit excited and started booking everybody. So it was one of them, you're better just uh, going with caution yeah. there, you know, there's no yeah. point. Cause it, it definitely had something erratic in the, the locker, you know, he maybe wasn't presented with the opportunity to do it, but yeah, it's yeah. probably good management from him there. What was yeah. great to see as well is when uh, when Stuart went off, the, the respect that he him and Critchley got for each other. And Stuart knew exactly why he, he got took off. And, you know, yeah. I, I love that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, I don't know, the referee tonight... He, he, he kind Zero. of was a bit whistle happy, wasn't he? <laughs> but he, he kind of got worse as the game went on, did he? He wasn't well, too yeah, bad, actually. The first half, I thought, yeah, he was, he was letting the game go. Um, yeah, giving... Yeah, but and then second half, he just went. He had that right at the start of the second half. He had a bit of a weird ten minutes. Can you so, imagine the uh, stick he got tonight? If 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 we're all at Blue for Road and Blue for Road was bouncing. Yeah. Oh yeah. Can you imagine the stick I mean, he got. You don't know well, what did, you're doing. Did you notice when he went to talk to the linesman in the second half, and they were having a chat on the, and it kind of zoomed in on the both, and they both looked about eighty years. Oh, the linesman looked. <laughs> I couldn't believe how old he looked, I, and the referee was at like bald end. I thought, was, I thought, was I, I thought he looked very <laughs> young, personally. Yeah. <laughs> hey, were you looking at Lee? <laughs> <laughs> no, he did. He did. Yeah, you do wonder. He did look I, a bit I old. Mean, he looked a bit dad's army bleep, to me. Yeah. <laughs> the pair of them looked dead, very dad's <laughs> army. <laughs> They're doing bleep tests at the start of the season. I, I don't think after that they're straight down Mackie D's. I think they don't test him again. You know, uh, he didn't. He didn't look the fittest, did he? I, I, I've oh, said that time and time again. I, 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 I just don't know how referees get away with being so poor in a division. Mm. I, I don't get it. You know, since no. it, like since the day Keegan were playing, the referees uh, have been absolutely terrible. They're so poor. Mm. Well, like we said, flagging for um, offside. AJ's just confirmed that um, he got picked up uh, by a small-sided, uh, this is Ethan Robson, called Fullwell FC. Uh, played from under yeah. eights to under ten, so, and he played a year above himself, so that's where, where he knows uh, knows him that far back. And right. what's this from Brian Thompson about Embo? He said he won the Toulon Tournay with England. This is Critch's Connections, a bit of quality, both Garber and Embleton. Yeah, it will nice. be Critch's Connections, won't it? Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. He's brought in too many young players um, to, to not be using his connections with them. That's not just luck, that's uh, obviously methodical thinking. He knows obviously ins and outs and people who are giving him tip-offs, you know. Yeah. Because, uh, I mean, I've hardly heard any of these players in the Blackpool team, but I can obviously see there's, you know, there's a lot of talent in there. Um, uh, yeah, yeah. So Oli San has been, um, Oli yeah. San has been pretty decent, apart from uh, Woodburn was a bit, a bit more of a yeah. mess and a hit. And then... Yeah, um, yeah. He wasn't. He was wasn't. It good, was he? I, he was I, I can't remember. Is it, is, yeah. Is it Sarkic we got from Burton? Yeah, yeah. he was terrible. He was just <laughs> awful. Ter- he was like the worst he was player I've, I, down, wasn't he? I think he's one of the worst players I've ever seen in a Blackpool shirt. I mean, there was a couple of balls where he just, they were his to put in the net and he didn't even run, did he? He just, like, he just <laughs> left him. I thought, what's it? Who is this guy? He's not even trying to score. <laughs> he's got yeah. a chance there just to put the ball in. And, no, he was really bad. Did you not um, sign somebody from Warrington or something? 
Oh. From from what? Like, sorry. Warrington. Warrington we like, did. Uh, oh, we yeah. Did. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that was when uh, uh, Fort uh, Grayson took over. What's he called? Yeah. Garrick. Ben, ben Garrick, is it? Oh, is he still there? No, uh, Gate, I, I can't remember his name. No, no yeah, he went I out think, on loan. I, I don't see him come back. I think, no. Yeah, I think there's quite a few went of, of that batch or went out on loan and never come back. Didn't you know, he go on loan to Oldham? Yeah, they got rid yeah. of him, didn't they, all at Christmas? Uh, Jake Tong, who's, who's a Lincoln fan, uh, just, just said uh, that, that at least our refs saw out the 90s. That theirs limped off after half an hour. But we've had this, haven't we, at Bloomfield yeah. Road? Yeah. What is it with these officials? I've never seen, I mean, Keegan Moore has seen it, but we've had linesmen have to go, go off after like 70 minutes and have the fourth official come on. And referees have not lasted the game here as well, haven't they? You know, we had a referee went off. and uh, It's cost us just... points, hasn't it? Because they've ended up adding on 10 minutes for refereeing injuries. And then we We've conceded in that ten minutes, you know. Yeah, so, it has uh, actually. Yeah, so so, so yeah. we've had our fair share of that as well, Jarek. Um, um, I do feel somebody... a bit sorry for Lincoln the last game. Yeah, and uh, yeah, that, well, that, that penalty. penalty. It was never a penalty you, a million years. You see the penalty that against Peterborough. Uh, that yeah, Peterborough I think it's one. Yeah, yeah, unbelievable. Uh, yeah, so yeah. Yeah, that was an unbelievable decision, wasn't that? There was no one within about a yard of him, and he went down, the referee gave a penalty. Mm. Again, anyway, terrible, it, it terrible about, refereeing. Uh, I've just put yeah. that on for Keegan, because Keegan James is saying he's keeping a regular on his show now. Well, he, he would have been, but unfortunately Sky Sports have been, uh, been watching him tonight. <laughs> They're going to be putting him out as a pundit, so I might have lost him to Sky Sports. And I think they pay a little bit better oh, than they should. Depends how many... Depends how many fish suppers are on the table. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna, he, he, I was gonna say he wanted, a, he wanted a bomb cake and some mushy peas with his fish and chips. That's why it's come on tonight. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. A deal breaker. <laughs> yeah. Oh god! Well, have you enjoyed yourself tonight, Keegan? That's the main thing. Has it been worth coming on? You've enjoyed it, watching a bit oh, of football. It's been, and... it's been good. I'd only been watching the Man City game anyway. It doesn't, doesn't look sound like that. it's been up to that much. Pretty predictable. I think they won, didn't they? Yeah, yeah Man City won four one. They're into uh, the yeah, final now. Yeah, yeah. two 0 on the night, wasn't it? So, yeah, yeah. No, it's it's, it's yeah. It, it doesn't match up to League One football, does it? <laughs> <laughs> Never did. Still doesn't. So. Paul Paul Lupton says, is, "Is there any way, given the social distancing of fans, etc., of getting a meshy suit to all the players and management from the masses of pool admirers? There are thousands of us who want to congratulate everybody at the club. Well, I'm sure there are. Well, if you can send me in thousands of uh, congratulations messages, I'll, I'll put a video together of you all if you want. All, 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 so if you want to organise that, we could do a mass mass video. I'll, I'll I'll put it on my channel from all the fans wishing them well because I'm sure there is thousands." Yeah. yeah, Brian Thompson says, good night, guys. Let's hope Ellis Sims and Luke Garbett can be uh, the next in line to to all the recent ex-Evertonians that have achieved for us. Seamus, Keith, Peter Clark, etc. See you Sunday. We'll see you Sunday. I think that's it. I think we've done it all. I think we've done it all. Is there any last things you want to say before you before we call it a day and let you all get off to... Can we not, can we not just keep on talking? Chat, I've, I've, I've missed it. Well, we could talk about anything. We can go on all night if you want. I'm just worried if you want to sit, you know, want to carry I've on. Let's, let's, can... talk about, let's talk about Keegan Parker and offside. <laughs> no, let's not. No, we don't want to talk anymore about yeah, him. He was, well, never, he was never offside in a million years. I, I watched it all the time. And I was banging line with it half the time. And I, I could see he wasn't offside. So I'll tell you. Yeah, um, big love. Big love. I'm off to take the ground out for a walk, so uh, it can have a race nice. with Keegan next time. Like Lee can film. <laughs> I'm, I'm back. Uh, I'm back in training. Give me three weeks, and I'll be quicker than track two at Romford. Right. Okay. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, we've got uh, coming up. If you know, if, if Keegan isn't poached by Sky Sports, which I'm sure he will now after being on my show because they've been watching it, and he's obviously going to be a great pundit because he's he's been there, done it, and he's also got the man of the match at Wembley and scored the you know one of the most famous goals in Blackpool history so I'm, I'm sure sky will be keen to get him on but if we can get keegan back on we will try again we've got sunday uh af afternoon but it's a 12 o'clock kickoff keegan and i know it costs you a tenner <laughs> every time <laughs> you gotta buy a pass uh, and then we've got the playoffs but they're, they're going to be on sky sports so you won't have to buy a pass for those so uh, you, you're welcome back anytime i think uh, i think everybody mm. i think we should all give keegan parker a round of applause what do you think Thanks very yeah. much. And I'm, I'm actually much. down in Blackpool on the 18th. Uh, I'm down in Blackpool on the 18th, so that might tie in well with the game. So hopefully, the yeah, fans nice. Nice. Back come in. say hello to us, Keegan, at uh, the Albert Line, mate. Weatherspoons. Yeah. 
I will do. As long as you don't mention offside or offside. I promise. I promise. Offside, it's a fight. You get part of water, mate. You can have five. (laughs) (laughs) There's something with Phil there for the Yorkshire Seasiders. Are are you going to the Yorkshire Seasiders bar, Phil? Will you be going Uh, there on Sunday? I I might be in Blackpool myself, actually. But if not, I will be over at uh, HQ, as we call it. Yeah, we we have we have a bar. Late news from Brian Thompson saying Keegan still owes him a packet of chips for giving his girlfriend a lift against Oldham. <laughs> oh, that's, that's my ex-girlfriend for a year. Yeah, year don't, don't count now. <laughs> yeah. There's a bit right. of a stud, our Keegan, aren't you, buddy? <laughs> yeah, sorry. Yes. You're a bit of a stud. <laughs> oh. Stud muffin. <laughs> hey. yeah. I've got to say, if I was a football player, I, I would have filled my boots too. To be honest, <laughs> you're in that you're in that position in life where I should, I should imagine you know you're going out around town and, and wherever you go, and girls are following you wherever you go. Um, Bradley Jones says, "Well done on getting the playoffs, uh, supporting us to go up from a Berry fan." So thank you very much, Berry and uh, from Bradley from Berry, and we all are as football fans horrified by what's gone on to your club, and we hope you get it all sorted out and you come back big and strong. Yeah. But Thank you very much, guys. It's been a pleasure. Uh, it's been a great night. Flapple football fans, you can now say we are in the playoffs. We've been Get holding in. back. Pe- people have been saying to us on, you know, people have been posting messages, you know, we're in, you know, we're, we're definitely going to qualify because the last two games and I've just been, well, we could still need a point. We still need a point, but we got three and uh, we're third. So go on, the pool. Come on. <laughs> happy day it's great Thank great, to be, great to be back as well guys lovely to see you all and i hope you're doing yeah, all right it's great Thanks, to have freddie, freddie, freddie back on as well uh, it's been a pleasure having you on freddie you talk sense as always hey, so th- thank you thanks a lot guys i'm gonna go and uh yeah cheers keegan See you later, on guys. Sunday, see 11 you o'clock. 11 o'clock. See you later, guys. Uh, see you later. We've got Andy Morell. We're interviewing Andy Morell on Thursday, but he, he, he can't do a live one because, because he, he can't make 8 o'clock. So any any, any questions for Andy Morell, uh, message him on Twitter. You know, at us in on Twitter if you've got any questions and we'll ask them for you there. Thank you very much. Okay. Cheers, guys. Thanks yeah. for coming on. See you Thanks. later, guys. Bye.